All righty, are we alive? Wait for it, wait for, Wait for it. it. Oh, there it is. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're watching this and it does not say live at the bottom of the screen, unfortunately, you're watching the recap. The good news is we are live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. You're on, mo you're on mobile. Press high chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch list and main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts Boot Camp and Real Estate Course. But, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the day before Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving Junior. However, it's filled with a lot of drama. We've already got data. You got jobless claims coming in a little lower than expected, so that's not as good. Continuing claims also fell. Durable goods was bad, but you didn't really get a bad news, good news reaction just yet. Sam Altman is coming back to OpenAI, and then they canceled the OPEC meeting. Uh, for this weekend, and that's why oil is down about 3% right now. So we have a lot there. You got a couple of data points even from the earnings. You got consumer sentiment, but like we've been talking about all week, the volume should be dying down right about now. It is a lot of holiday volume, so I hope you're locked and loaded. Don't forget, you are coming off of NVIDIA, and sure enough, this thing barely moved. After a blowout earnings. So we'll see how that one trades today. But Chad, it should be very straightforward and simple. I hope you're ready for a nice seven-hour sesh. But good morning. How are you? What's up, baby? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, Junior. What's going on? Oh, Najee Wolf, baby. Richard, Nate, Tim Whitman, Nathan Evans, Mopar Maniac. Good morning. Oh, Lori's in the house. That's what I'm talking about. A wise Jimmy Fontana, baby. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Skinny CYB. A wise heads in Nick Blaster. Good morning, baby. What's up, C Money? What's up, Gunnar? Marcus Hanlon's in the house, baby. Good morning. Oh, Richard Judge. Oh, stop playing with me. Good morning, baby. El Chapato, Straw Hat, Jerry Woods, LV Junkin, Holland, baby. Anzo, Jeff K. Soldier. Good morning. Good morning, baby. What's up, Nifa? What's up, Candy? How you living, Ben Stone? Oh, Rami. Good morning, baby. YouTube sucks. That's his name. I didn't, I didn't mean that, YouTube. Good morning. What's up, Wild Boy? What's up, Doug? How you living, Arthur? Arthur, I love you. know I love that name, Arthur. You know that? That's what, My parents only let me watch Arthur. I love that name. You got a beautiful name, baby. God bless you. Ray Granados, baby. Good morning. Florida Sloth. Good morning, baby. You woke up early. You ain't no sloth. Good morning. Christian Collection. Lucky Soldier once again. Chase Jewel. Thebe. Arturo Garrido, baby. Good morning. Arthur again. I'm telling you, beautiful name. Beautiful name. Skinny. RJ. How y'all living, man? Good morning. What about the Twitch? What about most dope Andy in the house? Feed me Seymour. Braxton. JJ Silver? Oh, good morning, man. How you living? Mr. Malone. Triple three. Payday Devil. Pay, pay, payday Devil. Is it Payday Devil? Yeah, it's Devil. I thought I thought. Triple three, baby. JJ. Can AJ. Charlie in the tree. Good morning. The Goat Man. How you living, baby? Sim Race Reveal. Amor Fati Trap. Blowing Doll. Yunan. KJ Lemur. Mother Liquor. Most Dope Andy. And Robo Hand Tech, baby. Good morning. Oh, a couple people out there. We got Jeremy. You got Uncle Nick. You got 8012. You got Greg Stadamus, baby. Good morning. Uh, VW becomes the latest non union car maker to raise pay. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So, Chad. I hope you're ready for today. I think it's going to be a weird version of yesterday. Uh, maybe a little bit slimmer. You know, we're going to see how that one plays out. So we will find out after all of that. But now, Chattadonia, let us get into the news. So stock futures, uh, stocks, bonds, and dollars wave after mixed data markets. Uh, stock futures, bonds, and dollars saw small moves with traders weighing on mixed economic figures for clues of the outlook for the Federal Reserve's next step. S&P contracts signal that the benchmark gauge will resume its November advance. After a brief pause on Tuesday, the yield on the 10-year Treasury was little changed at 4.39. NVIDIA wavered its results as its results blew past Wall Street but failed to satisfy the loftier expectations of investors. Oil tumbled after the OPEC delayed this weekend's meeting as talks over output levels ran into trouble. Applications for U.S. jobless benefits fell last week after a run of increases, a slight reprieve in what was otherwise been a gradually cooling labor market. Durable goods orders declined in October by more than expected as commercial aircraft bookings retreated and demand weakened for business equipment. Uh, equities have bounced this month as investors bet that the Fed is finally done raising rates. Minutes of the Fed's last meeting showed that policymakers united around a strategy to proceed carefully on future rates and based any tightening on progress towards their inflation goal. 
And then fun fact, November is up so far over 8.2%. Uh, this has only happened six other times since 1928. If we go up another 2%, this will be uh, the best November the world has ever seen in the stock market, ever, since 1928 at least. Uh, the S&P 500 will rally to a record high next year, helped by positive sentiment and resilient valuations, according to Lori Calvacina at RBC Capital. The sentiment setup is constructive for now. Calvacina wrote in a note saying that an indicator investor appetite has proved reliable in 23, is sitting at a range typically followed by 10% gains in the S&P over 12 months. Valuations could stay higher than many realize as cooling inflation should support price earning multiples. Uh, Deer forecasted smaller than expected profit this year or next year with slowing equipment demand from farmers starting to weigh on the world's largest tractor maker. Autodesk was downgraded by Piper Sandler after the company's tepid growth rate and tempered margin expectations. Guess, a clothing company reported net revenue that missed estimates. Nordstrom's department store chain reported net revenue that missed. Urban clothing retailer reported comparable sales for the namesake banner that missed. And Virgin Atlantic was downgraded by Morgan Stanley, which noted that the rocket company has no planned revenue generating flights from mid-24 to 2026. Six. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So yeah, you don't even have events again after today. It's I don't you're not getting any data on Friday, so that's it. Today is the last day of data. Consumer sentiment. Thirty minutes after the bell. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Uh, Altman returns. Sam Altman is back at OpenAI. Uh, following a day-long saga which saw him ousted and joined Microsoft and OpenAI employees threatened to quit in mass unless he was reinstated, Altman will return and overhaul the ChatGPT creator's board of directors. Succession for the TikTok generation, Bloomberg's Alex Webb said. The different parties involved are still in talks about which of the existing board members will stay, though they are joining with... They, the, those joining will include former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers. That's hideous. Why the fuck is that old man going to be on the board... <laughs> of OpenAI. This is all a nightmare. Uh, it's victory for Microsoft, OpenAI's biggest backer, which has worked with other investors uh, to engineer Altman's return and wants to address the governance issues that caused the problem in the first place. Senior managers at the company have told staff to get back to shipping products as the drama around Altman has transfixed both the startup and Silicon Valley. Dude, Larry Summers on the board. Like, what? AI will help him. He will not help AI. <laughs> Uh, NVIDIA's high bar. NVIDIA, the world's most valuable chip maker, didn't quite manage to clear the sky-high bar investors had for the latest earnings. It beat across the board with revenue and margin projections blowing past estimates, but investors wanted more. The stock initially plunged after hours, but then erased that drop fractionally higher pre-market. Its shares are up 242% this year through Tuesday's close, powered by big bets that it will be at the center of the AI boom. The jump elevating NVIDIA's market value to around $1.2 trillion meant much more of excitement was already priced in. As analyst Evercore said, it was just another run-of-the-mill blow out quarter for NVIDIA. Uh, Binance plea, cryptocurrency exchange Binance CEO Cheng Peng Zhao pleaded guilty to anti-money laundering and U.S. sanction violations, part of a sweeping settlement with U.S. authorities, which meant that the exchange can continue to operate, but we'll see will pay $4.3 billion in penalties. That includes Binance being used, according uh, to the Treasury, as a range of illicit actors, which included Hamas, Al-Qaeda, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. It marks the downfall of Zhao, known by CZ as CZ by his fans, and leaves Binance new CEO Richard Tang with the task of mollifying the exchange's 150 million users, placating U.S. regulators, and keeping founder Zhao on side, even as he is prohibited from managing or operating the business. Uh, Fed unity. Minutes from the latest uh, policy meeting at the Federal Reserve showed broad unity on the strategy to proceed carefully on future interest rate moves as to base any further tightening on policy making progress towards their inflation goal. And the minutes also show the emphasis on the impact of higher interest rates on household and businesses. There was minimal market moves on the minutes and stock futures were mixed while the dollar rebounded and treasuries are calm. The market is waiting for a slew of data including jobless claims, durable and capital goods and consumer sentiment to provide more clues on the rate path. Farming equipment giant Deer reported results in miss sending its shares lower pre market and then short truce, Hamas agreed to free 50 hostages from Gaza in return for a four-day ceasefire with Israel and the release of 150 Palestinian prisoners. That pause pushed for the U.S. and its allies expected uh, early on Thursday. Elsewhere, China has included Country Garden and Sino Ocean on a draft list of 50 developers eligible for a range of financial support, according to people familiar. And they're set to announce the autumn statement with the focus on whether it'll announce tax cuts in August. ba da ba 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 Don't worry what time. Oh, great time. Still very early. Still very, very early. 
Uh, S&P futures are up by 0.3 on Wednesday morning trading after U.S. equities finished mostly lower on Tuesday with weakness in retail and select big tech names. Treasuries are firmer across the curve. Dollar index is up by 0.1. Gold little change. Bitcoin futures are off by 1.1. WTI is down 4.1 on news of OPEC meeting being delayed. Nothing new from a narrative perspective heading into Thanksgiving holiday in the U.S. and some talk of near-term catalyst vacuum. Uh, AI proliferating theme and focus on another round of strong results from NVIDIA, though expectations and positions elevated into the print November FOMC minutes on, on Tuesday afternoon echoed the Fed's unrelenting higher for longer messaging though is also a bit dated given recent batch of softer data and more cautious commentary while seasonality still seen as supportive uh, positioning less of a tailwind following the recent outsized CTA buying still a lot of debate about sustainability of bad news is good news theme. Uh, NVIDIA delivered another big beat and raise on data center strength, although the bar was very high. Still some debate about earnings power given export restrictions. Uh, Autodesk uh, quarter three ahead of strength in enterprise deals, though takeaways flag softer than expected initial four year 25 revenue. Uh, HPQ fiscal quarter four lagged and largely uh, or, or largely in line and growth and company reiterated guidance, though Q1 EPS lagged below and takeaways noted continued demand softness in print. Uh, Nordstrom's EPS ahead better margins, though revenue missed on challenging macro backdrop. Urban uh, beat on strength at free people and anthro though uh, urban outfitters continue to underperform and expected to be a drag on q4 initial jobless claims came in lower at 209 uh, while continuing claims also down after hitting the two-year high in a prior report headline durable good orders declined more than expected in core capital goods uh, unexpectedly declined very quiet once again from a headline perspective sam altman returned as ceo of OpenAI under restructured board israel hamas agreed to hostage release and bake of japan dialed back jgb purchases as the regular buying operation Japan downgraded economic assessment for the first time in 10 months. Reuters said Chinese government advisors will recommend a 45 to 5% growth target for 2024, along with future stimulus. No, there's more, man. There's more. Pingo! I'm still here, baby. Good morning. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, man? Good morning. Good morning. So, and you like yesterday's video, man? I'm glad, man. I, I, I didn't think, you know, a lot more people liked it than were triggered. But, you know, that's what I said in the beginning of the video, man. You know, I made a lot of friends through that topic without realizing it. And I, I think it happened again, man. So I'm glad you liked it. Glad you liked it, baby. Uh, OpenAI said that Sam Altman will return as chief executive. Uh, Chinese government economic advisors are recommending a 5% growth target for 24. Same one as 2023, a goal that would require additional stimulus. Uh, Country Garden, Sino Ocean, and Sifi were added to China's draft list of 50 developers eligible for a range of financing. Israel and Hamas agreed a four-day uh, truce. Uh, the United States conducted a new round of airstrikes, the second roughly in a day, in Iraq in early Wednesday, destroying two facilities used by Iranian proxies that have been targeting American and coalition troops, U.S. military officials said. Uh, OPEC Plus may need to announce a deeper production cut this weekend to offset surprisingly strong growth from the U.S. and elsewhere. Pierre Andron said the higher outcomes of this meeting will probably be bullish as Saudi Arabia wants to see higher oil prices. Uh, U.S. authorities thwarted a conspiracy to an assassinate a Sikh separatist on American soil, an issue warning to... India's government over concerns. It was involved in the plot, according to multiple people with the case. Uh, NVIDIA posts another monster beat and raise print. Stock bounced around 1%. Feels like the reaction of last quarter with a huge beat and raise and muted reaction. Uh, Deer is down 7% pre-market, reported fourth quarter upside, including EPS of 826 versus 7, and then revenue of 3.8 versus 3.6, but full year 24 came in at the midpoint and investors didn't like it. Although AI continues to be a hot topic in earnings calls, the proportion of companies discussing AI fell from its high in second quarter, signaling a potential inflection of enthusiasm over the technology. Companies investing heavily in becoming leaders within the space discuss spending implications of these investments, noting that they expect CapEx and R&D to increase. Our economists estimate that an AI investment could rapidly grow in the next couple of years, approaching $100 billion by 2025. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Mm -mm. Don't worry, there's more. There's only a couple more. Still early, very, very early. NVIDIA uh, revenue guidance tops expectations as AI chip boom powers on. Sam Altman returns to OpenAI as CEO as shock ouster over the weekend. Bezos expected to aggressively sell more shares of Amazon in the near term after unloading on Tuesday. Novo expects shortage of Ozempic to continue in the next year. Uh, Fed minutes stress careful approach, but do not rule out the further tightening if necessary. Uh, Bank of Japan reduces JGB purchases as the regular buying. More than 80% of economists expect the Bank of Japan will end negative policy in 2024. ECB Lagarde says 
they cannot declare victory on inflation until 2% goal is met. ECB Schnabel says disinflation projected too slow. ECB Financial Stability Report highlights the fragile outlook. RBA's Bullock says uh, board seeks to cool demand and maintain employment growth. Hedge fund short sellers suffer an estimated $43 billion of losses in sharp rally over the recent days. Uh, Bank of America expects S&P to hit 5000 next year despite macro conditions. Uh, Ten-year tips auctions see soft demand with highest auction yield since 2009. Uh, uranium tops $80 a pound for the first time in 15 years on renewed nuclear power demand. Uh, Chinese government advisors will recommend 2024 growth rate of 4.5 to 4.55. China state-backed bank purchases to be accelerating yuan gains. Evergrande chairman's mansion seized by company creditor. Uh, Sunak China projects secure loan from government-backed asset manager. Uh, Japan downgraded economic assessment for the first time in 10 months. UK Chancellor Hunt targets $20 billion investment. Uh, lift with tech tax cut plan and autumn statement. Uh, UK will increase national living wage by 10% to 1434 an hour next year. Uh, Singapore mass says monetary policy settings appropriate. Government trims growth outlook. Uh, Israel agrees to a four-day truth with Hamas and 50 hostages set to be released. Uh, Biden diplomatic breakthrough on Israel hostage release came after weeks of talks brokered by planning uh, by Blinken brokered by Blinken traveling to Israel. Uh, U.S. to review whether a re a re a redesignate Houthis as terrorist organization following ship ship seizure. And uh, and again, big beat and raised by Nvidia uh, analysts talking about how it reminds them of everything else. NVIDIA quarter three, quarter four guidance well ahead of consensus. Takeaways focused on strong demand and generative AI across uh, the internet enterprise and cloud service providers with data center revenue up 41 quarter over quarter. Uh, Street also positive on expectations from data center strength persisting in 24 while the company said they believe they can continue to grow through 2025 improving supply. Flagged as supportive for the data. This uh, The record GM performance driven by favorable mix of the bright spot. Company said they expect sales in China which typically account for 20 to 25 percent of total data center revenue to decline significantly in Q4 due to the new export controls. However, they also noted this will be more than offset by strong growth in the other regions. In addition, highlighted potential for China-specific data center products. Bar was very high into the print and nothing particularly incremental for the earnings power debate. So literally, it's like it's it's doing it yesterday, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? NVIDIA, same, same type of earnings as last quarter. Blowout beat, and then you just like, then you just chill, and then you just chill. So, Chattadonia, we got a couple more things. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the bathroom now, and then I'll get them. We'll go over the place until they because they're going, yeah, they'll hit that commercial. So, I'll be right back. Follow me on Instagram at the trading fraternity. I love you. Good morning. I would say good evening, good night, but it's bright and early, baby. Good morning. Today, we've right, got we'll double digit returns month to date on the NASDAQ. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, my point the there is that ultimately they complained, pushed back against tighter financial conditions, or if you wanted to be kind, outsourced monetary policy to the summer of moves we'd seen in the previous month. And now look at things. Equities have ripped. Bond yields are much lower, north of 5% a month ago, October 23rd, I think. And now we're back to the 430s. This is what Andrew Honhorst of City had to say. The fish Officials at the Fed have responded asymmetrically to tighter as opposed to looser conditions. Ira, is it hard to disagree with that? I can't disagree with that. I do think that the the, the Fed is worried about going too far and and pushing into pushing the economy into a much deeper recession. So I think they they kind of breathed the sigh of relief when uh, when the bond market did do some of their work for them and tighten financial conditions in August and September. Um, but of course, as you mentioned, John, you know we we've come back and financial conditions are much more neutral right now. Um, you know, over time, the bond market is going to respond to um, you know the the inflation. Data Data, certainly, but also shifts in, in uh, expectations for for the Fed, and I think that's what you've seen with uh, with the market now pricing once again cuts by the middle of next year. That's going to cause five-year notes and ten-year notes to have somewhat lower yields than they would when we had priced out almost every single uh, interest rate cut for 2024. Um, you know, the market's been very fickle, right? So the market's been on edge with every single piece of data as well. So you know, once we get the the November payrolls report. 
and we get the November CPI numbers, you can wind up seeing the market reprice even more with you know, 25, 30 basis point moves and 10 year yields would not be a surprise to me at all given liquidity is so poor and we're going into a poor time of year for liquidity. So, um, so you're gonna have a double whammy for how big you can see yields move over the next month or so. We can wave goodbye to that stability all over again. Ira, thank you. Ira Jersey of Bloomberg Intelligence on the bond market and the Fed minutes we got yesterday afternoon. Torsten Slock, I want to come back to you. 2022, you speak to an official of the Federal Reserve and you'd hear this in various different ways on repeat. The risk of doing too little outweighs the risk of doing too much. As we get to the end of 2023, Torsten, from the Fed's perspective, has that assessment changed? And I think the minutes yesterday exactly spelled out that they are still very worried about not getting They're inflation worried. quite yet under control. Ooh, oil sold off because they delayed the OPEC meeting. There's supposed to be an OPEC meeting this weekend, and they delayed it. And now people are saying it's because they're they're mad about the production levels and other things and the price. So the delayed OPEC again, just considering what's happened with oil and where it's at, uh, that you know a lot of people thought the OPEC meeting would have done something. So the delay brought that down a lot, a lot. Chattadonia. How do you feel, man? It's, it's, it's Thanksgiving Junior. It feels like Thursday, but it's Wednesday. Oh, my goodness. So, Chad, we got about 10 minutes here until the bell. Still got some plays and some others. It's actually not that active. Again, uh, the only data is going to be 30 minutes after the bell here. But GoDaddy, they're up by 2.0. RBC upgrade. CCL up 1.8 off of nothing. CLX is up by 1.4. JP Morgan upgrade. Delta Airlines up 1.2 off of nothing. Enphase 1.3. Love. All the airlines are up there. RCL even. Again, airlines travel all doing good. Microsoft up by 1.1. OpenAI announces agreement in principle uh, for uh, Sam Altman to return as CEO. NVIDIA up by 0.1 on earnings. That's the funniest one. This is the funniest one, bro. Are you kidding me? It's literally up by 0.1 on their like fourth earnings. B Again, granted, the stock has gone from like $80 to $500. So, uh, you know, maybe maybe then again, if it was all front-loaded, it was on the pre-order. Uh, Iova up by 3.5, nothing. No, Novartis, uh, Navitas 2.9, nothing. Joby 2.7, nothing. Open 2.6, nothing. All of these have nothing. And then AI up 2.1, Nvidia Sympathy Play, CNTB up 11.9, Bounce closed 39% yesterday down. FRLN down uh, by 10.9, acquired by Sincoa for 6.50. Shot 8.4 off of nothing. ARQT 6.9 off of nothing. Thing. E hang up six four off of earnings. KOD up four nine off of nothing. TRMR up four point eight off of earnings, and then Uroy up three point four off of nothing. Autodesk down six point eight after earnings, and Piper downgrade. Deer down six point zero off of earnings. Cat CNH and AGCO down as sympathy. HPQ down one point nine off of earnings. Guess down thirteen point seven off of earnings. DLO down ten four off of earnings. Body down seven one completes reverse stock split. Urban down six four off of earnings, and then INTR down four point five and SGHC off of nothing. Foot Locker down 2.1 off of Williams downgrade. MCAF down 17 off nothing. Soul down 16 off of earnings. ANGH down 11.9. Profit taking closed 96% up yesterday. Uh, Space Virgin uh, uh, Virgin Galactic Morgan Stanley downgrade. Go to down 4.8 off of earnings. And then Oil and Energy all down after OPEC talks hit snag and Saudi concerns over output levels. Up off of nothing. Yeah, because I usually... Like, so this is like computer generated and it's finding you like the top movers and then it gets you the, uh, like the headline, right? So the problem is that these are all, none of these have any new headlines. So you have like, usually I have a reason for most of them or they're related to earnings, but today a lot of it is off of nothing. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's, that's at least what we're getting here. I don't know. I don't know, Chattadonia, but now you have about three to four minutes remaining. You got to hear the people. You got the data. It's Thanksgiving, man. Oh, man, I'm grateful. I'm grateful, baby. What's your first play of the day, Chattadonia? Post that in the chat for me. Let's see what you got. Give him a second. Give him a second. Let's see how many y'all play in the video, baby. Vix who? It's at 12, baby. What's the first play of the day? Oh, we got some? We got some. There it is. VIX, ES, Baidu, post NVIDIA earnings, NVIDIA shares long, close TMF calls, up on God's blessings, XLK, nothing, SPY calls, I believe because the 10 years coming down, DE puts, WMT, SPY credit spreads, XLM, nothing, NVIDIA, NVIDIA shares long, ES, long to the 4556, long term, all day, every day, USD, JPY, Baidu, sitting on the chair, sitting on the sidelines, NVIDIA sell off, NVIDIA call, AMD long, Tesla, Tesla long, so target, squeeze, Tesla put, Tesla on the short, holding long term, NVIDIA, dentist call, crowd call, Walmart calls, QQQ, RBRB long, AMD coin calls, 
Oil, 10 year future, Tesla calls, uh, WMT, Microsoft, Dow calls, Spy calls, 457, NVIDIA Lawn, 542, WMT, Spy calls, Lawn Baba, Burlington Short, TLT calls, CrowdStrike, Sold BHP, Turkey Long, Long on Joseph, uh, Jesus calls, G oh yeah, Jesus, baby, Te he said GZUS, I thought, I thought it was like an oil play, Tesla puts, UVIX, buy the Palantir dip, CLIC or KLIC calls on Josh, SoFi, Oil, XOM, Bible calls, Long CRISPR, CTVA, NVIDIA puts, SQQ, what up though, looking for January calls on Zoom, and the final plays. Soxel, Long Crisper, ASTS, SoFi Breakout, and Tesla puts with a short to 4556. Five, wow. <laughs> Thursday, November 23rd is a market observance. Thanksgiving will be closed. The market will be closed, and markets will close a little bit earlier. Hope you guys understand. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Awesome. Hold on. All right, I got it. my plays are Nvidia, bonds, oil, then low volume. Not much should happen after data. That's it. That's my plays. I've sent that's what I sent out to the stream alerts. That's the pre pre market stocks right there, bro. That's the pre market stocks right there. But Chattadonia, there's something more important, man. And honestly, bro. You know, I'm, I'm going to just go with the vibe, bro. I am going to go with the vibe. And that vibe is Thanksgiving, man. I am grateful every single day. But, like, for real, man, in the spirit of the holiday, there's so many things we could say. But one thing I am always grateful for is the people who have fought for this country and made sacrifices even behind the fighting. And, and we always have this talk. And you hear my stances and people ask me. But I always said it, man, you know, they didn't make the decisions, but these are people, man, who have supported our country regardless of their beliefs. So here at the Co Man, before we do anything, before we try to chase that dollar, we got to pay homage to a very special group of people. And I am talking about the veterans of the United States of America. So on behalf of everybody here, I want to give a huge shout out all the active servicemen, past servicemen, anybody who has served this country, even their families, bro, because everybody is a part of the sacrifice. I hope you guys know you're appreciated and thank you for real from the bottom of my heart and i encourage all of you the least we could do is show love and appreciation to our vets that's literally the least that we could do so god bless you all and big shout out to anybody else out there giving back to their local communities all the doctors nurses teachers firefighters police officers the janitors the coaches people helping out you got nonprofit helping grandma with anything <laughs> way to keep things running baby that's what i'm talking about but ladies and gentlemen please rise Place your right hand over your heart. Say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, baby. Set the chance! Oh, it's game time, baby. Ah, Horna. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I, I try to keep, I try to like control the send in the jets and it came out sounding like a mouse. But I'm, I'm down, baby. I'm down. It's game time. It's third. Not much should happen, though. Honestly, I don't, I have no idea why I'm so hyped, but. Uh, maybe I'm just glad to be here. You get to see all the beautiful chads. But like we've been talking about, there's a couple of moves here. Maybe NVIDIA gets its own little bit of action. But at the end of the day, uh, we got data, 30 minutes, consumer sentiment. That's right after the bell. And then after that, we're going to be good, man. You know what I'm saying? After that, we're going to be good, bro. We're going to be good. Digging the vibe. Appreciate all those who serve. Oh, man, you're going to fit in. You're going to fit in perfectly here, man. So God bless you. Good to see you. And good morning. So again, but today might not be that exciting. Again, this is the day before Thanksgiving. This is where like the volume is going to fall off. So if you thought yesterday was slow, oh, it's going to get even worse. OPEC postponed summit over production, says African nations disagree. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. African nations disagree on output assessment. A lot. 
Today is technically Friday, Junior. Kind of, yeah. It feels like it's Thanksgiving, Junior. Uh-huh. Michigan numbers at 10 and then slow day. Bonds are doing good, though. I mean, maybe we get currency moves. And again, you are going to have to deal with NVIDIA. So, Chad, we got about 25 seconds. Drop that thumbs up on the video. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Do you have any questions throughout the day? Post them in the chat. You got any news to contribute? Post it in the chat, baby, and let's go. I have no play on oil. So we got out of that. You know, we dealt with it last week on the fiasco. I'll see to make a play on it today, but if I could avoid it, I mean, I'm definitely leaning towards that. If anything, I'll play NVIDIA. I think I'm going to probably play NVIDIA and then NVIDIA. Round one. Fight. All righty. All right, so NVIDIA 495. Wait, we bought it at like 486 yesterday. What did it go to? Went to five. Went to five oh four. Honestly, I'm just down to start off with it, kinda. Mm -mm -mm. I do this. I, I'm doing this for the people. I'm doing this for the people. For the people. For the people. Hold on. For the two African states appear to dispute OPEC. I did it for the people. I did it for the p. I shorted Nvidia. 25 shares at 497.31. I'm already up on it. Woohoo! So that's going to be a little bit of a baby flip, but I shorted NVIDIA for now. Lord protect me. I didn't pray before, but yeah. We'll see. Why is the dollar? I'd probably assume because of the yen. I haven't checked yet. And then also some of the other broader like commodity moves. But for now, it's I would say watch the global currencies and people have been talking about what the dollar is going to do. Uh, just in terms of like everything it's gone through recently. So it's like, you know, especially if people are talking about rate cuts being priced into the beginning of the year. I mean, it, it does leave you in a very interesting spot for what the dollar will do. Shorts will make. I don't know. I'm pretty much I think my play could go back. Uh, it could go to 504. So you're kind of shorting at the bottom here. That's what you got to be careful. But remember, I made that flip yesterday. I bought in at like 484. So we'll see. We will see. Tesla's run. In the government bail in China, uh, I don't know about real estate, but even then, it's not fully there. Mm -mm. ZB took another step. It's great. I mean, it's good for now. Like I said, we want to wait till. Well, oh shit, we're at the spot. This is spot number one. So you're at spot number one. If we can't hold here, we're effed. But then, really, you want to try to get here. It's like another dollar, dollar twenty on TLT. Mm -mm. How are we already at four fifty five? That is, again, this is potentially one of the best Novembers the stock market has ever seen. So that's why we're about to hit 460. Shit. So, Chad, this is a new level. So you guys remember here where I was telling you, like, 457? That was the, that's going to be the, the next price there. Mm -mm -mm. Interesting. So now you have to, like, 457, 460. That's it. It's like 471, 4571, 4575, then pump it up. That's it. No, for real. For real, though. Like, you have, like, one level in the way right now. And then before the next level after that, it's like a straight shot to pump it up. That's actually insane. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not in TLT. I'm in a bond. I'm in ZB, which is a future. So I made that play. What day was it? We got into that November 10th. So about 12 days ago. That was before the data, and I've been writing it. So I'm probably going to close it out in a little bit. Again, like I just said, those two levels, they give you a nice little spot up there. Insane Fataki week. Dude, it's crazy. Again, I think last Thanksgiving there was a sell-off, but, you know, sometimes we've done a little melt-up here in Thanksgiving, but this time around, I mean... Just with everything going on, this is this is quite phenomenal. Today, again, low volume, the data, I mean, depending on how you wanted to take it, some people liked it and not, but just once again, melting into another level, and now that's it. There's like there's only like three or four more days above this for the year, and then before you know it, we will, we will be at the highs of 2021, 2022. Mm -mm. I think this is already a two-year high or near it eBay running, Turkey rally, the Turkey try, AMD, NVIDIA. AMD's going up great, actually. And then remember AI, that was another sympathy. Uh, what was the other one? There was SM Microsoft, too, and then SMCI. They're both, they're all going up, honestly. Everybody except NVIDIA. 
So NVIDIA still hold. I'm down a dollar a share on that one. Mm -mm. Amazon running Microsoft too. Like everything on it. Like, look at this. All the cards. Funny because I see names on the red, but uh, at the end of the day, you do have a lot of movement right now. Everything is going up. We'll get a market check here in a little bit. It's only been four minutes, but I don't know about the breadth, but everything 0. 0.5 on SPY, 0. 0.9 NASDAQ, 0. 0.4 Dow, 0. 0.5 on the Russell. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. issues that more stocks are lower yeah i feel you i think i mean it's not even like at this point we know what all the issues are it's just a matter of the chickens coming home to roost in the in the time period between powell cutting or not uh there's nvidia pop there now so it's going up to 500 we'll see i'll give them a little bit longer New Kanye song dropped. USD JPY. I like it. I like it a lot. The only thing I'm concerned about is that report we had this morning that 80% of economists believe policy changes next year. I don't like it when everybody gets confident on the yen because usually the Bank of Japan likes to blindside everybody. So that's the only issue I have with it. Otherwise, I, I'm very bullish on the yen. I'm probably more bullish on the yen than anything in the world right now. Mm -mm, except Jesus. And then real estate, I guess. But I, I do like the yen a lot. Mm -mm. Spy, there's AM Dizzle. UAL, again, all the airlines, bro, they gapped up here in the morning. Bro, UAL's up 3.4. Even gold. Gold, I'm not really, like, too... I'm not really the biggest gold fan, but, you know, I got, I got a portfolio. Like, that's it. I think I think gold, you buy it one time in your life at a good price, not, not the high. And then you just chill. And that's it. So I haven't bought gold in like almost 10 years now. Almost 10 years. Very close to it. But uh, I, I just chill on it. So I'm not. I, but gold, you know, in this environment, it's, it's, it may do its thing. But like I'm not really, uh, you know, like I'm not I'm not seeking out to buy gold in, in any sort of environment. Like, you know, I'm, I'm already positioned essentially is what I'm saying. So I don't need to go crazy with it. How long can the NASDAQ shoot to the moon? Every day. From somebody who shorted the NASDAQ at the beginning of the year and got his ass whooped, it could happen every day. So I, I was here. I did this one. So you guys are like half of that. So good luck. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, it's wicked out here. So there's that's that's why I just I take it slow, but do not expect anything. Just, you know, don't fight. It's like imagine a raging fire and then throwing a bucket of water at it right now. Well, that's why like everybody remember when we talked about the bear market rally? This was your shot to kill the momentum. You see what I'm saying? And what happened? You didn't kill the momentum. You threw a giant bucket of water. It didn't do anything, you know, and then, and then we started. So we need momentum needs to slow. And I honestly, I think momentum slowing will be a result of bonds or dollar or again, you know, your, your big set of data that has the ability. Dude, you're going up still. What is this? Bro, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight candles in a row. Eight just straight up from the cash open. I thought it was going to be a lot more choppier, but then again, this is probably just all computers and nobody else. Uh, Baba, no, I'm in Baidu, but no Baba, and then I made, I'm down 80 bucks on Young Nivda today. Yeah, Baidu had a nice little gain here today, so that's good, but I want it higher. Love it. Netflix, the one that got away. The market can be irrational longer than you could stay solvent, Yes. One of the famous, I think it was Warren Buffett quotes, but, you know, I'm sure that quote's been attributed to many people. But yes, 100%. Very, very good quote. But that's what I'm saying, man. Be patient. If anything, it's it's going to get weird, man. Even in the 2024, like, you know, you're you're seeing how everybody is reacting. You know, again, they, they, they were just having a debate this morning on Bloomberg about why rate cuts were good. So just keep that in mind. I've, I've told you guys this a lot. But that, you know, like once we were inverted and then they cut rates, it's not going to be good, you know, but they, uh, you know, people are already talking about rate cuts. The the Wall Street is going to take rate cuts as positive. OPEC delays summit over production spat. Yes, I have YCL and 6J. I've been in these plays. So, again, I, you know, at this point, I'm probably just going to tell you guys how much I love the yen. Uh, but if if you are not figuring out how to play it, then you have just ignored 
every single piece of content that I've put out on it. So <laughs> at that point, God bless you, but if you, you guys will have to figure it out. But good thing is that it has dropped since the first time I talked about it. So, But there there is a lot of ways to go about it. There's a lot of history. So uh, it's not on the recent watch list, though, unfortunately. So it's just it's stuff in the past. But like I'm saying, just I was answering somebody's question earlier. I did not want to get into the whole talk of it. Is John Maynard Keys the original for that? That'd be cool. Be a good fun fact. John Maynard, oh yeah, you guys, y'all said I'm gonna look this up, Josh. Bonds going up. Tesla on the low. Oh no. And then Nivda even coming back down. Again, market just straight up. Tesla down by 0.5. A lot of things on the high. Watch those travel names though, man. I'm telling you. Even Uber, they're up by 1%, but like UAL, Love, Dow, all of those are killing it for some reason. Mm -mm. By genius. Did AMD AMD is just reacting to Nvidia? That's the thing. So Nvidia's earnings were really good. The only person who didn't benefit off of Nvidia was Nvidia. <laughs> Because remember, everyone was like, yeah, let's see if uh, AI still does good. It'll tell us about the economy. Well, guess what? It, it guided up again. They killed it. None of that stuff was bad. But then, like, the only person, only stock that didn't go up because of the NVIDIA earnings was NVIDIA. So a lot of these chip makers, SMCI, AMD, I think even, like, I don't even know if you Broadcom now. I thought they'd be up. But, like, most of them are doing very good right now. Again, AM, I think Intel, even Intel got some of it. Usually they'll go down. Mm -mm. Amazonian. DNA pop in. Check AI too. That's that other one. And then Spy's still at the high, bro. What the dude? We're getting close to pump it up. So 4567. I'd watch 4571 to 73 and or 77. And then that's it. If you break that, you're pumping it up, bro. So you got 10 more points. I say 10 points max. That's the red zone. You get to 4577, you're going to go to 4600 unless it wants to hit it and then come back down, but that is the uh that is the uh the the pylon that we're looking for. Mm. Of all the things breaking, oil price was not on my bingo card. I'm dude, oil is just oil is a demon. <laughs> it's just not I'm telling you man every that's what they were talking about this morning there everybody you're wrong on oil every year at all of wall street is just always wrong on oil every single year but like again just what we've talked about with economic data and what it says i mean it's quite the trip my brother quite the trip you say best november it could be so right now this is the sixth best sixth or the eighth best best november it's only happened about eight times in since 1928 that the stock market has gone up 8.2% in a month uh, in November. So this time around, uh, if we go up two more percent, so we're up by 0.6 right now or 1% on the NASDAQ, pretty much if NASDAQ goes up like another 1% by the end of November and holds and doesn't come down, it will be the best November ever. So I think that number is around like 10 to 11% or 10%. So that is where you hit the best November the world has ever seen. Take from State Farm, baby. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't give you the horn warning. That's my guy, baby. How you living, man? Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving, Junior. The data did not hit yet. You got about 15 minutes. So take your time. That'll be the next thing to move. But again, after we get that consumer sentiment, that's all. And remember, uh, you guys should be familiar. We just did this a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago. It's consumer sentiment. University of Michigan consumer sentiment. That may sound familiar, but remember when we did it last week, two weeks ago, that was the preliminary. So now we're going to get the final reading. So again, five-year expectations and then one-year expectation. These are going to be the most important thing and why I'm bringing this up. Because last time on the preliminary, these numbers came in hot and it wasn't good at all. So now with oil and everything down, I mean, let's see if this uh, ends up having a, a better effect, more or less. Mm -hmm. Nvidia a little lower now. They're on the low ticker. Spy overbought on the daily. I mean, I think the spy 
has been <laughs> overbought every day for 14 green days in a row. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Did I cover my NVIDIA short? No. I'm up $100 on it, so $4 a share. I only did $25. Yes Dude, I did 10 yesterday. I got $10 a share, but again, NVIDIA get crazy, bro. NVIDIA get crazy, so I'm still in it for now. I think I want to close where I bought it yesterday. So, like, watch if it breaks 492, but then, like, 486-ish. I think that is a level... Because, again, I bought it, like, right here. Or the other, I bought it yesterday, and it, it just rocketed up. So, I think that level... Or maybe 490, you fill the gap. Netflix to 500. I'm mad I sold that shit out, man. We had that. We had a great price on it, too. So sad. So, so sad. All right, there's NVIDIA at the 490 now. Um, I took it. I closed it. 175 profit. Not bad for the morning. That was pretty quick, considering. Mm-mm-mm. God bless you, Navidia. Thoughts on Airbnb? Uh, my mom doesn't like it because she likes. She thinks hotels are cleaner, but I think it's cool. Is it? I've came to the conclusion that only boomers dislike Airbnb. So if you dislike Airbnb, you have been brainwashed by a boomer. Chances are, or maybe I, that's. I don't know. That's my take. Because that's I'm saying. My mom, she confer. I had this suspicion, and then my mom confirmed it for me. Mm-hmm. Do you have Netflix? Have it for 200 There you go. Oh, we still have Netflix in the long term. We're fucking loving it. <laughs> but we had trade shares at 425 I was down on them, and then they came back. I walked away with like two grand, but I literally would have made another five grand if I held it for like three more days, four more days, or another week. Two things, boomers. Hey, Airbnb and self-checkout. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Meta is good too, but Airbnb is chilling. Again, I don't like it at the higher prices, more or less. Uh, again, it's still at 130. That's a low price on some years, but on this year, that's still up like 60% on the year or something. Preliminaries came in hot. Yeah, what's stopping it? I don't know. I don't. The preliminary was a shocker when it came in hot. So if you were here two weeks ago when we went through the Michigan, it came in hot as fuck. And it didn't make any sense because oil was already dropping. So there could be a lagged effect on gasoline. So when it comes down to consumer sentiment, usually inflation expectations are way more influenced by the price of gas than anything else. So we'll see how it goes. But for the most part, I, I don't know how it's going to come in because that the preliminary was a shocker. The market did go down a little bit. But then again, I mean, look at where we're at today. Clearly, it wasn't enough to stop anything. So this number, there's a better chance it comes in lower. The final one, they pretty much revise it lower. That would make a lot of sense. But if it does come in hot, I, I do think it could shock some people. Gasoline. Gasoline not moving the same. It's lower than before. Yeah. I well, that's the thing. They both drop, but it's that consumer sentiment last time was weird. I just I I un unequivocally a odd report considering what everything was showing. So you still got to drop, but like if anything, gasoline price is lower than oil in a weird way. So oil is not trading. I guess it is at December prices. Damn, that just means gas went fucking nuts. Yeah, I forgot. Never mind. You got to pull out the fucking chart. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, gasoline is at the low, but then it does. It just cor it correlates with oil for for somewhat. So don't forget. Don't forget how what led into there. I forgot about that. Damn. So much time. I got to pull out a four-year chart. So we'll see. But that data comes out in about 12 minutes. And then spot five, four, five, five, six. I closed out NVIDIA. We're no longer in that. AMD still running up. 
Intelia. Mm. Mm. Opal fuels cites IRS proposed new regulations regarding investment tax credits. Opal. I don't know if that's earnings coming out right now. And then AMD's on the high, Tesla chilling. Again, bonds are still holding up for now, but after this consumer sentiment, that is going to have the ability to move. Bonds are up a lot, dude, 0. 0.65. I know, I just closed out the NVIDIA. We got almost, what? Uh, 25 almost ten dollars a share no nah, like eight or seven eight dollars eight dollars just around Jim tweeted Jim Kramer mm -mm. oil collapsing in three years of Biden's administration is proof the president has nothing to do with oil okay uh, no, I didn't stream alert in the video. I thought I was going to do it for like two minutes. I thought I was just going to dump instantly, and then it took me like a couple seconds and then got out of it. But I kept it super small. Can't believe the government has spent all the COVID money. Well, you want me to tell you something? I got, I got, I have information for you. Are you ready? If you were eligible for a, uh, a stimulus check and you did not claim it you can still get it <laughs> oh in the video another leg lower a little bit no it's it's it's, it's legit it's legit so if you like met the criteria like technically somewhere you are in an IRS book that says you did not claim your your stimulus. So what they're going to do is if you fill out, like you could pretty much fill out a form to claim it. You have to go through a process to claim it, and then they will give you your stimulus back as like a tax credit. So then you could get the stimulus check as a reduction of your taxes so that if you didn't claim it during COVID, you actually still have access to it, believe it or not. Isn't that wild? <laughs> but then yeah a lot of it did get scammed yeah so all the people who didn't scam <laughs> and all the ones that were you know just again the scammers could have probably used all the people who didn't claim it but i guess they missed us i guess they missed us Check your email. I know a house needs a lot of work. Bro, I was talking about it uh, yesterday. I don't think you were here. I love it. Co that one that you sent me yesterday, I said, just walk it, go through it with your dad and see what he thinks in terms of labor and materials. But, like, I don't know that area, but, like, based on my real estate knowledge, I look a little bit east. It looks like all of those properties are balling out there compared to what the values are. So I like it. I like it a lot. I'm only worried about the work. But like I'm saying, if y'all could hold that down, I would try to get it $50,000 cheaper if you can. I would try to negotiate with these guys. But like I'm saying, if you know the area and it, it, it looks as good as I think, I think that one actually is a pretty decent one. Otherwise, I would try to negotiate a little bit. You get that house 50000 lower, it borderline becomes a no-brainer, uh, especially if you could tell me the work is only fifty k. So coming down here, SPY bonds a little bit. NVIDIA, ooh, we should have held that. SPY just moving around, man. What You just saw, we just literally, how many days have we opened up just great gap up, green shoot up, and then we're dropping. There isn't anything else. Again, I'm seeing stuff on airlines and all that uh, in the Middle East, but nothing uh, no, no, nothing bad. Again, you had ceasefire news, the OPEC news bringing down oil. Maybe oil is the thing hurting us, but that's about it. The consumer report comes in about six minutes. So right at 10 on the hour, Eastern. Yeah, G. Breed nice. I'm getting in contact with Sam. Yeah, ask Sam about the area.
because based my first look, bro, I started seeing those houses right next to it. I was I, I think it's a really good one. So but like I'm saying, it's it's like it's priced pretty fairly. It's not too expensive. It's not too cheap. It depends on check the foundation. You could see how that property was made. I would definitely get an inspection that covers the foundation. But for the most part, it doesn't like if you get it a little bit lower, that shit becomes a no brainer. So I like I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So did you walk it? Go try to get inside with your dad if he's going to be doing the work and and see and just see what you guys think you could do it for. Mm. On the video, I was just in the video, bro. I told you it was funny this morning. The only one who didn't benefit off of Nvidia was Nvidia. It's this is hilarious, but it just it's doing what it did last quarter. Blowout earnings. They called it a run of the mill Nvidia blowout, but it's just unfortunately, uh. I think it's going to have a little bit of resistance here until we actually get some real stuff. But wait till the data. That data might be able to move us. Bond's starting to come down now. Mm. Foundation repairs are no joke. I mean, you could still do good, but they are, they are a lot of work. That well, I was going to take one property recently with foundation issues, but then again, once we found out the the crackheads in the house were, you know, we were like, nah, man. It was foundation tenants wouldn't leave and pipes. So y'all are crazy. Well, it was like, why didn't y'all just fucking? What did y'all do to this house? <laughs> mm -mm. What option strategy would you recommend to start with? Paper trade. Uh, have a budget and I'm starting with those because like in a weird way I kind of want to say premium selling in this environment but at the end of the day if you're starting out options I, I don't know if I'd start with premium selling uh, more or less you know why NVIDIA didn't benefit because they still have a PE of 110 but like but like if you generate AI and then I like I see what you're saying but then if you think about it and then and then the word and then Microsoft and then it's revolution, it's disruptive, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? People were selling for the holidays. I don't think so, and, like, you wouldn't have said that 10 minutes ago. <laughs> you know, wait till the data here, but I, just, I think we're going to get a lot of back-and-forth computer moves. We once again hit another high today, so just, I, I, I chill. Again, you, you kind of dealt with this. Huge gap up, big move up, big move down, but... I mean, as far as progress, you're just like, you're still kind of following an uptrend from yesterday. It's stupid. So we're border. I think we're just above the range. That's it. That's the, so like I told you, it's better. Like, look at where we're at. I told you yesterday we could have been trapped in here like we did at one of those, but like you're above it for now. So we'll see, but I wouldn't read too much into this until we get data, which thankfully comes out in two and a half minutes. So no worry. No worries. Yeah, and we're still green by half a percent on the NASDAQ. <laughs> Welcome. All right, 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 Yeah! If you think inflation cooler than cool, let me hear you say ice cold. All right, all right, no, okay. But consumer sentiment, 3.2 is the number for the five-year, but then 4.4, this has to come in lower. If this comes in at these numbers, I think at expectations is going to be dog shit. Uh, but if they come in lower, I think bullish. If they come in higher, we might get a little bit of a sell-off. We'll see. Again, just because of last time. So consumer sentiment will be be quite interesting here. Oh, that was the best song, bro. You know that? You remember? We need to listen to that. We need to listen to Hey Y'all by Outkast today. Hey y'all. Do, 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 do. Mm. Oh, we selling today, bass. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, bro, if you were here for the first ten minutes, you would have you would have been like, "What the fuck?" And then now I'm like, and then now you see the other comments. So it's like, dude, just today is a is a very weird computer day. Ahead of the holidays. 
Jack Ma halts plans to cut his Alibaba stake after shares in the Chinese company drop. I haven't heard the new Andre 3000. No, you were late. No worries, man. A lot. It's been. A, it's been. I've seen it a lot though. Like, our, it's not just you. <laughs> it's just literally, it's been like in the morning. People are like, "Pump it up!" And then ten minutes later, everyone's like, "Right, it's gonna be a down day." I think it's going down. It's like, all right. We are we are just like right at the opening candle. The data comes out 30 seconds. So you should get it on the wire. Again, the numbers you're looking out for, uh, 3.25 year, 4.4 on the one year. Should get ready. 20 seconds, baby. 20 seconds. Watch the bounce. NVIDIA put. I closed. I didn't buy a put, but I shorted them. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Baidu play went up 50. Good. You grabbed those options? Yeah, nice. The shares did good. I wanted them, but... You know, the share to give me dollar for dollar. Option, I don't know. 3.2 and then 4. Dude, it came in higher. That's bearish. Nope. One year expectation final came in at 4.5 versus 4.4. Five year came in in line. Current conditions better than expected. And then uh, consumer expectations final was uh, lower than expected barely. That's fucking weird, dude. I'm sorry, but that is. That one's weird. Mm-hmm. Hotter number. Yeah, it's even hotter. I don't know why. That's like kind of trippy. Because mm -mm. numbers are rigged or just super delayed. But that's a weird ass, a weird ass one, bro. Because inflation is still high. But it's falling back to like i mean here's the deal when inflation was actually high the consumers weren't feeling this way <laughs> i don't know if you feel me dog but like i'm just saying when inflation was actually at nine percent and gas was at the highest ever nobody the consumer sentiment wasn't this high so it's uh it's just the the signals from oil and everything else, but I just think it's extremely delayed. I don't even I don't even I don't or they're just surveying fucking monkeys. <laughs> I don't. They're literally giving them like a dartboard, a banana, and like one of those like a Rubik's cube, and they're like, "Tell me why you feel about inflation," and then they just call in random ass people in the zoo because I don't know how this is. <laughs> this is very very weird, bro. Very very weird. It's the eggs. People don't know. I just need to shut up. You know what I'm saying? I need to just stop paying attention and it'll be a lot better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I just stop paying attention to data and minutes getting released, like, you know what I'm saying? If I, I need to just start ignoring all of this little shit, bro. Because every time I'm like, this none of this, man. This has all been so delayed. I just, you know, I'm going to just, you know, live ignorance is bliss. Mm -mm. NVIDIA earnings will reflect after. I just think NVIDIA is going to have its own little problem. Euro consumer confidence, actual 16.9 estimate was 17.6. Mm. All right. What do you mean? It's bearish? It's not good. Again, honestly, I'm pretty shocked the market's not, like, dumping too hard off of it. But, you know, like, I'm, I've been following this. The back-to-back -back of these in consumer sentiment... And then it going up, I, I mean, I, I really thought that would be a good one to feed the bears off of. But then again, the market is uh, quite quite well ignoring that for now. So again, maybe it's the low volume and everything else. but Or maybe some people don't think it's as bad. But I do think that was a negative sign. However, if the, if the bears don't want to take it, I mean, I'm not going to force them to. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right.
UUP up 0.58. NVIDIA, we should have held that. We should have held that. Mm hmm. Yeah, you got Euro numbers coming out too. And some people have been tripping out on that as well. Mm -hmm. All right. I sold out my ZB. I don't want it below 116. Uh, I had like 700 in profit on the day, it dropped to 400, and then net total like 2,600 net. So we had like 3,000 in the morning. But I am out of the ZB. That was from 10 days ago. Mm. We had one day in two weeks. One day. No, you had like two. Yesterday was a down day, whether you believe it or not. <laughs> I say that because, like, we did, like, literally you did nothing. But, like, technically, yesterday was a down day. I hate to be that guy. I think we've had, like, three down days. So watch out. I could have closed that early. If you really want to get bullish on bonds, it's going to bounce off 116 and rock it. Uh, I'm talking ZB or it's going to just flush through here. But I do not like that data. Mm. Bears. The ZB went crazy. I know it's nice if you think about it. It wasn't just the one on the... Remember, we hit it on the way down. So that's the beauty. We got we got another like three or four grand on the short. And then I got clobbered on it. And then we got hurt a little bit. But then that one coming green for us was very good. So I'm glad. We're going to have to hit a couple more. JPM target. How's the volume low? Seems like it. Dude, 10 million. So not bad for 30 minutes, but I don't think that volume is only going to get slower from here on out. Bond The tips bond auctions weren't good, but the, uh, again, the latest 20 or 30 years, I mean, I don't want to say good, but they weren't bad. I guess that's the better way. I don't think we could say any bond things are good right now, but just not as bad seems to be the theme. But you know, market love that. Oh, no, it could have been worse, huh? Die till EO close. Or just the volume. I don't think the market goes crazy, but like at the same time, like volume should start to slow down from here. Or at least like after Euro close. Long on CL. That one's going to be good if uh, they announce the OPEC stuff, maybe into the weekend. Where Remember, I traded it at this price the other day. Or was I? I was at 74. I think, yeah. So just be careful there. But, like, if you, I think the 72s, that one's kind of money. I feel that. It's already down five, though. Hmm. We lose this area. I'm shorting like crazy. I mean, I'd be care. Like I said, it's just not. It's a weird day. So we maybe we fill the gap, but just keep in mind, you could still get trapped in this box. Remember, there's been a lot of box traps as of late. Uh, so I, I I don't know. I don't know if anything. And it is still an extremely low volume day. So that's what I'm saying. Don't don't let them trap you into too many things. You think oil is dropping prematurely? Uh, people of, of Argentina are going to dump a ton of oil. No, I don't think that oil is. I don't know what oil's moving on. As much as I would love to answer that question, I have an idea that probably would have been correct maybe a couple years ago. Uh, but at this point, I mean, it's weird supply demand dynamics, global politics, and deals. But I, I do think it's, it's. I don't think Argentina is bringing you down five percent right now. This is this is all because the OPEC headline. What do you think of Argentina president? Uh, it's going to be cool to see. I mean, I'm, I I think the people wanted him, and that's cool to find out. And, like, he has some crazy ideas, but, like, hey, 
Let's see what he does. I, I, you know, I think, I think, uh, like I said, we talked to some people in here from Argentina. Some people like it. Some people don't in the country. So he has some ideas. The dollarization of the country is not going to come with, uh, it's not going to come without a cost, but then again, you know, somebody willing to take on that effort, uh, it could end up pretty well for them. You know, like that's it. High risk, high reward for the country, I would say. All right, 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 all right. All right, still working down. Bonds came down a little bit, but that's good. We held that play for like two weeks. So, we'll say, should have held the net blocks. It's all fun and games until you abolish your central bank without the ability to issue bonds. <laughs> he'll see. But then again, I mean, what if he just bought, what if he just does it off of, I guess you can't issue U.S. bonds. Maybe he'll try to resale U.S. bonds. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Argentina could be a relatively wealthy nation for South America, but some mismanaged. I mean, here's the fucked up part. Are you ready? I'm pretty sure Argentina is still the second largest economy down there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I know I'm pretty sure it's top three, which is wild to think about with everything going on there. So, I mean, they have gone through a lot, but they I'm, I'm pretty sure, dude, their economy is already a powerhouse. You know what I'm saying? It is second. Yeah, and I know it's top three. So, but it's in a weird way, they're already a wealthy nation. It's just the mismanagement has held them back. So it's like, you know, Argentina is not poor and it's not like Argentina has a lot of resources. So it's, it's kind of wicked to think about, but that's why it's like, we'll see what this dollarization does. And, and like I'm saying, anybody who wants to change the currency that usually that upends a lot of stuff. Again, think Bretton Woods, America, when we changed our currency, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's the same thing here. So however this guy does it, it's, it's, it's going to be a uh, quite the wild ride. Baidu. Yeah. It's holding up good, man. I'm glad I, I brought up some of those options yesterday. I didn't take them because we're holding the shares, but I'm glad some of you guys are paying attention. ARGT. Yeah, it's up a lot, though. That's the thing. I don't want to buy the Malay premium. You see, it reminds me of, like, India and Turkey when they have those pops, you know? Like, let's go. I feel like Turkey's done it a couple times. You know what I'm saying? You'll get, like, one of these pops. It goes up for a little bit, or you get, like, the hype pop. So that's the only thing I'm worried about with it. But, you know, give it enough time, it would be good. However, Argentina isn't uh, – it's not one of those developing nations that, like, I put – I like. I, I still like India – and even Mexico a little bit better, but is it I N D A? Inda. I love India. You had that Adani dip, and then I still didn't. And India never even got cheap. Ins inspection, but Tony opened the car. Let's go, baby. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Mm. India, in, I love India. India is going to be probably bigger than China in its own weird way. Uh, again, down the line, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm, I'm very, very excited about it. But it's, uh, it's also, I just hope they stop with their little assassinations. <laughs> That's the only thing. India is getting, India is like getting powerful enough where they're doing like abrasive shit overseas. <laughs> they already they literally like were part of an assassination in Canada and now today Americans they were they were going to do it in America for like a dissident and then we we thwarted the plan so I say as long as India don't get too crazy like and turn into the the China hubris more or less and like okay we're powerful now we're going to do this but yeah <laughs> that's the only bad thing How do you want to buy your first house? How do you find deals and learn all the options? I mean, you could look into all of that yourself. The best thing to learn about the loans is to talk to a lender. So, yes, I'm going to tell you I could refer you to someone, but, like, fuck that. You could go – you could talk to anybody. You know what I'm saying? And that's, like, usually finding a good agent, a lender should be able to tell you that. But now finding the deals, 
that's going to cause you a little bit more work. But even then, I was talking about this yesterday. The market is already slowing down. If you guys aren't aware, people are dropping house prices at the fastest pace on record right now. And somebody was like, oh, but the prices are still high. And I said, yes, but don't underestimate. You could still find a deal in this market because once the cracks start showing, people are might be willing to give you a further discount. So, you know, Colt yesterday, he sent me a house and uh, I was just talking about it this morning. That's one of those deals. I think it's already priced cheap. It's there. The market's slowing down, but I'm like, try to get it a little lower. You might be able to find good deals on market, but otherwise talking to homeowners, you know, especially if you want to buy the house to live in for real, go knock on the neighbors and say, Hey, I'm trying to buy houses. I'm, I can't find the one that I like for sale. Would you be interested in selling it? I'm, I'm getting a job here. I'm doing this, all that. Yeah. Season now, this is the perfect time to buy a house right now. Uh, just because prices are lower. The only bad thing is interest rates are higher, but you literally have all, all anybody who wants to dump a house right now is going to have to dump it. And then all of the people who have their houses listed already, it's going to be listed in the slowest time of the year. Mm -mm. By Dunius. All right, bonds are starting to catch their little relief there. It's still green. That's crazy. Microsoft flushing, though. By Do 117. Interest rate got clapped. Data could be interesting. Wonder home. There was something about home builders this morning too. They weren't doing too good. Heard numerous sellers saying price is negotiable recently. Don't be scared of the last price of the list price. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you keep ap operating in that like fearful, scared mentality, then real estate's always gonna look crazy. But like I I told people yesterday, bro, there people will make deals. People if people get worried and want to dump it, just ask yourself. How many times have you held an option, you got greedy as fuck on it, and you let that shit run up to thousands of percent or a crazy number, and you didn't sell it, and then the minute it started dropping, and and then you started getting close to losing profit, you fucking market ordered that bitch as fast as you possibly could have. <laughs> Think about it. You know what I'm saying? Where you are, where you're like, oh, fuck, yeah, I'm going to get a million dollars for this. And then the minute it comes down to 800, 700, see, you're like, wait, 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 wait. You're like, all right, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Same thing with real estate. You guys keep complaining about these greedy sellers. Well, just fucking wait your turn, okay? <laughs> like, that's it. Because at the end of the that's what I was trying to explain yesterday. And, like, the deals right now that exist, you got people already panicking a little bit. So especially if they need to, but it's like you may see the price, but like I'm telling you, you could still finesse right now and this is the time to do it. So if you think that people don't want to sell their houses, bro, you don't know unless you ask. Even if it's listed, like go throw in. I told you end of last year, I was lowballing everybody and I got three of them. It worked. <laughs> it literally worked. That's all you got to do. So it's just simple because people, if they see the environment, you have an election coming up. That's the weird part. The weirdest thing I've heard is the election. So when I've, I've been talking to people, even people for the, uh, bro, I had a guy about to, to, to buy a car and then this dude just fucking backs out and I'm like, I, he was chill, bro. And I'm talking to him, but like he brings up the election. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you, dude? <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? Uh, but literally like I've heard it like maybe like, I'd say like seven times in the last two months from like real estate to other thing, or maybe it's just an excuse for people who don't like, who just kind of want to wait a little bit, but like, I'm, I'm lit, I've heard it as a reason. So all, all in all, you have all of this coming in here. So it's like, hey, you see a house put in an offer again. If, if you're out of budget, talk to the seller and see if they're if they'd be willing to go down again. If they have 50, 70, 100 percent of equity and they want to get out and they're scared about the future, they're going to be willing to do a deal with you. <laughs> Maybe presidents changing they think will affect their lives. Well, yeah, I mean, people are very, uh, I mean, they're concerned about it. I, I've, I've heard it in, um, anecdotally in my life. I've heard it a little bit brought up in real business situations, but it, it, it did, it seemed humorous to me. But then again, I mean, welcome, welcome to the world we live in. Again, there's, there's a, there is a lot of tension.
China Troubled Bank, Shadow Bank, Zongzi warns of insolvency. Uh-oh, hot duck. Market will rip off that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, shop, my friends, shop. Think Trump will win by the left. Don't waste your time. I don't think you uh, were here for yesterday. I, I'm going to gift you guys the lesson because I, I really want you guys to learn uh, and not be so political because uh, we went over uh, uh, economic, po po political economic thing yesterday and we talked about real estate. But, uh, you know, I, I do think it's I wouldn't call it a fact, but it's more factual than not that real estate will do better under a Democratic administration. And then real estate will probably do worse under a Republican. So that's, I will be basing my strategy on that into next year as well, too. But it's just because, again, Democratic Republican focuses on unemployment. That has a big effect on real estate and how different sides pursue policy leads to uh, uh, a lot of different outcomes. Yeah, it, it leaves you torn. Yes, I know. It's a, it's a, it's a fun one, though. I, I can't wait to, I'll get you guys the book and we'll read over it. Will you tell them the seven-year cycles you were speaking in the religious text? That was yesterday's video, baby. I love it. I was, dude, I was honestly like, bro, yesterday's video, I won. I, re I really enjoyed making it. That's the first thing. That was that was honestly like one of the funnest videos to make. I, I Honestly, I have a lot of fun making every video, but that one was really, really cool. But, dude, I love the response, man. Uh, God bless you guys. You know, I, I, I really felt, you know, I, I, had a, I had a big smile on my face to know I was surrounded by so many people. You know what I'm saying? That like, you know, people that, that could vibe, bro, very, very well. Like I, I was really, really like, it was, a, it was a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling, bro. God is good, bro. Finger to the sky. For real, bro. For real. So I got that. That's the latest one I posted on the watch list. It was crazy on time. Amen, man. Amen. And like, I, I encourage you to read it how you like. And, and again, I mean, I, I threw in other parts of it. Like just, dude, some of this stuff goes back. And like, you know, I, I that's why I taught, you know, I, I love the seven year cycle and I love the story of Joseph. But like, you know, and I, every time, you know, people say, well, why don't you do this, do that? And like, I told you that same exact story. You want ancient text, the same exact story verbatim is in the Quran. You know, and like, again, the Torah, you could go back a lot of different things. So it's just I, I, I really hope everybody gains from it. And it's just like, dude, if you read if you read the ancient wisdom with a lens of, of progress and you have a goal, like I'm telling you, things will you'll see it yourself. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able to to, to look over stuff and and read it. And hopefully it, it, it speaks to you the same way, because it's just like, again, as you grow and you learn and and you want to get into stuff and do stuff, you know, it's like your, your focus. Remember you determine the lesson, my friend, you determine the lesson. You think I'm interpret interpreting incorrectly. Republicans focus on stimulating business and assuming employment follows. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not the assumption. So politic, like, again, this is what I learned in college. I'll get you the source. Uh, but it is, uh, it's not by stimulating the economy. Democrats prefer less unemployment. It is they want people to have jobs and access to money. If you have a consistent paycheck, you are better off than not. And they and you're going to feel better and you're going to be focused on on just that. It's hard to get mad when you're not getting a check when you're getting a check. So <clears throat> this is what's been discussed. Again, like I said, this doesn't have to do with Biden. This is going back from the earliest Democratic administration till today. 
You know, it's just what they pursue. And then same thing, Republicans just don't give a shit about unemployment. So that's why on the reverse, if you think I'm here to defend Demo or to defend Republicans, no. The Republicans do not give a shit if you are employed or not. Why? Because they save their money and they have jobs and businesses or, or assets. They don't give a shit. Usually the Democratic base is on the reverse, more employment side. If you don't have as much savings or assets, you rely heavily on the job. So that's why that's that's where that's what I've learned my whole life. And, and again, the, the history backing it, it, the stimulating a business, all that stuff, that is the, the little features that come and go with it. But it's it's really hard to say that one only stimulates and one doesn't. Whereas if you do look over the last hundred years, there is a definite emphasis of one side for employment and one side not for employment. And that's why, as we've talked over this last couple of years, I've told you with real estate, you want it to crash, unemployment needs to rise. So if the policy is to keep unemployment down, I don't think real estate will go down and then vice versa. Bidenomics did not ruin the housing market. It was our, it was before that. It was a mix of Trump and Biden, all of it at the same time. But I wouldn't say he gets all of the blame. No. Mm -hmm. By Dude Disney? I swear I just saw that on the high. We're back to VWAP. You think unemployment helps? You're hoping people can't make it. No, I'm not hoping. I'm just, again, and I'm not like, just remember all of this stuff I told you three, four years ago about inflation, let's get rich off of inflation, real estate, access to money. I'm not the only person who knows this. I hope I, I made that, make that clear. So we could argue about it and you could, you know what I'm saying? And we could, but like at the end of the day, big money did everything I told you three years ago. They all also imagine all like a, a lot of people know to operate broader macro business plans off of this. Again, this is why people try to align depending on that's why some people donate. Again, why do you think people donate to certain parties? They want certain outcomes. So why? Because it could be the difference between making a lot or not. So it's 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 a wicked concept. Mm -mm. Baidu is run Disney ninety five forty four, bro. What a blessing. No, but paradigm change, like Dalio said, you haven't seen it. It maybe maybe we do. Uh but then again, I mean I I would kind of argue we've already witnessed paradigm change. Like the biggest paradigm shift was uh again to a floated currency to then then to modern monetary theory and then towards taking modern monetary theory and then fucking redlining it by dumping as much money as possible and then telling Japan to stay negative interest rates for another five years. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I think we've are, I think we're in the middle of a weird one right now, but at the same time, it's just, it, again, the, there is a lot of, of history though behind just the, the broader policy affecting economy. So that, that will unfortunately be a, a somewhat of a factor we get into later, but we'll see. If Biden gets four more years, will the housing market get better? I think the housing market will stay elevated. I think it'll play out like this last couple of years, you know, anywhere from five to seven percent increases, maybe stagnate for a year. But because, again, you guys know year over year numbers are still high. That's the insanity. So if I go to real estate prices year over year, they haven't dropped <laughs> like they've came down from like the peak. But like you are still printing consistent home sales that are like the prices are year over year higher than the year before which is insane so i think that'll maintain again uh, it doesn't matter about and here's the deal i'll give you the caveat i don't want to blame it on just biden uh if if, it, if that happens it matters with unemployment so like i'm saying if there is policy that favors low unemployment real estate's going to stay up if there is policy that favors high unemployment real estate is going to come down that's that's the simple logic. That is the logic we are on. You want to remove your favorite political character? Great. Policy supports low unemployment. Real estate stays up. 
policy supports high unemployment, real estate comes down. That's it. Retire for longer means real estate market bad. I don't know. <laughs> Why? Because we said the same thing about interest rates at 2, 3, 4, and 5%. NASDAQ hits an all-time high. Interest rates last a year ago, mortgage rates were still, you were paying 7, 8% still. It's it's still all elevated. And it's been one year now, and prices are still up 4% or 3.3% year over year from last October till now. Read the Democratic platform and then say you're voting for them. It's not about housing or unemployment. Uh, it's I, That's not what I'm saying it is. I'm saying anything of policy that affects the jobs, then it gets into the real estate. You've been watching the admin pump through government hiring that adds to budget? Yeah, that's why that's what happened. So I think pretty much under a Republican, you're probably going to get way less government hires. And then maybe the weird data doesn't show up like that. Mm -mm. are we in a bubble uh it earlier we were that's the thing like 2021 felt like a bubble you know but now after giving up some of it and then magically staying up here it's leaving people weird crude inventories 8.7 million estimate was 1.75 cushing crude oil 855 versus 1.925 previous check oil right now. Crude oil, gasoline, 750 estimate draw of 1.1. Distillates, negative 1.01 million estimate was negative 1.2. Goodbye, inflation. Work so hard, they used to set prices raised, and but they didn't increase any of the wages. They don't do the wages. Goodbye, inflation. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm better at the old ones. I'm better at the old ones. Mm Remix on point. I'm glad, man. You got to hey, y'all. You guys get Post Malone. <clears throat> By Dunius. Oh, he's doing good. 118. Let's go, man. Let's go break even on that now. We have less than 10 bucks. We go green on that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm. You know, I, I could probably do another post, Mom. Why dive a son? Inflation was down when I was young. You gonna hear about it when it's gone. No, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. White Iverson. White white Powell, but Powell's already white, so I don't know that I was gonna it didn't work. Inflation was down when I was young. This is true though, bro. Ain't none of y'all do about inflation. <laughs> None of us did, even myself, bro. I knew what it was. Like, thank God, thank God, I had knowledge on 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 like the economy. But like, dude, ain't nobody gave a shit about inflation, bro. Mm hmm. It's crazy, bro. You gonna hear about it when it's gone. <laughs>
What's going to be your hot topic to talk about at Thanksgiving? I'm going with AI. Uh, I don't know. I think we're going to... We usually revolve. Or my mom brings it back to Jesus. And then we make fun of everybody. We, like, kind of roast each other. Uh, but I don't know what the topic is. Like, I never had the NFT. Like, you, like at Thanksgiving, like... My mom didn't know what a damn NFT was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody asked me about, like, no NFTs. So, I, I see. My AI might come up. <clears throat> Tesla's right because you bought it. I don't feel it. Mm -mm. dollar one over doesn't matter to markets well i'm not looking at the dxy but the th people aren't looking at the price of the dollar right now they're looking at the recent pullback same thing with bonds same thing with the mark market is doing its own but all of the goodness that the market is reacting to is off of this so people aren't like again that's what i was explaining the other day somebody was like the bonds are coming back how can inflation i'm like dude a month, two months ago, when the market was back at this price, the 10 year was at 3.4. <laughs> We're like 1% higher right now. So it's like same thing with the dollar, but people aren't looking at the price as much as they're focusing on the recent pullback and relief from it. So eventually, if if the dollar comes back up and that velocity, this like downside velocity goes away, then people will start getting concerned about the, the level it's at. Good evening. What would you say the average IQ of CME traders is? I have no idea. I don't care. I <laughs> That's I, like I told you the other like, you know, ever since you know, I've got to humble myself in different ways, like I've I've not thought about somebody's IQ in a very long time. You know, so I I quite frankly don't give any any damn towards it because it's I don't I don't think it's it really says anything. Mm -hmm. Kangaroo. Mm. TGT. Let's go to the bathroom. Run it up, baby. Run it up. Young Bostick. IQ isn't irrelevant. If you have an IQ lower than 82, there's literally no job you could perform in the modern world. I don't know, man. Because <laughs> like, that's the thing, bro. I know I know people with low IQs and high IQs, and they're all just the same. <laughs> as, as all, it's, it, it's funny because, like, regardless of your IQ, it all boils down to, like, your attitude and behavior, if that makes any sense. So, like, again, bro, I've seen the highest IQ people wind up in the worst situations and then vice versa. The lowest IQ people I know, like, just thriving. It's just how you conduct yourself. It's this behavior. You know, and behavior and habits, I think, are more important than your IQ. As weird as that may sound. Obviously, you all have a natural ability. Everybody has, uh, you know, an innate, you know, level of knowledge. We all have our own gifts and, and weaknesses, but... Again, your conduct and your behavior and habits and your attitude like that will will form a lot of what you do, your career, everything else. IQ dictates actions. No. Uh, again, I mean, <laughs> like I, I personally, I, I love the guy, but like I wouldn't. I wouldn't say my my parents are like high IQ, uh, you know what I'm saying, and it's not as it, like, but it, that didn't stop my mom from not knowing English and and learning English in school and becoming a nurse, you know what I'm saying? Like again, my my dad, I don't think he's the highest IQ individual, uh, but it's at the same time, it's not. Can he perform? Of course. So it's like I don't I don't how you behave. I I don't think it's dictated by that. Mm -hmm. their IQ is high enough to understand and learn. Eh, I'll take that tentatively. It took my take, took some people longer. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My mom, she learned, but it, it definitely took a, a lot longer. 
Yeah, it's the exactly. This is all, what we are talking about right now is the age old adage of book smart versus street smart. That's it. You could have that's that's what it comes down. And I I would take street smart any day, but if you really want to excel, you mix both of them. Mm -hmm. Always, yeah, exactly. There, you, and Asim Talib says this. I would take street smart any day. IQ isn't about street smart. It's about problem solving. Yeah, but like, how you me how do you measure IQ? You know what I'm saying? They don't tell you on the IQ test. If somebody is carrying around a fanny pack with their hand in it, what does that mean? That's a problem solving skill that'll save your life if you are really aware. But they tell you to put a triangle in a triangle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're asking you certain things. But like I'm saying, I, I do. I would take street smart any day. Like, that's where I think, like, my parents, I think they knew how to survive. I think my dad is extremely high IQ, street smart. In terms of IQ, I don't I don't know what, if he would score a high IQ number. You know, so that's where I'm, I'm I definitely think it's there. And then the, me yeah, exactly, how you determine it. It's like back in, that's why, I mean, think about it. They stopped doing SATs and shit because of the questions. Yeah, I do like the combo. The co I agree. I think... I think only street smarts will take you so far, only book smarts, but you know that little one two punch of both of them, man, you're gonna you're gonna end up good. What's it mean if they had one hand in the fanny pack? I don't know. Take an IQ test. You'll fit problem solving skills. <laughs> See, but that's the thing is like you're asking that question. You're like, I don't get it. Do I have a low IQ? No, because there's people in here who can understand high IQ questions and math and methodologies that the person who knows about the fanny pack wouldn't answer. But, do you, you know, depending on where your fucking environment is, <laughs> that's one's going to benefit you or not. But then again, life is very fluid. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, is going higher Like your IQ Woo Yeah, Baidu, baby I love it Let's run it, man If we go break even today I'll be very excited But that's good that we got a lot of A lot from that return And I think y'all are hitting on the options, too <laughs> Arm has been killing it. All, everything related to NVIDIA is on fire. Again, that's what we were talking. Only who didn't benefit off NVIDIA was NVIDIA. It's the, the funniest story of modern history. <laughs> How can you learn to read the room? On, bro, honestly, like, I wish I could give you advice on that. But, like, the only, <laughs> the only experience I have gained was from being in sketchy scenarios. So now I know what to li like look for, if that makes any sense. So I just, I see it. Like when I see a crazy motherfucker, I just know. Like, like, you know, when I see problems happening, I just know because I've been in situations, but like, I don't know how to explain it. Cause it's not like I'm like looking and judging everybody, but it's just like, I don't know, like little noises, little actions, like certain things. Like you just kind of, you, you just pick up on it. It's, it's, it's hard to describe. What you're talking about is literally pattern recognition. But that's what I'm saying. Some of you high IQ motherfuckers wouldn't understand. Like, that's, you wouldn't be in a situ, you aren't in certain situations where you're, like, literally, I've been shot at before. Am I a gangster? No, but I've, I've been shot at. I've had a gun pulled on me. That is a situation that, oh, fuck. It's, it, no matter what you're in, you're going to react, and it doesn't matter on your pattern recognition skills, more or less, <laughs> because every situation is different, and, like, you know, I don't, I don't know how to spot that from a mile away or to, like, prevent it, but then at the same time, like, how you respond in there, it's just like a mad... I, I think it's common sense of safety, but if you've never experienced it, your pattern recognition isn't going to help you. 
You see what I'm saying? So what do you, I, I like to think I, I could notice things, but the first time someone pulls a gun on you, uh, what the fuck pattern do you have to recognize? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, uh, this has never happened. But so now once you've experienced it, now you can maybe recognize it. But like I'm saying, even if I've had it happen in different scenarios, none of them were alike, but you can still like now you, I just know what I guess I know what areas to avoid more or less. So it's a trippy concept, bro. But like I'm saying, I've, I take one over the other, but just I wouldn't worry too much about your IQ. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have a belief that high IQ, low IQ. I mean, you could become a, a very high level individual and accomplish whatever you want, regardless. You were shot one. In, so you actually took a bullet. Did you bust back? Fuck no. The first one I fucking I was terrified. Second one I ducked. No, I wasn't. I wasn't even close to it. It was like there was a. I was there was one. I was. We were watching a Charger game, bro. We were watching. A, I was watching a Charger game. I was young, and like we were at my brother's friend's house. Like, and it was kind of hood, not really, but like you know, it was just like fifty fifty. <laughs> and there was a drive by of the neighbors next door. It was the craziest thing ever. And then Arizona, they just kept pulling guns on you. Mm -mm. Your buddy accidentally shot me with a shitty gun when I was 14. No way. Dude, open face, you have the craziest life, dude. We need a, we need an open face movie. I would watch it. I would, I'd love it. That's crazy, bro. He got shot in the leg. <laughs> That's nice. Like Cheddar Bob. <laughs> That was wild, bro. You like Cheddar Bob. <laughs> you didn't shoot yourself, but your homie did, though. <laughs> so one by do, the other one's free. Run it, baby. Good work. Four, five, five, eight. Nah, we're chilling now. That's it, bro. That's it. We're we're chilling now, right in the middle at opening candle. You're like, oh, pump it up. Why? Where's gonna be a down day? Now we're in the middle. Bonds, are, that's it, bro. Mm -hmm. I've been streaming for like maybe four years now, four or five. I've been trading for way too long. <laughs> we're in the stock market. Uh, wow. Wait. Yeah, I, I think this is my, like, 16th or 17th year. I don't know. In, in in the market. So, like, I've had investments for 16, 17 years, literally. Which is fucking wild to say out loud. Because I feel really old and my hairline proves it. I hate it. I say, I'm old now. I'm old now. It's amazing. Mm -mm. Gotta drive eight. Oh, you're driving? I thought you were gonna fly. But still, bro, enjoy the drive. I love a good drive, man. That's it. Make some music. You can make music on a drive. I don't know if you've done that before. You could do it. Mm -mm. How old are you? With all my respect. Well, with all my respect back, I am old enough to be your father and young enough to date your mother. In the words of 2 chains. <laughs> yeah. Respectfully. Mm-hmm. I sound young. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> giggity. <laughs> no, that's, if that's my giggity comment, I'll take it. Cause I just, I'm not going to forget when all of y'all, all of y'all popped out. What was it? That was like a couple weeks ago. It was the, it was the fucking, uh, little NATO thing. Y'all got crazy. There was just a couple of, uh, quagmires, man. That's it. A couple of quagmires. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I'm old enough to date your mother. I'm young enough to be. I'm young enough to date your mom. Old enough to be your dad. <laughs> yeah. You find it weird that we sit here all day listening to you and watching the stock market? I mean, let me let, let me ask you a question. Do you think it's weird that I sit in this room alone for seven hours? 
with padded walls to dampen the sound. And I sit here and I talk to to the microphone. So I don't know. <laughs> you tell me if it's not weird for you, it's not weird for me. Cause I'm like, I, I, I don't know why I think what I do is weirder than what you do. If that makes sense. I think it's weirder to be the one talking into the mic than the one listening <laughs> to what comes out of the mic. <laughs> I have windows, but I have blackout screens on them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you really believe in Jesus? Yes. A hundred percent. He died on the cross for my sins. I believe God is my, my father. I believe I was crafted masterfully. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a crazy individual, but yeah. And I, I mean, to the point where I will sacrifice everything to tell you my belief. Uh, and again, I don't get any benefit by telling you I love Jesus. <laughs> like it's uh, honestly, it's great that we, we, you know, I'm, I'm very shocked by how many dope ass people we have in here. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, why, what's the point, you know, for real, like ask yourself, like, why would I talk? Why would I talk about it? You know, it's not, they, they used to tell me when I was younger, they would tell me, God, you know, don't talk about God. That's it. I, I, I got, I had mentors. I knew people as, as I started getting in this stuff, they would tell me all the time, it's not going to make you money. Watch out. If anything, it's a threat. Uh, so yeah. Amen. I love Jesus, but not the Christian churches I grew up in. Amen. <laughs> Dude, I told you guys my, I told you guys my my uh, dentist story the other day. Thoughts on dating being haram? You don't come to me for that. That's between you and God. You know, like why? Because I'd be a hypocrite if I told you anything. Because I still have my own life. I do my own things, and I am naturally a hypocrite. We all are, but. You know, at the end of the day, I, I really think, you know, should I do this? Should I do that? Is this haram? This that's I mean, you read the book, you read it. But that's that's between you and God, man. You got to really figure that out. But I do hope you choose something that is good for you and wisdom. That's the, that's one thing, man. So but definitely I might need to make a video, though, for some of you guys. I'm gonna have to make another video after yesterday's because I, I remember I made videos back. I made one video back in the day on on dating. It was pretty funny. But I was, cause again, bro, a lot of prayer requests and a lot, dude, you guys keep like getting out of relationships and then like, it's just like, it's having a toll on some of y'all. So I'm like, man, we need to give you guys the, the, I need to put it in a video, the step-by-step -step process of getting in the gym and getting back on your grind. Cause y'all just, just focus on you and you know, whatever happens, happens. You'll be good. Getting friend zoned. I mean, that's fucking. Don't worry, but that's that's fine. It'll be good, man. That's. <laughs> I'm talking about the like, dude. I'm just. I'm serious. Like a lot of younger guys, even some of the older ones, man. It's just like, and I get it. Like, I don't know if you guys have realized all of the shit that I've been through in that scale, but it's still like, you know, just don't let it distract you though. And at the same time, it's a part of life and. You know, the right things will happen at the right time. But like, don't let it don't let it hold you back and and change your whole life and progress and slow you down because of just one relationship that you had at a very young point in your life. Mm -mm. Don't let your breakup affect your job. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jen. Do you go to church on Sundays? I listen to like online churches. Everyone from like what's his name, Transformation Church to uh, uh, TD Jakes, uh, even Stephen Furtick. And then I've gone to the local one actually. I have a funny story. We went to one because I took my girlfriend to an Egyptian church. It was the funniest shit ever, dude. <laughs> when she left, I said, "Welcome, you have now joined ISIS." No, but I, my mom. My mom took us to a Middle Eastern church. So it was all Arabic. And like she, my girlfriend's never seen this in her life, dude. And like, and then, but she liked it. She's like, let's go to the, let's go to the one by the, by the house then. And she wanted, she's like, I can't understand. It was all Arabic. She didn't understand shit, bro. It totally looked like they were, they, they were like, oh, wow. He converted her. <laughs> she had not one lick of English was spoken, bro. Mm-hmm. And then... 
Yeah, so, but I go church and I, I do like 10% tithing. I like tithing, but how you do it, do it how you please, who you want to give it to. Because, like, I give money to churches, I give money to charities, but the concept that I believe in is give 10% to God in the form of, you know, don't be attached to your money. Like, I give it to charities, I give it to churches because the general logic is do not be tied to it. I don't, I don't. I have more faith in, in something else than my money, so always. So that's what I believe in. It's a it's a concept uh, more so. So I know you pick your church, whatever you want to do, but, you know, the general idea is not to be so uh, hoardful of your money and, and not have faith. And, and above all, you know, I think it is it is the least. And I'm, I'm a big fan of 10% principles. You know what I'm saying? So that's like, you know, 10% saving, 10% God, you know, 10. I like I like 10s, man. I like 10s. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I give it to the LT. Well, I mean, maybe find a charity. You know, that's all. Because you're right. I don't think <laughs> it's like George Carlin and then God needs your money. <laughs> you know, but that's why I say I'm charities and you could do a lot. You know, if you don't want to give it to a church, bro, there's ways you could uh, you could be productive and give back. Uh, and regardless of what you believe, but it doesn't have to be in a area where you're like, well, is this going to actually go to a good use or not? Baidu had really good earnings and then it just did nothing. We should have bought more shares, but I said, let me get it below my entry. But earnings was fire. They appointed the JD, uh, one of the board members of JD as, or the CEO of JD, I think as the board member, like I got good things going on there. Hmm. Yeah, see, but you guys saying 10% to me, God will want me to have it, 10% for food. But, like, regardless of what you believe in, you might have a scarcity mindset if you really think about it because that's what it is. You're saying, oh, God wants it for me. Oh, I got to get food. It's like it's the same concept of saving the 10%. Just like when people tell me they can't save, you know, it's the same thing. Saying, how can I do that? I have this. I have bills. I'm going to sell Baidu when I go green on it. So we got 10 more dollars. Actually, eight more dollars now. But, yeah, that's when I'll get out of it. Are you against me adding rum? I'd like to get 100 shares. I mean, I th how much do you have of it now? But, like, I think you need to just stay away from these, like, small, cla small clap companies. You have 50? I just keep 50 and call it a day, bro. After that portfolio you sent me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Like, I would just, I would get blue chip, dude. I would just go blue chip and, and call it a day, you know, get something good and just don't, you already have 50 shares. If it does end up doing good, like I said, you could keep that whole portfolio. You don't have to sell anything, but I'd use it as like an altcoin portfolio. If any of those, you get lucky in five, 10 years, fuck yeah. But I would, I would say if you got money, you want to allocate, you want to go for the plan, save up. Like I would just start going with like the big names that have already proven. You need to stay away from trying to find the next big thing. That's how you see what I'm saying. Rum, the next big thing. China EV, next big thing. This, this, this. Like, no, no, no. Just go with the name that is just already legit. And and that is uh that's what I would do. So it's up to you, but I don't think I would. Mm hmm. Fifty every two weeks, I'm gonna put in. How do you allocate small amounts? You just buy a little at a time, or even save up. So if it takes, it's gonna take a. Even if it takes a month to get amount for one share, just do it. That's what I did in the long term. It sucks. I can't show you anymore because of TD. But like, I used to sh go back and show you, bro. When we started the long term, bro, I would wait. Uh, I would wait two months to spend two hundred dollars. I would buy one share at a time. Even to this day, we don't sound like we buy a lot. So, again, with enough time, those little shares will add up. M and Y. I don't know. Somebody brought it up, but I don't. I don't know what Money Hero is. I could check. Sounds encouraging. It is. It's possible. Again, I mean, two hundred bucks a month adds up. But that's what you're telling me. Fifty bucks a week. You know. So that's the same exact thing. And you could wait. It's okay. You'll start with one, but before you know it, it'll all compound. And then instead of when you look back at it later, it's not going to just all dwindle. At the very least, maybe you lose a little bit. But for the most part, you're going to have all your money and some. And, and there you go. Mm 
that'll make it make sense. Mm. Long term reviews, maybe. We're supposed to do it yesterday. We got caught up with it, but maybe today would be a good one. Today also feels like a great 2K day. I'm not going to lie. Don't want to be that guy. Mm -hmm. Buy 80 to 90 blue chips. Yeah, that's honestly not bad. And then you could spend the rest on just the bullshit. Because, again, sometimes the bullshit ends up being great. About this nonstop. Yeah, it was in the email, bro. I'm very proud of you. I don't know. I'm sorry if I didn't get you a response back, but, dude, let's go. And I hope you know, man, there's so many chads like that, and myself included, bro. I don't know if you know. Like, back in the day, I used to be. I used to do a lot of fucked up shit. So, you know, it's a, a, a nice, clean, healthy life, bro. It goes a long way. Long way, man. Let's go. And congratulations. You got, you got the kids. You just saw an article on how Ozempic is changing Thanksgiving. Wow. That's actually crazy. Mm. Would you scale in the Microsoft, Google, Amazon right now? No. I don't want any... I mean, again... In to some degree, both levels, my big long term all the way down now to our YouTube long terms. You know what I'm saying? Like we've already got our exposure. We bought Netflix, we bought Meta, and then we had a couple of random ones go crazy. So in a weird way, like I wouldn't I'm not chasing any of those uh those high priced tech stocks until they come down again. Uh otherwise, like I'd go with the better blue chip names that have not had the same type of crazy momentum. We went to Honey Bay Cam. They already had a turkeys. Oh, dude. I had to order the turkey a week and a half ago for Chad. At least here in SoCal, bro. If you ain't ordering your turkey like a week or two ahead of time, you ain't getting a turkey. I think Costco already sold out. I don't think... I think Costco only has the small turkeys left. Blue chips. Coca-Cola. We talked about that again. I mean, I like Pfizer. I don't know if that one's considered a blue chip... More or less, but that one's still low. But Coca-Cola, this is one. It still has a premium. You're still high, you know what I'm saying? But, like, just a couple days ago, when I, I was telling you around 52 that it was looking good. But there's names like that. Again, I don't think PayPal is a blue chip, but that one has some value. But I, I'd say, like, Coca-Cola, Pfizer is more in line. Maybe McDonald's if it comes lower. Um, who else? Like a Procter Gamble, J&J, &J, but they're up. You picked up four turkeys for forty nine cents per pound. Is that that's a good deal, right? Sounds like good deal, Habibi. Three tenths of one percent. Interesting to see broadly the benchmarks moving higher when there are a few individual names that are creating okay, quite a drag. One of them oh, guys you teach to is Nvidia. You got the you. beat. You got the strong guidance that topped expectations, but it just goes to show you how high the bar was for Nvidia. Even clearing it wasn't actually adequate. This stock down three percent after those blowout earnings. Deer though down more, down about five and a half percent. Cut its outlook. The issue there is crop prices are down, and that means a lot of farmers are gonna maybe not go out and buy a shiny new big green tractor, at least for the moment. Deer down uh, having its worst day going back to May of last year. And finally have to point to oil as well, Guy. There was supposed to be an OPEC Plus meeting this weekend, but a little bit of disagreement, it seems, on production. Maybe Saudi Arabia is not so happy with un other members of that alliance. Crude down as a result as that meeting gets delayed until next week. Down about 4% on WTI. We're trading at 74.69 a barrel, Guy. Let's turn to some political theatre here in the UK. The UK's Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt, announcing cuts to personal and business taxes a little earlier today in the House. The announcement comes, of course, before a general election, which we all anticipate will happen probably towards the latter part of next year. Here are the Hunt highlights. We promised to halve inflation and we have halved yeah. it. 
headline inflation will fall to 2.8 per cent by the end of 2024 before falling to the 2 per cent target in 2025. The OBR expects the economy to grow by 0.6 per cent this year and 0.7 per cent next. After that, growth rises to 1.4 per cent in 25, then 1.9 per cent, 2 per cent, and 1.7 per cent in 28. We reduce debt cut taxes and reward work. I will therefore increase the local housing allowance rate to the 30th percentile of local market rents. This will give 1.6 million households an average of £800 of support next year. I have decided to freeze all alcohol duty until Yay. August the 1st next year. That means no increase in duty on beer, cider, wine or spirits. I will invest a further £500 million over the next two years to fund and further innovation centres to help make us an AI powerhouse. I'm going to go further and cut the main rate of employee national insurance by two percentage points from 12% to 10%. That change will help 27 million people. It means someone on the average salary of £35,000 will right save now? over £450. This is Jeremy Hunt. The economy has grown. But nah, bro, this is, I'm glad I sold the bond. <laughs> real incomes have Hold risen. Up. Our plan for the British economy is working, but the work is not done. Nah. Lot of noise. If they do it again, what if they do? I don't know. It sounds like another guilt issue is about to come out. <laughs> No, for remember, anytime they tried to tax, remember Germany cut spending yesterday abruptly, and then now just remember last time they did some weird ass tax cuts or anything, the guilt just exploded. <laughs> so let's see, last time they anything a semblance of a of a tax cut budget or anything, this is what happened to it. So, man, we'll find out. We'll find out. So let's see. I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna break down maybe they have it more stabilized they did a lot of rollovers but that's the thing so even though it's at the same level remember bro they fucking they were like emergency funds and then right when it calmed down they just bought it back that was the most creative just random just bailout that they created mm-hmm that's so weird it's because well uk you don't want the uk to slow down though again uk and germany remember we started feeling it more when they would slow down but at the same time it's like they they we need them you don't want them to have too much inflation but you also don't want them to like collapse I'm still in. Why y'all keep asking me that? Y'all watch me watch it every day go down. I was in it. Why wouldn't I be up now that it's coming back to my price? <laughs> but yeah, I'm in it, man. I'm in it. I'm I've, I'm still in it. My average is 127. So, you know, if you got that option I talked about the other day, you fucking got a bag. Uh, other than that, I still got to wait for mine. OPEC postponed meeting due to disagreement over some member oil production and associated quotas. Three sources. I didn't a guilt issue. The last time it was more intense, so we'll see, though. But anytime they start talking tax cuts in this environment uh, with the inflation and everything else, I mean, the, it wasn't good for UK bonds. Actually, the world. Mm. Sounds like they're sputtering heavy. UK? I mean, Europe, it, remember, Europe... Europe was so weak in 2022, uh, even like in the 2021. But then once Europe recovered, remember, Europe recovered before we did. So the first half of this year, it was Europe, the ECB, UK, Germany, all doing better than we did. And then we caught up to them. And then as we started breaking out, Europe started slowing down again. This is all for this year. So they, it's just important to where they are, but they could be slowing down. But remember, they were the weak link. Then they become the outperformer. And then now... I think they might either be matching up or underperforming the SPY. How much cash am I holding? In the long term, we only have one deposit. Uh, other than that, like I'm, I'm a big outside of the long terms, big proponent of cash. But you know, I still.
still own a lot of equities and investments. But I do think cash is going to be a fire investment for next year still. Uh, just depends on what happens. But until we start, you know, if the rates are still up, you know, you get to take it. You know, you're about to make 10% if you get two years in a row. BTOG on the low. Uh, high ticker is kind of running. So NOV, Open, Zillow, Zillow and Open Door are both moving. I don't know if it's real estate related. They're both kind of catching new highs right there. Gold will kill it next year. I think it might. It's already killing it. It's already leading the way, but... I think gold just depends on that rate cut. You get your rate cut, gold is going to rock it. If not, I think gold might just still be able to hold up, though, which is still mind-blowing to me. Gold is at like a – this is the all-time high breakout chart. Did you start adding money? Was it through work and stuff, or did you start with real estate? Yeah, I mean, my first ever, like, ever deposit as a kid, I mean, I would just flip shit. I started selling shit, buy shit on China, sell it on Craigslist, got some money. I'd work little jobs, save up some money here and there. Even in college, I worked a couple of jobs for like consulting and outside. I did work at Foot Locker for a little bit. Uh, but after that, it just became, you know, the real thing that really got me started was after my first house flip. Because then that allowed me to buy like a lot of stocks, still have some money. And then it just it, it opened up the door for that. And again, I was working as well, too, there. Uh, at the same time, but then just a lot of house flip stocks, stocks to houses, houses to stocks, and then use the original money from just working. And then after after a couple of flips, I didn't need to work. Mm -hmm. eBay. Where did you meet your, your mentors? Were they family, friends? Some of them. So like one of them, uh, this guy, he owns like a, crazy ass like gigantic restaurant chain in america and he just uh he knew my brother from high school <laughs> so i just i and he knew me since i was a child like again so i was very very young like it was funny it's like they've seen the worst side of me though and then other ones you know i got you know i met people in college uh and again then they just opened up my doors literally it was when i got to la so right when I was exposed to the L.A. world, like I had a couple of mentors growing up, but like we didn't know anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, we're family of uh, immigrants. Like I just didn't, you know, it, it wasn't until like I met the right people and, and they took me to L.A. And then I just started meeting everybody. And it was just a wrap from there. Uber, do you prefer rentals or flipping? It depends, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you uh, do you want like you like steak or seafood? You know, just it depends on the vibe, you know, and then the cook, too. But, like, if you have, a, you know, if it's a good rental, like, I love the rentals. Like, like I know I could keep forever and they will pay for themselves. Uh, then that's it. That's what I do, man. Mm -hmm. That's like that's those, those are the ones I love. But, like, house flips, dude, like, again, lending tips the way he loves them. Like, he sees the money. But, like, uh, you know, for me, too, it's the same way. But, like, if I see, like, a good bag on a flip, I'll, I'll take it any day. Any day. Met your mentor on YouTube. Hey, man, that's good enough. That's good. I, amen, though. Like I said, bro, it, it wasn't, you know, I, I was blessed that, you know, I got to meet a couple of people who really, like, like I told, I've told you this story, bro. Up until, like, I went to L.A., bro, like, I used to think life, like, my de definition of success, if you had a house and a BMW, you made it in life, making 100 k a year. That was it. That is what my parents taught me. They didn't t teach me the BMW, uh, but they, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they, they did teach like that was that was my goal in life. Like for real. I if, if at one point in my life, if you told me that I owned a house, one house, one car that I liked and I had a steady job that made six figures. I would have thought that I have accomplished. I would have beat life. That, that, that would have been my number one thing and then again like I said I'm I I was exposed to people and you know they saw certain things in me and like you know but again like richest man in Babylon I, w I was there to provide value like I saw like you know what I'm saying I was kind of uh I was kind of crazy you know in a weird way but like it's I always said this story 
It's like the story of richest man in Babylon. It's luck. Because I'm lucky. I, I am very, very lucky. I know a lot of people start to say that. Especially you ever see me hit a couple plays, you'll start calling me lucky. Uh, you should see the rest of my life. <laughs> you know, but I don't think I'm lucky like superstitious in the sense that it's more or less uh, what richest man of Babylon says. I was lucky in the fact that I had the desire to succeed before I encountered an opportunity. So it's like I had a different view of, of success, but, you know, when I did come up into the opportunity, like, you know, I think I was already in stocks. I was already I already knew certain things. And like I had this knowledge at a very young age with stuff, but like I didn't know what to do with it. But I was I was like, hey, like, can I do so? I was ready to I was ready to serve, baby. And that that helped me out a lot. You know what I'm saying? I met a lot of people and they, you know, they saw good in me and they saw my ethics with it. But that's it. It just it led to that. So honestly, like I'm saying, man, if if you're encountering something like that on YouTube, then fuck yeah. Because like I, I'm saying, I just got lucky, you know, and it's the same thing here. Like, you know, if you encountered me at the right time, if I'm putting you on game, like, again, some of you, I you didn't know shit about certain things going on. And now you're telling me 24 months later, you got a house, you did this, you did that. And it's like, it, it, that's exactly what it is. So, you know, if you had the desire to succeed and you encounter the right people, you're probably going to get really lucky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, it's like how many you don't you don't even realize how many times you probably met the right people, but you your desire there it, it didn't flow. SPR and Boeing, yo, big SPR Boeing, SPR Boeing, SPR Boeing. Do you check FAA clear 737 Max 10 jets for test flight? Uh they are they're already scamming them. I don't think you'll be able to hit these. Yeah, they they already jacked up the premiums a hundred percent. I did two hundred SPR twenty six fifty. Again, because SPR got murdered on that news. So again, Boeing wins FAA inspection for seven thirty seven. But that one's going to be quick. I don't know if it's going to hold up. We could get clapped. Take my NVIDIA money back. Yep, already came down. Tesla, I don't know. The NASDAQ, I mean, I think it's going to eventually come down, but for the most part, I do think uh, it's just all juiced up by the seven stocks. That's all. What happened with Tesla? I don't know what happened with Tesla. If you want to say there was a headline. My new, I closed it. I, I it wasn't a Nvidia put; it was shares. So I closed it early. I I made like eight bucks a share. We could have got another eight bucks, but I just it was twenty five shares. Made like two hundred bucks, one seventy. And then that was it. S A I C. And the video, that's what happened a lot. Dude, it's the weirdest thing, but like the crazy part is that this has now happened twice. M-R-A-I. I did not close the Baidu trade. No. No, no, no. Mm-mm. 
Mm. Hold on, I gotta send this. Oh, how many? Let me get that for you real quick. I gotta send this message. We're down on spa. Okay. NASDAQ 100, 22 names red, 79 in the green, 8 red on the Dow, 22 in the green, and then 83 red on the SPY, 420 in the green. Damn. And then SPR, so we get for playing a news play. I've avoided a lot of news plays in that because they've always been clapping here recently. But again, on the low volume, I thought any Boeing news usually go nuts, you know. But I'm down 78 bucks on that one for now. Ten minutes. It's only. It's not even Euro close. What the hell? All markets close early. No, no, no. Nothing closes early today. <laughs> Actually, so we're going to be, uh, uh, what's it called? We're going to be having a full day today. Yeah, so there's not going to be anything else, unfortunately. It's, till, it's Friday. That's a half day. Out of the SPR, that was BS. I know, right? I'm going to write it out because, remember, the NVIDIA did the same thing, though. Remember, we shorted NVIDIA today and <laughs> rocketed up, and then it just died. So, But usually, I, I thought that was going to be like five candles in a row. You know, that type of news usually with, again, how it brought them down. You remember, remember that, that news killed them. It clobbered them. But then again, they have came back a lot. That could be the problem with it. North Korea launched ballistic missile on the 22nd. Again, we got out of the bond play. SPR still hold in there, but still down. So what for the thing? Or for the, the missile? I don't know. MRAI? What's this? Oh, wow. It's been doing that all day. The Dow is closed tomorrow. Everything's closed tomorrow. So tomorrow everything's closed and then uh it'll it'll be good. And then Friday's a half day. Remember saying by the worst house in the best neighborhood? By best neighborhood do you mean richest? Yes and no. So usually the nicest neighborhood is the most money. 
but sometimes like if you know of an area like I've I've seen this before again I've always I've there's been places this is where you can make a lot of money if you believe there's an area that is really nice and is only going to get nicer and the price isn't you know there's one area higher then then maybe there could be something there but generally the nice places do do have a premium yeah good schooling area that's also that's a big one i don't know tesla i don't i feel like there was a headline but there wasn't <laughs> Let's be all Tesla investor letter to board to get Elon in check. And that happened though before Europe. I did not check, but we just had Euro close. Europe is good. Everything's up in Europe. FTSE 100 like gapped down and then like moved up a little, then closed barely red. Uh, stocks 50 up by 0.49. DAX up by 0.42. French are up by 0.5. We 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 went into the the half a percent, and the Swiss our land is up by point five G. We we. One street, my client's house is all going for three to six million. Two minutes down, they all go for four to six hundred. She's buying them all to fix them up now. Send send me the area, bro. Let's see. But sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. But like that's what I was saying. If if the area is nice and it's just cheap right now and there's another higher area, those are the places where you get the good value. Sending now. Nice. I'll take a look. If I make money on it, I'll give you a commission. I'll, I'll throw you some, dog. I got you. You put it on my radar, I got you. I'll pay the plug too, man. Roblox gas in, I hope so. If Roblox gets big candles, sell covered calls. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. So it doesn't necessarily mean finding a distressed property in the nicest area. No, 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 no. So like when I bought that house, I literally, I bought a house. My neighbor was Elon Musk, Dan Bilzerian, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, and Maybe like 10 other people I could probably, if I, if I really wanted to look it up, but that house wasn't distressed when I bought it, but it literally was just the cheapest house for sale in that neighborhood because it was a little weird and it needed a little bit of work, but it wasn't necessarily distressed. So it's like, it, I bought the house for $1.5 million, but at the time, the average house was going for three and a half, four million dollars in that neighborhood. It was some as high as fifty to a hundred million. So the the general idea is that hey, if you're in that fucking vicinity, and you could get it, it doesn't have to necessarily be a rundown property. Mm -mm. How much is it now? Uh, I think just under like three million. It's a weird prop. It's, it's almost doubled. It's like just under that. Because again, I bought it before everything. This was I had this house years, at least two years locked down before COVID. So it's not like this was a, or at least a year and a half. Why was it priced cheap? Because it was a weird property. All the other properties were were crazy ass mansions. This was just like a normal house. You see what I'm saying? So it didn't realistically the house that I had. I was supposed to tear it down. I was supposed to tear it down and build a mansion. That's what all the neighbors do. So, but for the most part, you know, I just I kept it. That's the one I Airbnb'd, and then I I have a renter in it now. Yeah, I had a, yeah, I had a nice lot. 
Josh live next to Katniss Everdeen. I dude, I saw her once walking her dog, and I I got a little weird. Uh, but then I because I like my jaw dropped. I was like, that's Katniss. But then like I I drove away. I didn't want to freak her out. I was like, this is getting too weird. Josh, fucking move on. You already made a video about Elon Musk. Mm-hmm. I don't live. I only live. I live there for a little bit, but I'm I've I've not been back there in a minute. Mm. Pay da. The new comedy. Oh, that one where she's like has to date the young dude. Yeah. Me, my girlfriend made me watch that one. You heard there's a lot of crack dens in Hollywood? Uh, it just depends. Who's the most recent celebrity you've seen out and about? Jimmy Butler. He was in, bro, he was in our neighborhood the other day, just posted. It was so, bro, he was at the gas. I think I, I, I saw him, and then I think LT saw him, and then my other homie saw him. They all, everybody was just, dude, It was he was everywhere. He was just chilling in San Diego. Mm-hmm. He wasn't emo. He didn't. It was the day after. Right when he came back, he looked, he, dude, he looked so normal when I saw him. And then the next day, he was doing the emo press conference. I was like, what? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. His hair was normal, bro. It wasn't. It was actually, like, shocking. Because I remember I told you the story, and you guys like, emo? And I'm like, what? He did not look like that. Mm. He has something every weird every media day. Oh, really? I didn't know that was like his thing. That's funny. <laughs> that makes it even better. That and then, oh, dude. All right, you know who? I, I don't know if I saw him. I was too, I didn't want to be the guy, bro. Like, because again, like, I don't like if people like bother me. So I'm like, all right, man, dude, you'll never believe. This was, this was coming home, bro. This was from when I, when I visited the guys at the Colt uh, Vegas thing. Bro, this one blew my mind. Hold on. I need to type this in to show you him. All right, dude, this one is crazy. I'm going to tell you, dude. So I go back to my hotel, and right before I go back to my hotel, obviously, like a normal human being, I hit the craps table, right? <laughs> I hit the craps table. Uh, this is at the win. And I go in there, bro, and I'm looking at this guy. I'm playing craps, and the dude right in front of me, on the other side of the field, right? He's just playing. He's playing. I'm and I'm I'm dead ass just staring at this dude, like this is like a hot girl that I'm just like madly in love with. Cause I'm trying to. I'm like, dude. I'm I'm staring at him. I can't look away. Cause I'm like, is that who I think it is? I'm like, no way. And I wanted to ask him. And I just kept looking and looking. And I had my glasses on, too. So, like, I fully saw him. But, like, he was old now. And I couldn't tell. But So, I don't know if this is confirmed. But I'm pretty sure I was playing craps with Rick Moranis of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Mm-hmm. I was. I swear he was, at, he was at Vegas playing craps, bro. I was like, that's why I was like, I know him. I know him from my childhood. No, I'm telling you, bro. And I was like that. And then it, I was like, that's honey. I, sh I didn't ask him, though. I didn't want to. Dude, I'm not going to be the guy. Stop the table. Go up to them. I'm like, yo, are you honey? I shrunk the kids. So that was, I don't know. I can't confirm it. But that was still like a cool event in my mind. Because whether, whether it was him or not, he was short. It was a shorty. It was him, bro. I'm telling you. I, that's why I was like, dude, I don't know, man. I think it's him. I think it's him. He didn't pass away. He's 70. 
I think his wife passed away. Mm -mm. He's shorter than me. Well, no, he's my same size. That's why I said he's a shorty. Actually, no, I think I'm a little taller, maybe by like half an inch. I didn't stand next to him, though. I was too intimidated. Mm hmm. But I'm pretty sure it was him. But yeah, those are my only recent stories. Oh. Mm -mm. What if you saw Jay Powell out in the Cali? I'd shake his hand. I just I'd give him a subtle dap up. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't stop him. Like if he if we like walk by, I'd be like, "Hey man, you did a good job out there." I I pat him on the back and I'd walk away. Because apparently you could get really close to the Federal Reserve chair and even touch him and nobody will do anything. As long as you say, off fossil finance. What? Sounds like you had butterflies. Oh, I did. Of course, dude. That was like my childhood. You know how, bro, we loved Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Are you kidding me? That dude is more famous to me than anybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because like, if you were famous to me when I was young, oh, you're still famous today. If you're famous after I got old, I don't give a shit, bro. Fuck you. You better go. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But like, bro, honey, I shrunk the kids. That dude's famous. Like Steve Urkel, that dude's famous. Will Smith, I love him. I said he'll oh, he'll be the most, the biggest one. Even if he get bitched and, and he's a cuck, it's okay because I Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Like when I was young, that's how I viewed it. So, mm-hmm. Honey, I shrunk the account. The Little Giants. That's a good one. Icebox. Mm hmm. No, you didn't. I don't know what I did. But on that note, I need to go pee, bro. I've been down in this water, but like, I had to go pee even after the last bathroom break. Uh oh. Follow me on Instagram at the Trading for Training. I love you. Good morning. Good evening. Good night. Still likely to be seeing the hikes continuing. To the extent the president can support the policymakers in the orthodox policy stance, we feel that that underpins success for Turkey return um, to orthodoxy. Yeah, so I guess it becomes a question of will they will they stick to it? Here in the U.S., for example, Paulina, we have a Fed who insists that they will keep rates high for however long they need to. They are steadfast in their resolve, and I guess it becomes a question of whether there is pressure to abandon that resolve uh, at a certain point, depending on how painful things get. You mentioned there that you are starting to see some of the foreign flows uh, coming back in. Are you in included in that? Do you need to see more from Turkey? What role would it play in a, a wider EM portfolio for you right now? We are constructive on Turkish hot currency debt. When it comes to local debt, we feel that next year could be a very big year for Turkish local debt in terms of outperformance of local debt, provided that the policymakers continue to hike their rates. We could get to the end of the year where we are likely to see positive real rates, and we could also see a, a big progress on improving the long-term inflation expectations, which is key to underpin the policy. And so for us, that's the big trade for next year, provided that we still have the same policymakers in place, which is our base case. In, in terms of... In terms of the political interference, it's always been... It's always been the factor that, that everybody's always worried about. And you do have local elections coming up, as you mentioned. You've got all kinds of other factors into the mix geopolitically in the region. How easy would it be to knock... Erdogan, President Erdogan off course at this point. Do you think the benefits that he's seeing are significant enough to overcome the, the politics, and I appreciate the opposition is in, is in turmoil right now, and regional instability? Do you think he is, see, he is seeing big enough benefits to make him stick with it? Well, I think that at the end of the day, the president of Turkey has always been pragmatic, and that has been um, demonstrated with the very orthodox appointments. To me, the, Turkey doesn't have an alternative path in the here and now, apart from the path for the orthodoxy. I would hope that the president also sees it that way, and therefore we would expect the Turkish president to have patience to allow the policymakers mm -hmm. to do their job and return to the orthodoxy through the course of next year.
Well, and obviously these policymakers are actively tightening policy where we're having a very different conversation here in the U.S. about if the tightening is over and whether easing is going to potentially begin in, say, the next six or seven months. Paulina, as the Fed moves into an era of at least holding steady and potentially easing down the road, we have seen this belief kind of lead to more weakness in the dollar. It's around the, the weakest levels we have seen since since back in August. What does that mean for EM more broadly if the Fed is done and, and could be heading the other direction soon? Mm -hmm. Well, we think that after a very challenging year, we are getting to the point where, uh, for the lack of a better phrase, a lot of stars are being aligned for emerging markets. You're seeing low volatility in rates. You're seeing support from the global inflation um, coming down. You are also seeing a number of positive idiosyncratic stories in emerging markets, I mean, like India being the geopolitical winner. We're seeing benefits of near in Mexico. We're seeing Poland uh, benefiting from improved relationship with the EU and a better more orthodox judicial stance. Um, the list goes on. And not to mention the frontier markets, where countries like Egypt, Tunisia, um, that were questioned uh, as potential default candidates 12 months ago, are now uh, getting a lot more support from IMF and bilateral creditors, which is likely for um, to ensure that the default is avoided in the near term. All of this against the backdrop of actually yields being higher than where we started this year um, in hard currencies, higher, uh, close to high, uh, high single digits. And so is the local currency debt. So we feel that mm. if we can engineer um, easing policy in the U.S. through the course of next year, EM will be one of the key beneficiaries of that. Paulina, it's always a pleasure. Thank you very much indeed for making some time for us today. Paulina Kudyavko, Head of Emerging Markets at RBC, Global Assets Management, Blue Bay. Thank you very much indeed. European stocks done for the day. Um, we'll be open tomorrow, but it's likely to be a very quiet session. Little tick higher during the auction, but basically we finished kind of not quite near the session lows. London under a little bit of pressure today as, the, as oil comes down quite sharply, which is going to be something that we're going to talk about next. The oh, commodity dropping basically man. after OPEC Plus pushed back its meeting. It was scheduled for this weekend. It looks like it's going to be next week. Oh, I'm getting sore. That's it, Chad. I've been... I won. I did. Can I be honest with you guys? I don't know if this is market related. It's not. I hate the gym. Okay. I'm going to come out and say it. I hate the gym. Not all the time, but from daylight savings till now, I hate the gym, bro. I hate it. I hate it. It's awful. I'm going to the gym, bro. And it's literally dark outside when I go to the gym. By the time I'm in my, I'm, I'm in my house, it's sunny. And then right when I'm ready to go to the gym, it's dark. And then... When I go home, it's dark and it's so cold, dude. I've been going to the gym in long sleeves. You know that? Bro, it's insane. I'm freezing. I'm like, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to this. And then I go, bro, and then I'm like, oh, my gosh. And then, But then I started like, I don't know, something. I'm like, I'm, I'm starting to increase the weights again. Remember I told you guys I wasn't trying to get injured now? So now I'm like, I don't know. But, like, I've been putting in some, like, I've been doubling up now. I'm like, Ugh. But I'm really sore now. I'm really sore. And then I'm tired and this office is awful. Ah, oh, bro. It's like 50 at night. It's like 50. I, I don't know. It feels like 20. But it's like 50. I do. I, I, I go in like a long sleep. But then I sweat so fast because I'm already a sweaty person. It feels pointless to work out and not get sore. Well, even on the little weights, I'll get like sore. But like I just, I'm not, I would do a lot of reps. I would do like weights. But I, I'm trying not to just get injured. But then, I don't know, like, I just started. Just, that's it, man. You went to Starbucks? This pla place is insane. Please tell me you've been to Starbucks before. <laughs> don't tell me. So you're like, yo, there's this place. Got this green lady, and everybody go there and pay $100 for coffee. That's cool. If you were there when Starbucks first popped off, though, you know the feeling. I remember that. You guys remember? It was It was right next to real estate. You know, Star Starbucks's were popping up everywhere. You remember? And people were like, who would spend $5 for a coffee? Uh-huh. You guys remember that? Good times. Good times. I've never been to Tim Hortons. I want to go, though. I've heard great things from my, my Canadians. Bro, even my mom. Bro, like, my, like, mom had a Starbucks phase. So weird, bro. It's so weird because, like, I think about it because, like, that was a long time ago. I guess my mom was younger, 
it's so bro, but like my mom used to go and get Starbucks every morning before work. She that was her like routine. My mom would go because she'd wake up early. She did her nursing job, but like she would go and get Starbucks. And then before church, they would get Starbucks. I was like, what? This is but now, but now, bro, my mom will won't even walk into a Starbucks today. That's the crazy part. She won't even she won't even walk in there. She was like, why would I? I could make it at home. Why would I do that? Ugh. No. Now I'm like, what? It's a nurse. Is it a nursing career thing? Maybe. Maybe. It's, they got Tim Hortons. I thought Tim Hortons was only in Canada. Oh, hell yeah. Mm -mm. I didn't know. If there is, I'm down. It got too expensive. No, but like she don't even like drink coffee like that. Like she used to love like lattes and espressos. And then she just like again, she was like a Starbucks girl. Like <laughs> now now she just like just brews her own coffee and kicks it. Making coffee after I realized how expensive it is. I don't think it is expensive. And listen to what I'm about to say fully before you go crazy. <laughs> Nothing in life is expensive. Okay? <laughs> this sounds like a fucking Andrew Tate clip or something. But nothing in life is expensive. Okay? Follow with me. Follow with me. Nothing in life is expensive. It only becomes expensive if it is a daily habit. That's the issue. So any, like, one thing, bro, isn't really expensive usually. But if it is a habit and then it has a compounding nature to it where it's running up every every single day, every week, that's where it starts to, to mess with. Like, groceries, yeah. Like, if you have bad habits with groceries, you see what I'm saying? Like... If you are spending on the a lot over and over, like groceries, you need it. That's where groceries get expensive because it's every day, you know, or every week you got to fill up there. Like coffee, two dollars, five dollars, you know. That's that's where you got to start getting into it. But I don't know. I don't know. Bugattis are expensive. Yeah, but like, come on, follow with me, dog. Were we talking about Bugattis? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We were talking about coffee. You know, about Starbucks. So, you know, I, I try to keep it in the context. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're talking, like, most things in daily life. I'd say less than maybe a, a 100,000 individuals ever can buy a Bugatti, if that. So, you know, like, coffee and item. Like, think about, you know, you could go as high as, like, maybe... Maybe we'll stop at like Rolex watches, but even then that's kind of crazy. Even traveling, like traveling's not expensive unless you like, what's your habit with it? How often do you do it? And then a lot. You travel once every like couple years. I mean, it may not hit the same way that you think. Bugatti, coffee, I see no difference. Mm -hmm. You're going to buy two grams of weed? I mean, listen, man, I don't want to be that guy, but I mean this from a financial standpoint. But like, if you're only buying two grams, just don't buy any at all, man. Just save your money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, come on. Like, what are you doing with that little shit, bro? Just let's call it a day, bro. Just save the, put it in the fucking long term, bro. We're going to do it two grams. Come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm being serious, though, man. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you out. Like, why? Just save the gas money, too. You have to, you're saying you're going to go dry and, drive and get it, bro? Just chill. I'm going to spend more on gas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you got to get that economy of scale discount. That's it. You're already addicted to it anyways. Why don't you plan efficiently? The fuck you doing buying two grams at a time? That's like the people buying their dinner at the gas station, bro. You got to plan ahead. Okay? Mm-hmm. You either quit or get more. So, I don't know. Don't take my advice. Not a recommendation. Not a recommendation. Mm-hmm. I'm here every day listening, never type, but that was hilarious. I'm glad. I'm glad you liked it because the funniest part is that it's like it has a lot of truth to it. 
I think that's what makes it so funny because at the point you're going to go drive to go do all that, bro. Just save the money, man. Save the money. Maybe save up for, for like a, a little bit more, man. Yeah, quit or get more. That's it. Pick Seriously. <laughs> that type of logic has helped me out a lot in life. Mm. But like we were saying, it'll add up. Mm. Type of logic has hurt you before It didn't, it helped you Like I, Anytime, because anytime it's hurt me it, it got me to the point where I was like Okay, I never want to do this again And then I never did it again <laughs> That's the it's a, it's, it's a double-edged sword It does not come without pain That's the Maybe I should put that in the disclaimer Bloomberg almost just took over my whole computer. What's the update? Nothing on the market. We had consumer sentiment, which that one still mind-blowingly came in uh, came in hotter. And then everything else was borderline in line. Jobless claims were a little bit bad. But no other real updates. UK tax cuts, uh, China stuff with the lending, and then NVIDIA earnings. Where's Elmo? Well, I do not know where Elmo is, actually. Oh, your Microsoft calls, right? Where are they at right now? Mike, again, Microsoft, the Sam Altman thing, NVIDIA. Again, some people were able to benefit off of it. Right, man, I don't know. I'm, I'm doing text messages. I'm doing any of my phones. The market's not. I'm otherwise better than me playing 2K. I wish I. I mean, unless you guys want like a story time, we could do something of that. But for now, going to crazy. Story time. I don't. I, what is a story time? I've given you a lot of stories here today. Oh, there is one. I I, I already told you the taking my girlfriend to the uh, Middle Eastern camp. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. I started investing a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Back in the day, Acura days.
Deal or no deal? Ooh. Well, tomorrow we're going to have an event with the Chad giving. Chad's giving. So, I don't know. We could. We might be able to do one. We might be able to do one. MNY sold. Uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to be on at like... What do you guys think? Like 9 or 10? Which is a better time? 9 a.m. Pacific or 10 a.m.? It usually takes us like an hour or two. Mm. Let me see if I can find it. 9. What, what time did we start last time? Nine ten. Let me. See. I need to. I'm gonna go back. Let me go back. Twelve months ago. Uh, Israel's Supreme Court rejects the appeal against the hostage deal, allowing its implementation from tomorrow. Huh? Oh, they appeal. So someone tried to appeal it. <laughs> It'll be at one Eastern. Oh, really? Oh shit! So should we do it earlier? Wind up Wednesday. October. I have to go higher. Turkey Tuesday. November 20th. Right, I'm finding the video from last year. Oh, shit. Nine thirty, same as NFL kickoff. Is it? Are we gonna watch the game? Too bad NFL will ban you so fast. Damn, so it was around this time. It was around this time that uh your boy Sam Bankman got clapped. All right, last time we started at 9 a.m. So here's last here's last year's video, bro. Eleven months ago. Where, where is it? Were we trading, bro? What were we doing? We got the Zoom. Oh, yeah, we did do the Zoom call last time, huh? What the hell? Oh, yeah, so we did get in on the Zoom, bro. Oh, we're, yeah, then look at it. See, then we cut the turkey, Chad. Y'all thought, y'all don't know. This is what we do every year. I have three years of this, bro. We get on the Chad's Thanksgiving Day, bro. I, I cut a plate up for everybody. We say a couple of words. We go around the table. Everybody say what they thankful for. We spend every day together, you know, so we're going to be doing this. I got a brand new turkey on the way, bro. Brand new turkey on the way. Look at that. Wow, that's good. That's good, bro. Look, I see. I, I, I'm going to be using the same plates today or tomorrow. So 9 a.m., 9 a.m. I think that's a good time. That's what we started at last time. 9 a.m. Pacific time. And that's it. Mm hmm. I did not get the electric knife. My girlfriend, that's her duty. She's picking up the turkey today. And then she said she's going to go get the knife when she picks up the turkey. But then she said it's like weird. So I just told her to find like a carver or something. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. You're going to have that ready by 9 a.m.? Yeah, usually it doesn't take that long. I'm going to wake up probably at like 8 or something, maybe poop, have that thrown in the oven, and then that's it. But then I'll go live. It'll take like, a, it took an hour last time, so it might take some time.
What's that Tesla? You smoke your turkey. That's what people were saying. I kind of want to try it. That sounds like a great time. Smoke turkey. My time, 9 a.m. So 9 a.m. Pacific. So 12 Eastern. I'll schedule it. You'll see it. You're deep frying it? So is it going to come out like a fried chicken? I've never seen a deep fried turkey. I've, I've seen people do it, but I've never actually looked at the result. Does it come out looking like, oh, what? That's fried? Why am I so stupid? No, they don't come out. How come I thought it was going to look like Kane's chicken? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why did I think, like, if you fry it, it's going to come out, like, breaded with, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, that does not, yeah, I, I don't know what, like, oh, no bread in yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That'd be, uh, can you do that? Can we bread, can we, can we do a, a fried turkey, a breaded fried turkey? Mm -mm. You could bone it and bread it. Can't you bread it without with the bone? Risk of exploding your turkey? What? Natural gas storage minus 7 billion versus estimate of positive 3. I might make in that gas run. Yeah, I've seen cold on the low. Nat gas numbers are coming out now. Mortgage rates too I just I don't know I don't think we're going to move too much Again we close out the bond play too I'm still on. What do you mean? Would I not be on? Uh, mortgage rates, yeah. I mean, they're supposed to be coming out. It's not refreshing. But that, I don't think that'll be too crazy. You got Baker Hughes rig count in an hour, and then that's it. Mm hmm. That's it. Wait, no pump. We were close to pump it up. I mean, the way that you opened up, that came out of nowhere. We got really, really close to the whole pump it up, but unfortunately, that did not work out. Oh, Edward, Mr. Patel. God bless you. Welcome back. Isn't it pumping right now? It is, but like, I don't know if you saw the morning. We gapped up, and in five minutes, you went up another 10 points. So we're there. The, this is, you're actually below one of the other levels, but 45, like 77. That's it. If you could get above here, 67, leading into 77, then after that, it's, it goes up. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have any AMD short end Q. Uh, it just depends. I mean, at this point, you got to think in terms of downside. So what is your downside if you short the NQ? Between now and the end of the year, what is the risk? Anybody know? Mm -hmm. Not a Santa rally. Mm -hmm. UNG just had numbers come out. Big uh, drawback in numbers. No, not rate cuts. No, none of that. It's simple. The point is, you want to short the NQ right now, just keep in mind, you are now 700 points off of an all-time high. You see what I'm saying? So that's your risk. Your risk is that it hits the high, you don't get your double top or whatever, and then you set a new high and then... Like any other time, it may come down here for a little bit, but you do set one of these highs. I mean, it can start to lead into uh, just kind of going crazy. So that's it. That's the only. That's the real risk between now and the end of the year. It's like you either gonna get a little double top and we fail, or if it breaks out, I mean, you could be exposed to now, you know, shorting the Nasdaq with with no with setting all time highs. Side watch was fire listed three times. Like, bro. I know I liked it, man. It was a good video. A lot of fun. Nice night, baby. No point trying to pick the top. Wait for the trend change right until then. I feel, I mean, and that's unfortunately just we got to, I think, Powell, Data, wait for the big shifts. Otherwise, we'll be good. We'll be good. Remember, everyone loves ending the year on a decent note. But we've done a lot of progress, though. Just don't forget that, like, 2021. Remember how we ended that year, where it was, like, it was both good and bad at the same time. You had the sell down, huge drawdown, big drop, big rise, big drop, and then we did end higher, but then it opened up the door to crazy. So kind of looks like we're in a mode like that, but usually, like, if it is this, we could still fluctuate a lot. That's kind of the only problem. But otherwise, I mean, the only thing that's going to change anything is data, you know. Acted upon equal or opposite force is what we should be looking for. Mm. If you're going long term, what kind of pullback? I'd focus on the names. Don't look at the market, but just like finding individual names. And if we keep going up, I mean, you're going to try to I've, what I've been trying to do is just buy the ones that have been down and then, you know, wait my turn because eventually if they're down while the market's going up, hopefully there will be another shift where that could balance out. No. Mm -mm. DE long again. They had that news in the morning. And then where's SPR? I think it's kind of coming up. We're now sixty bucks. Right, that was the only other trade we made besides the Nvidia play, and we closed out in Nvidia. Ten year rising. I mean, ten year rising could be bad for the market, but the 10 years not going to rise without policy stuff. You know, policy or data is what's going to bring the bonds higher or lower. But if that does cause a momentum shift, then there you go. USO still on the high. Nagel said some risk factors that could trigger inflation.
Oh shit. We have I forgot the random. Because of damn so we have expiring options, it says. Schwab sent me an Amal. I'm near the money. On which ones? So random. Oh shit, dude. Was Schwab listening to us? <laughs> Fuck yeah. There you go, baby. Listen to your consumers. Oh, thank God. They stopped showing your full account details. So now it only shows the last three numbers of my account now, finally. Wow. Good for you guys. See, this used to just have all of my damn info on there, bro. Look at you, Schwab. I see you. I, all I had to do is call him Charles Schwab twice. They fixed it. That's beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. Good job. All right, which one's about to expire, bro? I still can't read your fucking shitty platform. And I'm very versed in this. Is everything down? What the fuck is expiring then? The SoFi? No way. Okay, hold on. Why is this so ugly? No. Oh, the option 98. Damn, that play was up and we lost on that. They are scammers. Boo. So that one, which one expires? The rumble? Oh, so Chad had a 1124 rumble. That's the only one rumble then. That was the recent play. It's still down for now. I was up fat on the SoFi. That's crazy. I should have switched the platform. Yeah, it's weird, man. So this is how it looks. I found a way. This is just the YouTube account. So I remember on YouTube, but like, I don't have any history, bro. I used to have the craziest history. I used to have a chart that showed us at $200. So now I just, now I just don't even look that cool, bro. And I haven't deposited either. My, I actually, my bank account has not, I, I my automatic deposits have not gone through on there. So I am missing a deposit on the Schwab. I have it on the E-Trade. You could, yeah, you could use Thinkorswim, uh, but it doesn't show, like, the chart. The chart got you, yeah. Mm hmm Thank giving rec game. Like two I might play two K right now, bro. Today is done. I don't think I again I'm even I was just doing some real estate stuff right there. I got I, this is probably like the quietest I've been all day or all week, I feel like. But I'm I'm down to get a two K game in right now. It's early though. I don't really play two K this early unless it's like Right before I leave the house on the weekend. It's kind of weird. 9 a.m. Play Halo. Everyone wants me to play Halo. I got to like download it again and do some other things. If you don't do it the time they transition you they will close your account what the td one yeah let me see that 
end phase is running up. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna log in on the Schwab on Thinkorswim. I haven't logged in on the small account yet. What the hell is this? Chromium. Tim, do I press accept? Tim. <laughs> Tim, I think this is good, but I haven't. Do I press accept? I think I press accept. Correct. Chromium, authors program Thinkorswim X browser J bin. We're going to allow you access, motherfucker. You're lucky Tim let you. Okay. They changed it from Java to fake Chrome. Really? But not when I log into the other one. It's weird. Mm -mm. Agree to all. All right. Well, I guess this is the same long term. This is cool, but not really. So, like... Yeah, you are used to all of this. Not bad. Not bad at all. Mm -mm. Why do I have 8,000? Oh, this one has margin too? Damn. I'm like, why is there $8,000 in cash? We have not bought anything in about a month for the long term. Mm. Up is up. Arm is rocketing. You guys are calling that out, but arm is kind of getting crazy. Arm's up 10% right now. Mm -mm -mm. Last buy was a uh, MO. Ultra. Like, and what? And with finance, they used to be big back in the day, but I don't think they're bad. I, I, you know, I don't, I really, I haven't used F1 or M1, but like a lot of people were using it. And like, there's some good things. It's just like how you allocate. I think it's good for fractionals and stuff like that. But other than that, I think it's kind of a preference. They do have pretty pictures. I think we see the movie The Shift. Bro, I saw that. I saw the trailer and I was looking for it and I was mad that it's not out yet. I'm I'm gonna watch that movie. I love what's his name? Sean Cahill. That's not his real name, that's just his name in suits, but I love him. I love that dude. You know exactly. Yeah, right, Sean Cahill? Thank you. That's what me and my girlfriend call him because we don't know his name. All we know is from Suits is, like, he's Sean Cahill. You know who I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, bro, it's just Sean Cahill. He is in every movie. You brought this up the other day, Troy. It's like we don't know. I think you know his name. The 
The blonde guy? Yeah. Uh, AVIR 52 week low. The low. Neil McDonoghue. Yeah, that's his name. But dude, he's they have like a new Jesus movie. And he's going to be in there, but like he looks great. He looks great. It's it's it's, it's beautiful. CL Rippin. We had the oil numbers not too long ago. Adobe's on the high NQ. Yeah, homie who bought that at negative 5% is loving it. Remember in the morning? Mm -mm. Let's go, man. And Wayne, I got you. I just, you, Wayne, you just sent me that email and I looked and I just saw it. I just saw it right there. Good time. But, bro, let's get it, man. The long term, unfortunately, uh, and this has been happening a lot, man. And I, I, I don't know what it is, but I love it. And I hope all of you take pride in it and, and have no shame. But in the last, like, dude, after yesterday's conversations and, like, everything we've been talking about, I feel like there has been a, another wave of long term conversions. No, 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 not sending it. He didn't send me a long term, but again, this is like this is probably the tenth email I've gotten in the last forty eight hours of people like, Hey man, I'm done with this like bullshit. I want a long term. That's it. With people saying, Hey, I've been in the game, this happened, this happened, or this, but it's like, yo, it's time I get a long term. So I don't care when you're starting because like I've always told you, the second best time is today. So honestly, though, the only problem that sucks is that I'm going to say the same thing. You know, it really is like it's, you know, f starting even 5,000, whatever it is, we got to break it down. We got to pick a couple of names we know about that you think are going to be here. Definitely, if you've made mistakes in the past, I'd, I'd err to the side of caution by going for blue chip, like good, solid names. You know what I'm talking about? But all you got to do, man. Just space it out. Take the five thousand. Start with two thousand. You could do five hundred and four stocks, and then a hundred bucks, two hundred, three hundred bucks a month, three hundred bucks a month. You'll you'll use the other three grand in a year, and just little by little, and you know balance it, growth and dividends. And honestly, if you have been trading, it's going to be the most boringest shit you've ever seen. I'm telling you, the long term, it's boring, especially if all you've been doing is excitement, excitement, trade, trade, big money, big money. And I'm telling you, you're going to spend two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars in a whole entire month. That doesn't really get people on, you know what I'm saying? So, unfortunately, it's slow. It's not sexy, but, oh, my goodness, it will have a good result. And, Chad, get up and do push-ups. I need a stretch. It's almost 1230. We didn't do any push-ups. Y'all on holiday, vacation. I need a stretch, bro. But, dude, I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm really excited, man. I'm super, super-duper excited. The amount of people, man, I feel like light bulbs have gone off again. I feel like eyes have been opened. The veils have been lifted, bro. You have no idea. So, like, honestly, I, I really encourage it, man. If some of y'all... And listen, you're not giving up on your trading dream. I hope you guys fucking get that. You know what I'm saying? Like, long-term is not giving up. <laughs> you know, the long-term is the first step, believe it or not. So, that's why I'm like, listen, man, it's... If y'all are willing to make good advice, make the sacrifice, it's like it's going to pay off. And, and like we talked about yesterday, man, one of the things that I was saying is just don't pursue worthless efforts. You know, like let's get something working for you and get something going. And then, you know what it's going to do? You know what's going to happen is that once you find that working, then you're going to be able to go and do what you want. Then you're going to be able to get that trading experience and then move into it, you know. So let's go. Mm -mm. Do you find it weird that people got smoked on options in the last two years? Now everyone wants to roll long term as its highs. Yes, I do think it's weird, but it's not weird at all because that's what always happens. And then you have to think about it. What was happening with options? They weren't losing. Maybe I lost a couple, but even then, I think I have. I think I got four or five thousand to three thousand percenters under my belt this year, which does not compare to my eighteen in a row 
for fucking three months, but at the end of the day, they weren't losing. You know, that's what's happening is that it was a, it was kind of a, a false sense of security. Does that make sense? Like you had people who were really trading, they were doing good, they were making money, boom, a thousand a day. Two, uh, think about it, you know, it was, it was fast paced. And then it's like all it take all it took was just one bad move, you know, a couple of bad moves, one average down and the thing didn't work. And then now it's just like, again, you are going to go through the experience we all had. All of us who have a long term had this experience. You either learned it from somebody or you experienced it yourself. And it's the fact that you go through the trading, you get the success, then it goes away. But then it's and then you're going to look back 12 months, 24 months, whatever it is. And you're going to say, if I just bought one fucking thing and held it, I would have been better off. How many times have you heard me say that in the last five to seven years or whatever? <laughs> you know, um, all the times I've been telling you guys, like, that's what I realized, you know? And it's just like, that was my light bulb moment when I was young. Because I started young and I started with the long term. And then I got, I fell for the allure of the trading and all of that. But when I came back, I was like, dude, if I just held it, it would have been better. So... That's what it really comes down to. Your long-term lost 5K this year. But you didn't lose anything. That's all. I mean, the year before, October was awful, came back up. As long as you're not selling, you did not lose anything. Uh, and again, that's why it's kind of the beauty of it all. At the end of the day, I'd rather own something and watch it go down in value than have my shit cashed out and not have anything. Yeah, if you left them all alone, you're fine. Remember, our long terms got fucked up last year and people quit. And then three months later, it, it, it shoots right back up. And then one or two more purchases. And again, now everybody is seeing it. If you don't know, just imagine if you really don't know if this is going to be a soft landing or a fat recession. And if you think this everything is going to be all clear, this is why everybody wants a long term. And the fact that you've had it and then some of us been compounding, it's great, but... Like I'm saying, I, I think a lot of people recently, I'm so hyped on it, man. But you guys got to be careful because it is all-time highs now. We're coming near that. You can't be FOMOing and buying shit because then you're going to hate the long-term and trading, believe me. So make sure you're not buying everything at all-time highs. But I'm seeing a lot of people having the realization, though. And it's, it's bittersweet because it may have come as a result of losses. But I do think some of you, again, I hope you see the blessing that... It's pushing some of you to say, fuck this. I want real assets now. I want I want to own long term. I want I want to get into real estate. I want this. It's like it's kind of bittersweet, man. So let's get it. Hmm. Just imagine if you had some discipline. Hmm. I'm in the beginning of this year, better buying opportunities. And I told you, I mean, you're always going to get a pullback on every rally. I, I even said that at the beginning of the year because I was short. And I told you guys, I said, listen, if you really don't believe me that I don't I like how, how I feel, I said, you will get a pullback. So you've had it happen twice already. If anything, you could have gone back in time multiple times. So if we take off from here, it'll come back down there. But again, you got to do your thing. Stretch, Josh. I am standing up, baby. I'm standing up. I do need. I need to do the behind. I can't talk when I do the <laughs> the behind the back ones, bro. I get like super quiet. Anything in the bargain bin? Few and far between. Walgreens. Uh, maybe PayPal is still a little higher and then like 3M is not that much. Again, Coca-Cola was kind of good. Uh, other than that, I don't know if there's anything like appetizing, maybe some China plays Baba, but that's still a little bit higher, but it's just like, there's a lot of those that are kind of 50, 50 VF Corp. They got that activist, but VF Corp kind of just played out like HBI. And even then I'd, I'd rather take MPW. Higher yield in real estate, even though MPW struggling. But that's going to be fun, though. MPW next year, once we see what's up with rates. And then if you guys know, there's been like three other REITs in the last like week that have sold like $2 billion each in property. I don't think Walgreens will go bankrupt, but people are worried about it. I think after Rite Aid and then all the consumer fear... 
Pfizer and M. I think Pfizer's bargain bin, but that how it's been moving like it's crazy. I didn't even think we we dropped like six or seven on it. But Pfizer, I'd say, is, is kind of there. Mo isn't full bargain bin, but it's good price, good yield, and relatively stays stable. What happened to your sister's account in the Schwab transfer? I, I told her to change it. I haven't logged back in yet, but I told her to do it. So she said she did. Because I said I'm not doing it. If you if you I can't. I'm <laughs> so I said if you don't have that, that's on you, girl. But her account's doing great. She was even shocked. I'm even shocked, dude. We started that account so late, ignored it. She still has a shit ton of cash though. That's the only problem with that 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 one. Where did you learn how to trade and how do I get as good as you? I mean, I think when it comes to trading, I'm like, I'm I'm pretty mediocre. I'd like to say I'm like hit or miss and like, that's it. I just, when I hit, I home run. And then if I don't hit a home run, I strike out. Uh, but I taught everything myself. I don't really look uh, long-term in investing. You could intelligent investor, richest man in Babylon, all uh, all of that good stuff there. Well, again, I think un I I understand the fundamentals of investing very well. That's that's why. Like, so for me to throw it into a trade again, you see people very like this. Do stop loss and money. It's like I'm pretty comfortable with you know understanding certain things, and that's you know some of you I've explained how I operate, but for the most part, uh, it is uh, you know I learning fundamentals i think that's more there otherwise trading is like it's a mix of a lot of things and then you're going to get exposed to a lot of things and there's a lot of technicals and certain other stuff so really depends but like i said uh i think long term is the that i've, I've been money on that i can't i can't deny that like I'll, t I'll, I'll be straight up with the trading but you know even long terms we may have misses but i i'm fully confident in the long-term ability and and just already, you see, even last year, I mean, we're sitting on metas and Netflixes and shit like that is like, that's, that's just game changer. So I love it. I had a TD Ameritrade trade account to Charles was setting up the account at a position at AMC that didn't transfer as stocks, but cash equivalent. You, uh, they have a, they have a form. So there's a form right after it. Like after you do everything, it says, uh. It says if if something was wrong in your transfer, you like you're, there's like a post transfer like checklist. So you could let them know if you call them, I, they would be able to answer that better than I could, and then they might even be able to give it back to you. Do you already th think we saw the worst for MPW? No, I, again management's kind of shady. That's it. So like I like I think what they own and and what they have is is very good, but the management I'm I'm very questionable about them. So I don't think it's the worst, but at the same time I do think a a big part of their industry is tied to rates. And then even then, if rates really do calm down, we, management we're going to get rid of them. Why? Because somebody wants those assets. They own good assets. So I, I, if the rates allow people to scoop them up, then I think that's the game changer for them. But I, I wouldn't say the worst is over. I'd be very cautious. But then again, I mean, offers high high risk, high reward. By dues resistance, I think 126, 127, where I'm at. If it's above 121, no, it's not there yet. Yeah, 121 is the level. And then one, actually 120, uh, like 123, 124. And then 126, 27. So kind of right here is like it's either going to chill out here or maybe slow down. But if it keeps stair stepping, goes crazy, that could be good. Bonds are coming down. Yeah, man, y'all should be doing push-ups. Y'all heard the standing desk, man. That's it. 
<sighs> Sister's account is a great example of buy and forget. It really is, bro. And she had no idea. I got mad. Bro, you know what she did too? Psst. I even told her this. I was like, you, you're awful. I said, how long have you been doing this to me your whole life then? The other day, she asked me for money. And I said, what do you mean? She's like, oh, I just, I need it real quick. Like, no, 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 no. She's like, my check-in and my savings. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, bro, you have $7,000 in this account. What are you asking me for anything? I'm like, you have a long term now. And then I was like, are you for real? And she was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm like, you, dude, you hustler. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. I said, you use the long term. And I, I mean, if you're really going to ask me, you know, I made this so you don't ask me for shit. Mm hmm. Still sore. I could do the back workouts, but. Whew. It's crazy. Is she liberal? Um, yes. I mean, we've, it's weird because like even late, like she used to, I think, define as a liberal more, but lately she's like still had like, again, she lives in San Francisco for like the last like 10 years or longer. And, you know, she's very, you know, she wants to help people. You guys heard her on stream. Like she's a nurse. She likes to help people give back. But at the same time, it's like, uh, I, 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 do, I would say she do, defines herself as a liberal, but not a liberal. I don't know how to describe it. Mm -hmm. It's like saying like I I respect conservative values But like I don't support Donald Trump You know Something like that nature Where I think <laughs> I think she would identify as liberal But not like Doesn't mean put her in a box of some sort I guess mm -mm -mm. My younger brother went out with your sister That's how I found your channel That's fucked then Because if it's All her boyfriends were dog shit <laughs> respectfully at least i mean i don't i've told her about some of them but if that's the case i told her i said she should marry you chad but other than that that would be uh like i don't know man you gotta tell your brother he's he's <laughs> oh no I'm, there's a good chance i don't like him good chance i don't like him mm -mm. i'm sorry for your family bro he is your half brother fuck yeah that's <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Cause if you were real Chad, bro, like I'm like, hold up then. Cause I told her, I said, I'm gonna hook you up with the Chad. Stop playing with me. <laughs> UW I still have some in in sisters long term. Uh I don't I don't I think I still got it in the no, I don't even think it's in the Robin Good. I sold it for tax losses that I never bought back because it went higher and then it's just at the same price. Most brothers don't like their sister's boyfriends. No, like I, they've had a couple where I'd be like, he's the homie. Like, I don't know. I'm a pretty cool. I'm a cool dude, bro. If they the homie, they the homie. <laughs> like, I don't like I don't care, bro. Like, that's hey, you got. I'm not going to charge you a goat or anything. But like, hey, man, you do you. If you want to hook up with somebody who looks just like me, that's that's your prerogative, not me. Uh, but yeah, like usually if the boy, like if they're chill, bro, like that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like if they chill, like that's all, that's all that matters. Mm -mm. She received, no, she got a way better hairline, honestly. It's fucked. Mm -mm. No, my mom looked like J-Lo. My sister looked like. <laughs> like Josh <laughs> She looks like J-O-H J-O-S-H mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, She looks like Josh Lowe <laughs> Like Josh Lowe Key <laughs> Oh man Hmm Play feature co sister when she if she come for the holidays I think she is she every time she's came over she stopped by and she's she's yelled on the stream bro you don't remember sushi coin 
and whatever else. And then she, last time she she got political with y'all, I think, too. She's telling y'all to love people, too. So, it's, you know, good vibes, good vibes. But yeah, she'll get on. Way too much fun. Everyone in the office giving me weird looks. Just start looking at them back, bro. That's it. What would you rate yourself? Like, like in terms of like a quality of human, a million. Uh, I'm a, totally a narcissist, but uh, in terms of looks, like I'd say lizard out of 10. That's it. Like, honestly, like there's a, like in a weird way, I inherently don't trust girls. You know why? Because they like me. I think it's suspicious. Because <laughs> if I was a girl, I don't know what I would do. Like, I'd be like, wait a minute. So like that, it's it's like a red flag. Like the fact that like girls would like show any sort of like affection towards me. I'm like, wait a minute. Kind of shady. Kind of shady. I don't know, man. I don't know. Mm-hmm. The Lambo YouTube prank. Oh, yeah, bro. If that was, man. Uh, yeah. But it's cool, man. I'll just, I take it how it is. Take it how it is. You look like a llama. <laughs> I thought that I thought I read that as like a terrorist llama, but then I I figured out what you were saying. That's cool though. Llamas are cute. You know what I'm saying? Like I I wish I wish I looked like a fuzzy animal. Are you kidding me? You know what I'm saying? Like I look like a reptile. <laughs> like so if you could get away looking like a llama dog I'd, I'd rock with it i'd rock with it you know hmm. apparently a new mystery pneumonia is tearing through china's schools hospitals and overwhelming beijing silk children in many classes cancel alert came tuesday i told you man in no mass required until the election thank you we're still in flight here. Uh, if you'd like 2K to come around, we can send that over. Thank you. You've been making that illusion, and I want to know the details. The, you don't understand the mask thing? It's because, I, I mean, I think at this point, masks have became very political. So this dude, it was like two months ago, I was in L.A., and somebody told me to put a mask on. And I you, and they had signs. I was like, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> I was like, what are you saying? There's nothing happening anymore. So it's just like it's very political, bro. Yeah, Roblo is flying. Let it get another candle and we we gonna cover call. You don't have to call. It's okay, pal. Cause I'ma raise the race tonight. You don't have to call. It's okay, pal. Cause I'm a In Japan, they wear masks anytime they feel unwell. Always have. Yeah. I mean, China and Japan, it's always been the case. It's been very culturally there. But for us, it just... I, do, I'm, I mean, I don't mind the mask. Like, if you feel comfortable, if you want to be wise about your health, uh, just, again, I'm more of a mandate type of guy where, <laughs> you know, where it's like you have no choice or we kill you type beat. You know, maybe not that extreme, but yeah. Mm. 
mandates aren't a law. Yeah, tell that to them. Mandate on mandate on mandate. You don't have to call. It's a good song, man. It's a good song. Was one, yeah, it's L.A., bro. It's big there. It's big in L.A., man. It's actually, like, crazy. The masks are popping in L.A. But that's what I was saying. That was the last time I... Exp Nobody gives a shit in San Diego. Where do they send the turkeys that the president pardons? I don't know, actually. I don't know. We don't ask questions. Dude, did you guys not... Do you not know what happened, though, at the turkey pardoning? I didn't realize it because I wasn't really... I was pooping at the moment. But... Do you guys know what, do you know what he said? And this is what I was saying yesterday. Even Troy was like, I can't believe Josh just publicly said what he said. <laughs> Troy was shocked. <laughs> Troy's like, what the fuck happened to Josh to make him do that? That's amazing. I think something's in the water. Something's changing. But damn, he really just said that. My goodness. It fell out. Of, it happens, bro. But like, like my point None of these people on both sides represent the real people. They are not representing their constituents. They are all out of touch. I don't know why I either get represented by an old guy or a billionaire. I can't relate to any of them. Uh, <laughs> not to mention none of them are immigrants either. You know what I'm saying? But like, anyways, but the the whole point was that they're out of touch and they don't really represent us. So do you know what Biden said during the turkey pardoning thing? Does anybody know what he he said? If this doesn't highlight the out of touch, I'm in a, I'm telling you. And I'm not this doesn't just cuz one person's out of touch doesn't mean the other people are in touch, you know? Do you know what he said? Yep, there you go. Somebody got it. And then read. My sister said you're chill. You were... Uh, your 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 half brother wasn't the one I was talking about. He was kind of chill. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, bro, this little scammer. Mm -mm. But here's the deal. Joe Biden he said he was talking about the turkeys getting busy and like in a tour. Pretty much Joe Biden confused Taylor Swift with Britney Spears. Yes. Mm hmm. Again, that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, this is unreal. All of the out of touch, like, imagine who cares? Bro. It may sound small, but that's kind of wild. Like, to to really think that the biggest thing this world has seen recently in terms of performances and talking about it and then saying it's Britney Spears? I don't know, man. Some of y'all saying you do that, so that's I feel. I feel. You'll, we'll give him a little bit of defense. Uh -huh, we'll give him some. We'll give him some, man. I'm on me on my tonight.
Yeah, so I got... Let's see if this one works. Where is it? Be all right tonight. Oh, we didn't get her meta. So I got Colt's sister. So again, this is but again, her account's solid, bro. Nice ten percent in a couple years is not anything crazy. She has a lot of cash though. Oh, I think it yeah, we got Bill. Comparatively. Actually, no, we used it. I guess we put it on Walgreens. And then that got clapped a little bit. But for the most part, everything's been pretty solid for her. Not anything too little, too much. It's been great. I was like, bro, you have this. But this account was like forgotten about and it still works. It goes, it does its thing. Usher, man. I like I, I like Usher. I wish. If I had like singing and dancing abilities, I would have became Usher. I loved him when I was younger. You know that I loved all You remind me of the rates when they were at two. Used to look all of the things that I could buy. And then I saw that interest rates got high. This is why I cannot buy a home. You remind me of a stock that I once knew. See, I look at the P.E. and it was low. How, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, if I, if I had to, like, sing in and the dance in, but, like, I ain't, God ain't make me a pretty boy, man. I'm like, fuck, I wish I would have became Usher. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, that's what I say. That's a banger hook, bro. That's a, I, don't, I don't know if they know about it, man. I don't know if they know about the OG Usher songs. Like, I knew those when I was, like, young, bro. Like, that's it. It just it sucks. Because, like, nowadays, I feel like I would have had way more Riz than back then. But, like, I was young. I could sing that. Like, I will go up to girls and say that. Like, my brother would tell me to go up to, like, older girls and start just talking to them like that. That's it. But it was I was too young, though. That's it. But he, they used me. You know that? Like, my bro used me to pick up girls when I was younger. It was sad. He would act like he was, like, the single dad. And then he would use me, and I'd be like, hello, how are you? Say, oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. My daughter, 26, 110 in savings. I tried to influence her. At least I got her move, checking to save. That's good, though. I mean, honestly, you got you got your daughter with that much saving? That's, that's dope. That's good. She's, <laughs> like, it's very good, bro. Mm-hmm. Brent Fires. Yeah, I know I know him. I, I only know like I don't listen to him like a lot, but like I I I I fuck with Brent. He's good. He good. But it's not like dude, it's nothing will beat like OG Usher, man. I'm just saying, like, if y'all don't know OG Usher, like that was an era, bro, and those songs were like oh man, you know? Please don't do this to me. <laughs> yeah, ER nurse. Ah, uh, well, does she want a house? Why don't you see if she'll get a house, get a rental? If she's gonna travel, maybe she get an Airbnb. But either way, I mean, at least she has the savings. That's good. Usher one twelve, Casey and JoJo. Uh huh. And boys to men. Raise the rates. <laughs> yeah, at least has no for real though. That's like the hardest part. And like, if you don't have the discipline to like or a desire to like invest, I mean, it's easy to not even save. You know what I'm saying?
man, so like, breathe, stretch, shake, raise the race. <laughs> I used to be the guy stood next to Powell, crucified for saying inflation transitory, even though the girls think I'm extra pretty. I know I ain't got no quantitative tightening with me. Like, whoa, with the wrist, like, whoa, with the... Uh, no, I don't, again. All right, man, I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, just y'all y'all keep giving me the old tracks, and then I keep... Cutting. That's the old one. That's the, that's the, like, old new mace, though. I know I ain't got no extras with me. I'm like, whoa. That NVIDIA is down. It's not. Last time it was confusing. This time I said it's going to do what it did last time. We had a great short in the morning. We would have made a, a little four more extra dollars, but it's just doing what it did last time. That's the craziest part. Sam Altman, yeah, yeah, that was this morning. <laughs> he got back. Imagine him now, too. Imagine Sam Altman coming back to the office. He gonna walk by that boardroom and be like, oops, and just knock over shit. My bad. Oh, my bad. Oh, you, uh, you wanna get rid of me? Oh, yeah, how you gonna do that? How you gonna do that? I bet you he on some shit right now, huh? He be walking around pissing on plants and shit in the office. You know that, like, for real. You know he's, dude, no, he is like, this is, he is the captain now. <laughs> oh, you thought you could get rid of me? Okay. Okay, say hello to, hey, say hello to Josh AI. Yeah, I'm his little friend. If you have any questions, I could help you out. Because we're an AI friend, and we're here to be there with you. Okay, say hello to my little AI. If you have any other questions, just let me know. I'll be right here if you have anything. And shout out to Sam Altman. Okay, everybody want to make a bad guy, huh? Okay, you everybody want to point their fucking finger, say that's the bad guy, huh? Well, actually, you're not that bad of a guy. That's why we let you back in the company. So, if you have any other questions, I'm your little your, your little friend here to help you. Why did I just stutter if I'm an AI? Fuck. <laughs> Brought to you by Tesla. <laughs> Sorry, I had to reboot. I had to reboot. It happens. Say hello to Loris Summers. <laughs> Why is he on the board now? Stop it. Dude, imagine at, at adding an old-ass treasury person to the board of the AI company. And this guy, I mean, he's been like low-key. He says some good things. You know, Lawrence Summers has, has said some good, timely things. But at the same time, I just associate him too much with Janet Yellen. And I'm like, why? Why would you put any of that on the board? That makes no sense. When you just had an issue of the board getting rid of you and not uh, just, I don't know. Game got my heart, game got my soul. Mm -mm -mm. Sam Altman was just the altcoin version of Sam Bankman. I know he can. I think we're forgetting this is the same guy who created the little eye coin that you have to scan your, your retina to do anything with it. Y'all don't remember that?
Mm-hmm. Dude, that was the W. How is it? What's that? What's the price of it? How many people own it? How many retinas do they have? We say, we we signed up about 2,000 retinas. You know, we have 2 million active retinas on our platform. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have retinas. Not users. We use retinas. Mm-hmm. You know, like an eyeball. Yeah, because you can't use it without having an eyeball. Mm-hmm. We had a couple of dog retinas, too, but they they got we invalidated those. Is that two bucks? Two fifty? Two fifty five? Breaking vehicle explosion reported at Rainbow Bridge, which connects Canada and New York. No word on injuries. Are I'm getting natural gas numbers again. I don't see that, though, on the wire, but if it's coming from Twitter, it'll either be legit or get deleted. Dude, we're doing nothing. All right. Oh, damn. SPR down. I forgot about that one. That's an hour from your house. So you're like, if someone asked you, like, what are you? You're like, I'm 99% American and then I'm one hour percent Canadian. That means you're like Canadian American. I don't know how you feel about that. I don't know if you had maple syrup for breakfast, but mm -hmm. am I going to go check out the cyber truck at the mall in San Diego? I didn't know there was one. Rochester. Near Buffalo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have five friends from Rochester. Shout out to Brendan. Yo, Josh, what's up, man? How you living, bro? How you living? I feel bad. I wanna, I wanna. I, we could have so many talks right now in this, but like, I low key think I'm about to set up the 2K. I'll still get the news, but I don't know how we're gonna have to do this. It was weird last time I had to set it up. Mm -mm. The Mighty Ducks? Oh, was Mighty Ducks Rochester? Yeah, why? The Camo Cybertruck? Nah. It was Minnesota. Yeah, I thought they were Minnesota. I don't know, bro. I Every time I see it, though, the Cybertruck is the ugliest car ever made. But I'm so excited to get one. <laughs> you have no idea. It looks so cool, but it just does not look good. If that makes sense. It's just like, it's like a beast. It's like Beauty and the Beast. <clears throat> There's one angle where it doesn't look silly. <laughs> Honestly, I think you just said it perfectly. There's no other way to describe that car. Other than the word silly, I, I, <laughs> you know, that I think you just used the perfect adjective. Mm hmm. It's a silly vehicle. It just, it's very, it's silly looking. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. But I don't think there's any angle that helps it. Um, you're back from your workout nice how was it was it a good workout was the walkout worth I need to get a good workout in I had one yesterday but I'm like I kind of want to start doing uh, like longer cardio I don't know I like sweating it's been good but I just don't like sweating at night time it's stupid I'm supposed to be resting I thought it was the dumbest thing ever, but now I love it. I don't know why. That's what I'm saying. It's a weird car. Did you ever pull money from multiple investors or always banks? Like, no. Nah. What do you mean? Like, raised money? I mean, I've done JVs, but 
I try to avoid it. I don't I don't really I don't like taking people's money. People are annoying. I don't know. Like, if, again, I've I've done deals where I've worked with outside investors and other stuff. But like that's usually the, the biggest problem. So I like banks. I like underwriting standards. Not too big of banks. But, yeah, I try not to uh, handle other people's money uh, just for the sheer headache. People are annoying. Vehicle explosion reported at Canada. So Troy's confirming that now. And El Coyote, there was an incident on the Rainbow Bridge in Niagara Falls. So we are getting confirmation of that now. Do they have anything on it? No Twitter video or anything? Rainbow. Briefed on in incident. Rainbow Bridge. Um, yeah, here's the... A vehicle exploded at the toll. Yo, call Steve. Tell him to come back. So you're telling me we just had a car bomb? That's from Twitter. This, this is all breaking now, bro. Yo, shout out to Chad who posted it. Dude, a Chad came in here like 10 minutes ago <laughs> with that headline, and we there was no confirmation there, but now you're getting uh, you're getting it, but weren't caught on fire. Maybe, but if you're that look, that kind of looked crazy. I, that's the first thing we're seeing. Yeah, there's only one video. They said they evacuate. There's literally only one video. Yeah, bro. I don't know if this was just. That looks pretty intense. Is that a Tesla? Unless it was a Tesla. <laughs> Sadly, if it was a Tesla, it would make a lot of sense because of the fire. But yeah, bro. So it's, this is the bridge. Just search Rainbow Bridge on, on Twitter. This is what comes up. That's awful pictures, Victoria. <laughs> what the fuck are you taking pictures of, Victoria? Uh, it seems to be like, yo, what, like, it's kind of crazy. So either fire or car bomb at a toll. But again, right now they're just calling it an incident. It's either an EV or a terrorist. <laughs> Sadly, it's kind of crazy to think that that is the, the options that we're at right now. Like, literally, it's one or the other. It's just, it's either an EV or a terrorist, which, again, if that doesn't describe the modern day youth, I don't know what does. So, it kind of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nowadays, an 18 year old on TikTok, he either really in EV or he's a terrorist. So, we'll see. And we'll see at the next election. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess it applies in this case too. There are car parts everywhere. I'm think. I think. I mean, it could if the car was on fire then exploded, but that only happens if you're a Tesla. Uh, <laughs> but at the same time, uh, it did. I. I mean, it kind of looks very explosiony to me. But I. I mean, we can't confirm right now. Teslas don't have parts. What do you mean? <laughs> They're made out of your imagination. That's how I, that's it. You imagine the Tesla. You imagine you're saving the environment. Climate activists do. Why are these climate activists getting so weird, bro?
you don't mean to provoke this, but has there been actual empirical data of global warming? You're legit asking. So why you want to ask the little Egyptian boy, bro? Go fucking ask Al Gore. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, man, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not trying to. And these climate activists are hella deadly nowadays, bro. So I don't know, man. I'm, I'm going to defer to Al Gore. I'm punting to Al Gore. I don't know if that's still a viable op option, but I, if I can punt to Al Gore, I will. I will. How dare you? And then they go back to gluing them. Well, did you not hear the thing? It's a weird one. So you guys didn't hear the other one then? With the climate activists? Well, I don't know if it's climate activists or... Bro, it's getting weird, bro. Like, we're calling them climate activists, but they're doing, like, really weird shit. From interrupting Jerome Powell, if this was, like... Again, we don't know if today was a climate thing, but there was something the other day. There was a, there was apparently letters that were sent to, like, politicians with fentanyl in it, and they were trying to, like, do it, like, where they were trying to intimidate it. Some people were saying it was Republicans, and, like, they, it's crazy, but, like, if you go look at, there's a couple of places that show the letter. It's a climate activist. It says literally, it even has, like, a, it has different flags on there and other things, but it's like, dude... It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, they're not real activists. They're paid and duty, but it's just, like, weird, man. They're all just getting on, like, crazy shit. Like I said, bro, that Powell, bro, I was scared for Powell, bro. I'm telling you, I really, I don't think Powell should have had to have some dude walking behind him saying the F word live because he's so scared, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just climate terrorism. <laughs> yeah, bro, like, <laughs> for real. Close the door. Close the goddamn door. It's much better to beat these types of things. No? Okay. That deep the rabbit hole goes. Spy moving up a little bit. All right, I think I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then if nothing else happens, I think I'm going to play 2K. I think today's over. If you guys would like to quit, feel free. I wouldn't consider it quitting. I would consider it taking some rest. We do have tomorrow off, but I think today's done, bro. Again, maybe we go a little higher. If we have, I'm going to be here. I'm going to get any headlines. I'm going to still be chilling here, but I don't know, man. Bank of Canada, Macklin, you're getting some stuff there from Canada. The crypto industry right turned the page. It's not only been, a, I think, an opportunity for Coinbase to, to step in, but it's also an opportunity for the industry, I think, to turn the page here and say that, yeah, some of the rules are clear around AML, KYC, OFAC, the, the issues that Binance really had, um, you know, stepped over the line on. But some of the areas of the law are not yet clear. We need to go get that regulatory clarity to make sure that the future of this industry is built here in America, not on offshore unregulated exchanges. Now, for more on the industry, we're joined by Melton Demers, CoinShares Head of Strategy. So, Melton, I get what he's saying about turning the page and all that, but at the same mm -hmm. time, how can customers be sure that not only is their money safe, but the idea here that these exchanges, particularly international exchanges, uh, have cleaned up a lot of the behavior that you've seen Binance get in trouble for? 
I, I think this is a really tough question. Look, at the end of the day, what is really, really challenging for regulators, for now traditional financial institutions looking to engage with Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and just assets that operate on blockchains generally is crypto doesn't function the same way as traditional banking. It settles with finality. There aren't banking services that offer separation of accounts. We've seen the SEC sort of go after Kraken for that this week. Um, that's something that hasn't been talked about as much. But there are some really fundamental challenges when you're trying to figure out how to make crypto compatible with the rules and regulations that apply to traditional financial services businesses. So it's always been a challenge. I've been doing this for almost a decade now. It has always been a challenge it continues to be challenge but the good news is i think a lot of the overhang whether it's ftx whether it's finance it's starting to get cleaned up this is partly a perception issue partly a rules and regulations issue but i also think the industry itself has done a really good job pushing forward creating standards we see a lot of sharing of information of best practices amongst firms and so look i'm optimistic i fully agree with brian i would love to see the center of crypto to remain in the U.S., but in order for that to happen, you know, we still need clarity. We, we haven't seen a lot of that yet, but 2024, I'm hoping, is our year. What about the future of Binance? On one hand, you have a new CEO in place now. Uh, they have only faced a couple hundred million worth of outflows, according to data from DeFi Llama, uh, 1.3 billion from the platform around a 24-hour period. But that's nowhere near what it's seen at its worst. I mean, this is still an exchange with well over 65 billion worth of exchange assets. So what of the future of Binance as the world's largest crypto exchange? At the end of the day, it's all about where traders want to be and where traders want to be is where liquidity is. And right now, Binance is a very liquid exchange. It offers a lot of trade pairs um, and it offers trade pairs that you don't necessarily see on a lot, of, a lot of other exchanges. I think over the last few years with all of these enforcement actions, we've seen a lot of the standard venues where people trade where there's deep liquidity. They've sort of dried up. Um, over the last year, we've seen a lot of market makers, OTC desks, where a lot of the larger volumes of trading were happening also disappear as a result of some of the credit crisis fallout there. And so really the question is not who's going to absorb this volume. We've seen some of Binance's dominance in the market dropping already. I think the question is, are there going to be new players that emerge? Um, already we're seeing the launch of some new exchanges in different jurisdictions that are looking to maybe take some of this market share and take advantage of this new opportunity. But I think the question is, really what jurisdictions are going to be most attractive and where is that liquidity going to be? Um, right now, that liquidity, still a lot of it on Binance. Coinbase obviously has great liquidity for U.S. exchanges, but it's really a question of what new players are going to emerge. And then there are also players that are currently in other parts of the crypto services stack who may be thinking, hey, this might be a good time to step into the exchange business. But I think, again, this is kind of a wide open playing field after FTX, um, you know, kind of melted down, there, there's not a lot of places left. And so mm -hmm. I'm personally very excited about seeing new players emerge and maybe some traditional financial institutions well, will look at the opportunity. Speaking of existing exchanges, I keep on harping on Coinbase because I did ask Brian Armstrong yesterday how much uh, inflows they're seeing on the heels. He said it was too early, but then he also took to Twitter to say a lot of things. I want to point out one thing in particular. He said AI mm -hmm. should be decentralized as much as possible. Open source is a great step towards this. Then he says crypto should be decentralized. Self-custodial wallets and protocols help this. Um, you know, it's interesting because there are a lot of buzzwords in this particular statement. <laughs> so what does it exactly mean to have a crypto world that's more decentralized? Is just this a big bid for DeFi? I think this is one of the fundamental sort of ideological contradictions of crypto. The whole point of, of Bitcoin and, you know, what got me really excited in the early days was hold your own keys, your own keys, your own coins. Nobody has access to your assets other than you. Um, now, the ideological contradiction is that Coinbase is a custodial company, right? The services they provide are fully custodial to a large degree. They're starting to move into a direction that's a little bit more non-custodial, but those products and services are fundamentally incompatible with U.S. laws around how capital markets should function. So I think this is one of those interesting contradictions 
positions in the industry. Yes, there's certainly technically savvy users who value decentralization, who value self custody of their assets. But I think by and large, like my litmus test is my, my dad. My dad's retired. He manages his money in a brokerage account. He doesn't want to have his own wallet and manage his own keys. He wants to log into one account where he has confidence that his assets are safe and secure and that he can trust the platform he's on. And I think that's the reality for many allocators, whether it's here in the U.S. or elsewhere. So it's a really interesting ideological contradiction. As you said, a lot of buzzwords there. And I think one that over the coming decades will continue to, to play out. And we'll see if generational mm -hmm. preferences start to shift the arc there. But people want their assets to be safe. Our thanks to Meltem Demers of CoinShares for helping unpack some of what is going on. Now we're going to shift next to oil. It's dropping after OPEC Plus pushed back its meeting that was scheduled for this weekend. We'll discuss why it was delayed and the turbulence for the market ahead. This is Bloomberg. And the turbulence for the market ahead. That was pretty interesting. Very, very good to hear. So we got body. Troy called that one out. A couple of things moving. How you feeling, Chad? How you feeling? What am I going to do? I don't know. Do you see anything? I don't know. How do you feel about it? The Beast Bundle. Rainbow Bridge closed after explosion on U.S. side. Are they not going to tell us? Philo, I got a good Philo for you. It is yesterday's watch list. I encourage you to go through that one. And again, Proverbs. I mean, I could let me get you before I run uh, the, the game of 2K. I'll tell you. I'll tell, but again, I have my... Uh, I've, I'm going to try this. I haven't done this since I was in college, but I do have the ability... To do it. FBI says investigating vehicle explosion at Rainbow Bridge. So it's an explosion connecting U.S. and Canada. So literally, dude, I, I don't want to I don't want to be the first one to say it. But is this borderline a terrorist attack if they're saying it's an explosion? But then again, that could be because of anything. Mm -mm. What do you think of Matt Reif? Oh, so that's the good part. Matt Reif. I I always liked him like a little bit and I thought he was like funny, but like I thought it was just crowd work. So I listened to the Netflix one and I was thoroughly impressed with the young man. He's actually he's not that young, I guess, but he is young. But like I liked it, bro. I thought like because I didn't know he had like jokes without crowd work. That's what I didn't. But then I saw his Netflix special and I was like, bro, it's good, bro. I was like I was impressed by it. So he definitely. He definitely has me as a fan. I don't I don't think he's just hype though, but like he definitely has more than a like one skill, you know. Explosion, yeah. There was an explosion on the Rainbow Bridge in Canada. Ralph Barbosa's funny as hell. He is funny as people didn't like him when he made his like Trump joke, but I I think the dude's funny as hell, bro. I love Ralph Barbosa. Probably like one of my favorite young comedians right now. But yeah, if you're not familiar, there was that's the biggest news so far besides like any of the data. But uh, your boy, uh, mm -mm, they baiting you on the rife? No way, really? Oh, boo! I didn't, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna add that to the BBB wall of shame then. If that's if that's what we're saying there, that's wild, bro. Why are you gonna do me like? I didn't know. I did not know he was caught up in anything. I really just thought. It was uh, just, a, again, I thought he was popular. I thought everybody, because of TikTok, boo. Mm -mm. You should get a job, though, this, this year for politics, though, if that's what you're into. Some of y'all should look to join some of the campaigns, if that's what you like. What's on the bottom left? Uh, Joe Biden. I don't know. Do you see it? Like, that's my, that's my, my player's name, Joseph Biden out of Scranton. Pennsylvania, Puerto Rico. Yeah. He's really, really excited, man. His crimes? Matt Reif committed crimes? What? And then bottom bottom left is still Tesla. Do not forget about that. Hmm. According to the Niagara Gazette, witnesses say that a car 
sped the wrong direction up the road into the wrong side of the toll booth and exploded. So it was a terrorist attack. So uh, somebody, I don't know if that's from Twitter, JG's posting it. Mm Mm-hmm. It's kind of wild. Bro, that's crazy. If that is, that's... Oh, even election year, that's wild. But like, bro, it's at the, it's, but they were on the U.S. side. Mm-mm. Niagara Gazette on their website. So local newspaper on the area posted it. Kind of crazy. SYM on the high. Or is that, yeah. Remember, SYM went crazy the other day. There was an explosion. A Canada, Canada, U.S. border, Rainbow Bridge, connecting New York to Canada. A toll booth got exploded, and we don't know the details, but people literally, that latest one I just read, it said uh, that they uh, that they went to, uh, or that the car drove on the other side of the road, and then into the toll booth, and then exploded. It's a, I mean, at this point, I would say potential attack. I would say, actually, no, I don't, I can't play a full rec game. Rec game's like a commitment, bro. We got it. We got to run up the park, if anything. Or toll booth, I know. Explode. I mean, cars don't really explode unless it's a Tesla. <laughs> I, I keep making that joke. Some of you are going to get really mad at it eventually, but uh, it's uh, it's it seems like it's a it's like a attack. Again, I don't I don't really you don't really hear too many uh, cars exploding nowadays, especially like even on impact. Like in the pictures, if you go on Twitter and search it, you'll see some. Six more dollars on Baidu when we break even? Hell yeah. So, I mean, if anything, we'll get it tomorrow if it don't happen or on, on Friday. I'm down. I'm down. This happened in New York. You guys just heard about this? The bottom left is TLT. But in front of it is something else. But right now, so you still got a little bit of TLT. Spy 500 win. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, yeah, bro. I forgot. I get my daily spin. I didn't even. Let me get my daily spin, dog. You're in Buffalo right by the border. Oh, really? There's a lot of traffic, so don't go that way. Again, there's a lot of people who posted pictures there. I'm playing Xbox on the job. Well, don't let me do it better than you. Otherwise, it gets really awkward. You know, again, literally, I started my uh, I started my streaming career with stocks by tr- playing Call of Duty while trading in 2014 or even 2013, actually. So literally, again, bro, it's it's crazy. All the people I got to meet through it, all the optic guy. You guys remember a guy named T Martin? You guys ever remember, you remember T Mart? What happened to him, bro? I actually I haven't hit him up in a minute, actually. Now that I think about it, but like, dude, there was a, it was a, it was a fun time. Oh, need two players. He was a scammer. What? Yeah, I know T Martin, bro. Yeah, like, bro, I would talk with him on the phone back at that, bro. I got him in the stocks way, way back in the day, in like 2013, 2014. What happened to him? I ain't seen him in a minute. But, like, this is what I used to do. I would literally play while trading. He got caught with an illegal gambling website? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Spy's coming up here a little bit. Again, you're probably going to get headlines on the, uh, what's it called? I got a UBS one. U.S. FBI says investigating vehicle. Then U.S. UBS CEO resolution. And then Thride led OpenAI tender to continue after Altman.
Look what you did. What I do? I don't, I don't think I did anything. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know he did anything gambling. That's actually kind of crazy. Very, very crazy, Habibi. You play with... I have not... Wait, what do you mean outcast? I haven't seen the... Uh, what's it called? I haven't had the new uh, outcast thing. I did the uh, Andre 3... That Andre 3K. NVIDIA come up. I mean, we had... I, it is, I closed that 490. So maybe... I don't know. Look at H3H3's video, Deception Lies. And that's, that's about T. Martin? There's no way. Bro, he was such, like, a nice kid. Like, he was, I think he was actually older than me. But he was, like, a nice guy. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, he was, like, actually, like, like somewhat nice. H3 is sus. I love H3. He's on. I didn't do. I didn't know any of this stuff. Then B B K C H on the high. I bought Bitcoin on the high. Yeah. Old hey. I like Halo too. Someone. I mean. Again, you guys are asking me to play Halo. I'll see if we uh, if we have that opportunity. But I don't know, man. I've been. I've been. You guys. Fortnite. We could do Fortnite easy. old h3 again bro we're chilling here on the market i hope you guys see this i hope you see bro this is another day remember volume should be uh oh come on volume should be uh 50 percent lower u.s ubs ceo today ubs is the world's safest large institution The video, the options tripled. No way. SN ticker, the ninja, like ninja, like, like ninja vacuum and ninja, like, like stuff like that. I feel like they'd be bigger. <laughs> UBS gives UBS the safest bank award. I know how to play FIFA, but I don't like, I'm not good at it. Blender. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like they're good. I've not looked at their financials, though. Out of bounds. They're going to get mad if I don't play. Four, five, five, nine. Dude, we're doing nothing. The volume? I don't even know, bro. Probably light as hell. 32 million? Which is, and what time is it right now? One, we have an hour, two and a half hours. It's actually, dude, it's early. Put on some uncle. You want uncle in the background? We get uncle news. I mean, I'm still talking with you. I don't, damn, you don't want to, you don't got any questions? You don't like, damn. He said, just put some uncle, Josh. Just put some uncle, bro. Hmm. Do you guys want to hear? Oh, dude, these kids are, like, raging on the mic right now. I should let you guys... I, dude, I'm telling... I don't know if y'all know this, but, like, if you want to lose faith in humanity, you guys should go play 2K. That's the only... I've been telling you, like, I believe in the young generation and, like, everything they're doing and, like, some things that, you know, I'm, like, really, like, excited about what they got, but, like, oh, dude, I lose faith in all... After hearing some of this 2K stuff, bro, it's crazy. Nah, bro, it's crazy. The old COD lock, it's just as bad. Um, dude, 2K is insane. And then I saw, dude, I saw this one video. This guy was like a big 2K guy. It was just talking about how like some dude in a game made him mad. And like the other dude just like straight up doxed him. <laughs> just for no, it was just saying his address and shit on everything. I'm like, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, bro, it's a very aggressive community. It's a very aggressive community. 
Cod lobby, cod lobbies were an era, but this is still like, I mean, they don't play around, bro. They don't play around. Oh, miss Warzone. I mean, I mean, I missed what was it, Modern Warfare Two? I think that was the only legit one. Um, I ain't got no other headlines yet. The spy is still at the same spot from when I started this game. Mm hmm. New cod's pretty sweet. I want the I want the old kill streaks, bro. EU regulations are the only reason they lack allow the Activision deal to go through. Why cryptos pop? I don't know. Let's check. Oh, well, crypto again yesterday. The I think the Sam Altman stuff and then. Crypto got clapped and then came back because of the the CZ thing. You know what I'm saying? The CZ thing. That one was a big one. Spa Daily at 72. I don't I mean, I think we're going to burn all day today. I mean, it's already due. It's, it's only 1030. We're still pretty early, but we uh, we've already gone through it all. Like it's again, this has not moved way less. There's no more data for the rest of the week now. It's a very, very wild. Mm -mm. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to leave. Mm. You just log back on. I just, dude, I just got a dub. I just got a dub here. No headlines. You guys were able. I pulled up a couple things. I mean, I don't really care about the game. They'll get mad about it, but I'm literally, dude, we're not doing anything right now. <laughs> Why are people not talking about the public lobbies? I don't know. Unless it's, I mean, a bigger implication, but a lot of gaming stuff has changed recently. It's getting clapped by more than 600 million. Who? Binance or? Again, Binance actually, dude, Binance can still operate. That's the crazy part. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. You know, Binance, by taking that deal, they still have the ability to operate in the United States. That's kind of crazy. If you really think about it, that's a wild concept. Diablo 4. I wasn't allowed to play games with the name Devil in it. They're using AI to auto mute based on tone. That's the crutch that made him approve the act. Are you serious? Wait, what? So the AI could uh, understand your tone? Binance never announced the split between China. I just can't do. They're letting them operate. And like, it's just they're just taking four billion dollars from him, and then calling it a day. Yeah, I could read your mind. That's crazy if it's off tone, but I don't know, man. A lot of things have changed recently. Avanske. Let's cut bananas. Bananas. Fox finally reporting. I mean, no one, I think everyone's scared because they don't want to call it a terrorist attack. I think that's the problem. 
because again cars don't normally explode but then we're like wait a minute what the hell is happening then if that's the case Coin high of the day, uh, USL and US, uh, USO, those are moving up there too. Iran Foreign Minister Abdelmalabadol Muhani, <laughs> if the truce between Hamas and Israel does not continue, the war will spread. Mm-mm. You killed. Did I say it right? I think it was Amara Boldol. No, I didn't. I butchered it, bro. I butchered it like crazy. No breaking. The only breaking news we've had so far is the uh, the bridge thing. Mm. They hit our bridge, bro. Just with a car bomb. That's so like, great. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a car exploding just does not happen. In America, usually, but now that's like that's the OG strat in the Middle East. Yeah, dude, 2000. That's just weird. When was the last? Have you ever heard of a car bombing attack? Like, usually we find them. So, like, usually before there is like ever an issue, we already like, like, we already we find it. Like, wasn't there that one in like West Virginia? Remember, this was like a couple years ago, the ATT store. Or the AT&T place. You guys remember that? Mm-mm. Like, we usually find it when it's in, like, a parking lot or something. Like, we our intelligence is usually good. But we don't really, like, they don't usually go off, bro. Like, that's not something that we, like, constantly do. Puff Daddy blew up Kid Cory car? Really? <laughs> oh, he didn't think he was going to jump out. Mm-hmm. Kid Cuddy? What are y'all saying? I just sold it. Your dad is asking for the oil chart slash CL. What do you mean he's asking for the oil chart, though? What kind, what kind of son are you? You didn't give him an oil chart if he asked you? He said, Baba, here is the oil chart. Trading economics. Is the market? Market is not open tomorrow. I just get another dub? That's crazy. I'm not even here. Ontario Provincial Law Enforcement is engaged in assessing situation at the Rainbow Bridge, U.S. and Canada. Ontario Premier. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear about any of the P. Diddy stuff. I don't... (laughs) Yeah, FBI, I read that statement out a little earlier. I mean, market's not, honestly, I mean, I think it's because of the holiday and if we got more info, but this time around, we're not really like, uh, we're not really doing anything right now. Like, it's still like, I feel like the market would have reacted more negatively. Uh, But if we do confirm it's a terrorist attack, that's awful. The timing of it, I mean, again, just considering the election and everything, literally, you mean to tell me there is a, a, a ceasefire deal Or excuse me, uh, a temporary ceasefire. And then these guys are all going to. uh, And then then you have an attack in American soil. Like, come on. (laughs) It's all bad, man. All bad.
Mm-hmm. Unheard of. It's weird, man. Unfortunately, just it just word to more of the you know the global conflict. Like this is what we're gonna have to be dealing with. What happened? Ask the chat. But again, it's kind of crazy. It's literally there was a uh, the bridge in Canada to United States got an explosion, potential car bomb. Mm -hmm. Oil's loving it. Oh, shit. But oil was coming up before that. I don't know if that was the case. Yeah, damn, man. Homie who bought oil today is loving it. I'm telling you. That's crazy. But yeah, oil is going up, but it kind of already had a little bit of upside. Video. This is Xbox or PS5. But yeah, I mean, I'm still here. I'm getting news. There hasn't been anything else. No headlines. So oh, I missed that layup because I'm an asshole. But we chilling out here, man. Again, the market has not moved since I started doing any of this. Abu is onto something. Baba Nu, Baba Nu. Traveling nine reports. Yeah, yeah. We heard that one was uh I think JG said that one earlier. Thanks for the update. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Nobody has confirmed it as I'm speculating that is a, that it is a terrorist attack, but I have no idea. They said no driver. F what? That's the tin. Oh, if they said no driver found, that'd be crazy. Stocks only go up, especially on low volume. Ontario provincial law. I already gave you that one. Yeah, bro. We have friends tinning it up that it's not real. The attack or that. If it was a driverless car, I'd be crazy, but then again, the whole EV thing would make more sense. No driver, terrorist, or it's an EV. I don't know. But there's a lot of it. Not Tesla's not the only one that could drive itself now. That is the paradox. What if Tesla uses auto? I mean, this may be the first instance. Instance, I don't know how they'd overcome it. It'd be borderline impossible. Bro, I can't hit shit. Oh, there you go. It blew up at the custom stage. I think it's just the border. I think they, they drove towards the toll and then that's it. Called it a day. The rim looked like, that's the first thing I said when I saw the Tesla or the rim and the picture, it did look like a Tesla. But then, and then think about it, but Tesla and fire does go hand in hand, all jokes aside. So we'll see. Yeah, and being the bad, things are really slow today. Yes. Again, the, the volume day before Thanksgiving usually drops off by like 50%. So even Friday is going to be low volume, but like this is only going to get worse. Who else has the self-drive? Um, who else? I think there's one more. 
I think Kia, there's like ghetto self drives on like Mercedes and Audi. I think a Neo has it, but I don't know if they got those in the States. GM, yeah. No news choppers over the scene. I haven't, dude, I haven't checked. Finally got my first L right there. Let me check Twitter. Rainbow Bridge. Is there like a live feed? I'm surprised. Wait, nobody got a live feed of it? Let me double check that. Mm, uh, Rivian? Yeah, I think they have it. Rainbow Bridge Live. Looking at flight apps now. Global AD, ADSB. What's that? Is that like a, like a stop? I don't know if this is because they, they got live feeds of this, but like this thing's empty. This ain't Rainbow Bridge. It's like Peace Bridge. I can't read that translation. What's Peace bit Peace Bridge? Is this it? And then nothing's moving right now probably because of what happened. I don't know if I'm tripping. They closed all four international crossings in New York. Hmm. But that, my friend, that is the thing. Those are random. I think, I mean, there's a peace bridge, nothing on Rainbow Bridge, but I'm surprised there's not like a live coverage over this. But I think the problem is literally what we were saying here all day is that I don't think... I don't think people know if it's a terrorist attack now and then nobody wants to say it and cover it. Especially, dude, but day before Thanksgiving, are you kidding me? And then you want to have America and then Black Friday and then you want to tell me you got car bombs going off in New York? Like, what the fuck? So, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Rainbow at Niagara. Buffalo Airport released a statement five minutes ago. They're doing security checks on all cars coming into airport. Israel military says we don't know when the ceasefire will take effect, but the army is ready. Spy moved up a little bit. It's unclear if there are any injuries. Yeah, that was earlier. It's just, again, I think we don't know if it's a terrorist attack now. But this is one of those rare events. The market is not even reacting at all. So, possible gray swan. I mean, it could be a black swan depending on, on what happens. I mean, this one doesn't seem like it. I don't know how many injuries or anything, but I do think that it's uh, it's just kind it's just negative perception. I mean, imagine the world and everything going on right now. You know what I'm saying? So, if we get down to, uh, if like I'm saying, day before Thanksgiving, Black Friday, the holidays, Israel, Palestine, and now you have domestic terrorist attacks, I mean... It just in the grand scope of things, it's not good. Witnesses said the car looked like it was going over 100 miles an hour. Uh, maybe it was an EV that didn't have brake. Maybe then. What if it was just an out-of-control EV? So again, nobody knows what this is. We have no idea what this is. Hmm. The Toyota brakes issues or just every Tesla running into something. Mm -hmm. The Tesla, we got to short it. Hey, bro, I'm going to liquidate you. What does that mean? Mm. 
they think it was a Chrysler. Ah, not the the, you know, not the one, not the Tesla, no EV. How many time is it? Ten fifty-five. I'm already. I'm honestly. I'm already bored of the two K. I just. I just got my three. I got three games in there. Three mini games. That was. That was actually kind of good, man. And now nothing else has happened. The news on YouTube, just don't type the word live, type Rainbow Bridge. But is it live? Mm. Long term. I don't want to work. I don't want to do anything right now. You know, I'm, I'm, I want to enjoy my vacation. And I hope you guys do too. But I don't want to do anything where I have to think too much unless it thinks for me. AKA uh, the market moves or all of that, but I don't think we will. We got we got to get rest. We got to do a little bit more coming into tomorrow. Mm. Oh, I see one. Yeah, I see one channel investigating it. He has a thousand people, but a good thumbnail. But he's just going on Twitter. Oh, you guys can't see it because the 2K. <laughs> Why can't I hear anything? So that's all. That's all there is. This is the only like feed of whatever it is. They blacked out some of the traffic cams because it's either this is not a big deal or it's a really big deal. That's kind of the dilemma with this type of situation. Two men in the car that exploded are dead and one border patrol is injured, according to Fox. An eyewitness claim is going 100. Biden spoke with president-elect of Argentina, Malay, to congratulate him and discuss the importance of continuing strong bilateral relationship. All those other live streams, you can't rewind. They turned off DVR. You emailed the Niagara traffic cam site? Let's see. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, they blacked out the rainbow bridge. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Oh, Wait, what do we got here, bro? The Niagara Street approaching Rainbow Bridge. Damn, bro, what site is this, Tim? He's not gonna. I'm not gonna get hacked. Yo, that first one just came up though. Oh, I don't think is it not gonna open up again? This is the only one that's working, I think. FBI investigating Rainbow Bridge vehicle attempt as attempted terrorism attack. Fox News citing unnamed sources. So now Fox is the first one to say it. You're getting one official uh you're getting one official like place saying potential terrorist attack. So this is yeah, bro. Look at this is empty. So all the other bridges leading into everything are empty. We'll go back to that other. That other camera would look like the only thing. Dude, look at nothing's happening. You see all the lights up here though? This Niagara Street approaching Rainbow Bridge. You said it. Well, I said it, but I'm not like, again, I'm not a, I'm not Fox News or anybody out there. So, you know, you got to wait for that type of, yeah, there, here's the only other live video. There's cops here. This is the best we could get to like anything else besides pictures. Just whatever else is happening here. Source is high level police is what I'm saying. FBI statement was 42 minutes ago and now they're updating it saying that 
again, there's no other videos. Like, so these are all the pictures we had in the beginning. No other updates. A lot of black SUVs. Vonda, I'm going to add you to the wall of shame unless you could confirm that. So I'm not going to ban you or time you out, but this has been a new policy. I've been adding people to the wall of shame and copying, pasting their username and their message. So then that way, too, if you think I'm like weird, you know, I can uh, I could say I here's my evidence and go back for it. So all there. So unless you could prove that uh, that's bad joke, bro. Bad joke. Mm hmm. Oh, they already deleted you. Well, yeah, it's going to add it. I think it's I kind of like the I haven't posted it publicly yet. That's kind of the that's kind of the good part. So for now, it's just for me, but it's good. It's good. Black Swan. But look at the mark. Nothing's happening, but I don't know if it's going to be a black swan as much as like, what does this lead to? And then the fear level oil already rocketed off of it. Which, again, there was a couple of factors that played into that. How large is the wall of shame? Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have somebody. I have their username, side eye, with continued side eye after being nice. Somebody, uh, bad jokes on Jewish people with their name next to it. Somebody pumping TLT, uh, somebody giving side eye uh, over 2K, and again, nice too, and then they continued to be negative. Uh, other one made an error, uh, said it was a spelling mistake, but said something extremely inappropriate. Uh, somebody pumped a fake Google OpenAI purchase. Uh, somebody side eye only on red days and only provides info when market is red. Smart dude, just emotional. Uh and then somebody made, uh, again, unserious comment towards sugar babies uh, after we had a serious com conversation. Uh, and then somebody set me up with a uh, Matt Rife setup for controversial issues. And then now somebody saying Fox News blamed it on black people. Smart dude, just emotional. Yeah, why not? I mean, I feel like it's for real, though. That's what I said. I mean, like, for real, like, very he's a smart person, but just... You could tell, like, it's clear the, the behavior will not change, but just emotional. So, yeah, so that I'm going to keep this for now the rest of my career. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could keep doing this, and I'm going to keep adding, and then eventually I'll post it publicly. Some of you have your names next to it. Some don't, but it's good. It's a good list. Checking a list. He's checking it twice. Going to find out who bought a long time. Wait, cause is it, this is the BBB wall of shame, yes. Mm -hmm. I think I'm clapped, but I think I'm back. They said, do you rap? I said, no, oh, 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 I do music. Mm -mm. You got clapped for sure. Bro, you've been banned here, bro. That's crazy. You're a band evader. Dang, Coop. I thought I thought you held it down, Coop. What the hell? You a possible band evader? Damn, Twitch just snitched on you, bro. Damn. I mean, I thought you were always the homie. That means you were. What did you do on the other account that got you clapped? Oh, that's crazy. Twitch just exposed you. Man, you probably got if you got banned on a burner and I didn't know. Oh man. You don't think I realized what happened? I'm here. I didn't get clapped. No, bro. Twitch don't lie. Possible ban evader. They got they got you, bro. Dang, nah, I know, I know the game. That means you got hit on a burner account, bro. That's cold, bro. <laughs> That's cold. Oh, man. Twitch does it. Oh, yeah, bro. There's a lot of tools on the back end. Mm -hmm. Can I see if I'm on the list? No, you're good. I mean, I just read off the list right now. 
So if that behavior associated with you, you're good. I didn't ban anybody for being on the list. I'm just going to document it all and have it. That's all. You know, just so then when you're like, well, Josh does this. And I'll be like, well, no, actually, this is exactly why in writing in the name at the moment it happened. So I already have an ex ex excellent memory, but now we'll, we'll, we'll make sure it's good. It's super simple. And some of y'all say out of pocket shit with your full government name. That's on you, dog. <laughs> like, what the hell? Mm -mm, chat HR, yeah. Yeah, Twitch is... Because Twitch was where the trolls, like, first started. Not, like, for me, but, like, on the internet, bro. Like, that's how it all, like... Mm-hmm. That's how they did it, bro. That's how they did it. Oh, wait, Twitch, you guys don't even... I didn't get rid of the 2K for you? My bad. Bro, what just happened here? There it is. Nothing's happened here on that. Yeah, I lagged for a little bit. They took down the other cameras, but all we all and then this camera's slow to get up, but yeah. This is literally the only camera from night again they have like street cameras but look at all of these are down this one's supposed to be down oh shit we shouldn't have clicked out of it oh uh, yeah never we might not be able to get it back no we good we good we good yeah this is the only one that they'll allow this happened at the bridge that connecting canada with new york since it's niagara i don't think i think they got it on lockdown Fox reporting, yeah, two dead and one injured. And then they said, again, they're saying high-level sources are saying they are investigating this as a possible terrorist attack. But technically, that's not confirmed, just according to sources. Coinbase at 109, we've had that up the whole time. Even NVIDIA is trying to climb, and the SPY, and the bonds. It's a Model 3? Mm-mm. I said, my second kid going to need another account set for congratulations, my friend. That's exciting. Another Chad, baby. And amen. What a great father. <laughs> Remember, think about the future. That was one of my favorites from yesterday. Which one was your favorite from the watch list yesterday? Which one? I don't know. Which principal? I, I, I like all of them, but that one I really think, uh, I hope, I pray that it does help, uh, you know, some people change the mentality. You know, like I was saying, just, uh, you know, when you think of something, like when you start thinking bigger than yourself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, uh, it, it leads to a good thing, you know, like for real, like at one point you're young, you're living life. If you're not thinking about the future, that's why kids helps a lot for, that's what makes people change. Cause like you, you, at one point in your life, you would have been fine living in a, you know, this house with just, you know, one type of food to eat, simple life, you play your games, you're happy, you know, but it's like when you do think and build for something bigger than you, it's 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 even better. I got banned on YouTube for not being happy. My eardrums got blown out while using headphones during Powell. I don't bother to speak in here except this one time to tell my story. That's good, but I mean, I hope you see. As a result, I got tired of banning, you know, the softies, so I gave you guys a warning now. So, you you know, you made your sacrifice, and I appreciate it. So I will thank you, and I do apologize if it caused any unnecessary harm to you. But at the end of the day, I mean, you your sacrifice allowed for some positive changes in the chat. So I, I hope you could take pride in that, you know. And then earmuffs were born, exactly. Earmuffs were born. But then again, too, it's also something, too, man. If you listen and you're here, spend the time with accounts, you know, try to communicate with me respectfully. Because uh, usually most people are just being little kids about it and they get banned. So I feel, man. I feel. But you got it. Overly nice, Josh. Am I being overly nice? I don't think I'm like being any. I'm just, that's it. I'll keep, I'm just telling you what it is, man. I'm telling you what it is. Like I told you, try to learn. Try to learn. Mm. 
you remember that guy? He didn't say my ears hurt. Uh oh. You're overly nice. I well, I honestly, I, I that's okay then. If I am overly nice, I'm down, because I don't operate in multiple modes. I either have really nice or really fucked up. So, you know, best way we could contribute to you or the channel. Uh, subscribe, like the video, and uh, tell YouTube to stop blocking us. But that's it, man. Just show love to the other chads, man. I think being a part of the community on a day-to-day -day basis goes a long way and just providing something good, man. So, you know, we never ask for anything. And, uh, again, I've been rewarded with uh, an awesome group of people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Car was going. I think it was a Tesla. Somebody said it's a three, but it was, it was a terrorist attack. I mean, again, we can't confirm it, but that is what they are saying. It's called being a decent adult human being. Amen. Amen. Mm -mm. But that's all, man. I think it's cool. And it's all positivity. You realize you weren't subbed? Yeah. Well, sometimes it'll unsub you from the channel. I've had that happen to a lot of people. So double check your subs. You'll be good. Bloomberg said it was a terrorist attack. So we got round two. That's crazy, bro. Ahead of Black Friday, day before Thanksgiving. Scars, baby. See, that's that's always welcome, but thank you, man. Thank you. Or nah. Oh, where's my horn? Sorry. There you go. There you go. Man, we did it. Did it. We did it, Joe. More explosive gear not set was found. That's crazy. Dude, we usually find them. I, I, I'm not playing it anymore. I played three games of 2K. I have the feet up. I got bored of 2K. That's what I'm saying. I mean, we were getting headlines. This little news situation is kind of heating up, but we're not getting one. I mean, again, if you want to try to make a play, if this leads into any fear or anything else, I mean, where's gold, actually? I feel like gold would be the better play because then if it brings back Israel fear, but then they're all, everything's still high. Oil would have been the better play earlier in the day. Your consistency on how to end the day with the horn, have my dogs recognize him when it's time to go out. That's kind of dope. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm highly intelligent and I get bored easily. I, that's maybe... Oh, yes! That's what I needed! Oh! Let's go! Bradley Frizzle in the peach, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Now you are now are you bored? Let's go. Hold on, baby. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's insane, bro. It's here. Never misses. Happy Wednesday. God bless you, Bradley Frizzle. Some of y'all, y'all should be thankful for the peach, man. I don't know. I'm very thankful, man. It's a blessing. Oh, God bless you, Bradley. They tell you talking about my consistency, and then the peach shows up. The peach said, don't forget about me, mother. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I thought my girl brought me some Chick-fil-A. Nah, I got the peach, baby. I got the peach. On break, you got me in here all seven hours, two and a half, uh, two for two and a half years. Working towards the day as I can be in the chat full time, providing info. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's a long term, long term real estate. The the right chase for the right events gonna get there. So let's do it, baby. You set the goal. Set the goal. <laughs> hey man, the icon of consistency. They don't know, bro. They don't know. They sleeping on it. They sleeping. They. Mm hmm. All right. Long term Long terms are cool man <laughs> You know it's cool And then it's just crazy how Like I'm saying man it sucks I think it's bittersweet though All the chads There's been a lot of like eye opening like realizations for the long term recently so I'm, I'm very grateful for that man i really hope you guys if if you feel like the long term has called to you answer it okay if you feel the long term whispers 
answer it to you, okay? That's all I'm saying. I feel like a lot of people, I don't know what happened here in the world. Some, you know, some people go forward, some people go backwards. But some of y'all, y'all really just, I don't know. It's like your your mindset just got shifted into this uh, appreciation of it. So I, I really hope y'all do that. If you already been running with the long term, we got we got more work, baby. So don't worry. You gonna download Fortnite now? Maybe I think we might play Fortnite tomorrow. I feel like that's a good Christmas or Thanksgiving game. How did that start with Bradley? I don't know. It just started, and then it kept going, and then it kept going, and then it never stopped. Y'all don't feel me, y'all. If you don't understand my excitement level, that if y'all thought fourteen days in a row of the market was crazy, yeah, try three years. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. it just started and he never quit. I don't think you real dude, it's amazing. Back when J Powell was new. Oh, they don't feel, bro. Yeah, they don't feel, bro. They don't feel you, dog. They don't feel I don't think they do. Some no, 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 no. It's just it's deep, it's deep, bro. It's deeper than rap. It's deeper than peach. They don't know, man. They don't know. They don't feel me. But I kinda wanna no, I'm over this shit, bro. I'm turning the 2K. I need I need my other monitor back. I'm so bad with only two monitors. It's crazy. Ah! There it is. Pin Duo Duo is Timu. Indeed. Shop like a billionaire, bro. Shop like a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that Timu ad was so weird. Remember last year? That was probably like one of the weirdest ones. Yeah, so here, yo. Tim sent me one of these. There's one camera... With uh, with DVR, like look at the but you oh, but like look, this is before it all. Like you see the car still moving. These guys stay stuck there, but then like after a couple minutes later, it just empties. So you don't you don't get any. There's no sound. You can't hear anything. But it's it's literally just uh, it just like was active and then it just died. So. I don't think we're going to get any clips from it, man. Unfortunately. Stellantis is recalling an estimated 32,000 market plug-in hybrid SUVs to resolve potential fire risk. Review of customer data led to internal investigation that discovered eight vehicle fires. Well, now my jokes all day today kind of hit a little harder, huh? <laughs> Stellantis is unaware of any related injuries or accidents. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. The Bible game brings strawberries. Bro, honestly, it's awesome, man. I mean, see, I mean, you've been even talking about it a lot, man. I love to see it. I love to see it. Who would have th who would have thought? Who would have thought? Something don't add up. I don't know if it's Stellantis or what, but it's a weird-ass day, man. Shit was already getting weird, but this just made everything just, like, real suspicious. Mm-mm. <laughs> Bro, you sold a $1.5 million house for $1.7 in 24 hours. Seven offers. Everything else in the neighborhood is stale, cold real estate, or bust. How, dude? Are you for real? Yeah, bro. Who? How are you selling anything in this market in 24 hours above asking? What the hell? That's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's really dope. Talk about a commission, too. They run it. That's a that's a nice commission check. I don't this is the same in Canada, right? You still get the two and a half. Someone won the lottery. 
So I just it's called real estate, man. They all doing it. We get the two five. Ooh, yeah. Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas. Bring it home. That's hype, bro. No way. Somebody was asking too. Uh, do you have anybody in Vancouver, or like, do you have anybody on the other side of Canada? They were asking. I said, I know, I know. You mad got Toronto, but I don't know about the other side. We got to help her buy too. Damn. Damn, son. Let's go, bro. Congratulations. That's what I'm talking about. You're in Vancouver. Bro, do you know, I I could go to Vancouver. You know, Vancouver is only like, it's like a three, four hour flight from LA or San Diego. It's crazy. You got somebody in Calgary, in Vancouver. I'm in Vancouver. Yeah, bro. But like, Vancouver is like close, bro. Like, I didn't know that. Like, I, I knew it, but I didn't. <laughs> like, it's close. I've never been to Canada. I really want to go. But, like, I want to go to Toronto. I don't want to go to Vancouver for my first time. I feel like that'd be awful. Black Swan. I don't, I honestly, the thing about this little uh, terrorist attack thing, I don't know if it's a black swan or not. You know, because it just made, that's why it could be a black swan because no, nothing's reacting and we don't know really anything about it and what it's going to lead to. But other than that, if if that doesn't turn into anything, just I, 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 I'd caution you to pay too much attention to it. SPDR good play. Is that one of those uh what's it called? Oh uh, like I thought it was a different version of the spy. If you want to buy spy, yeah, keeps it simple. US president calls Qatari Amir to thank him for mediation between Israel and Hamas. <laughs> so we have a terrorist attack in New York and Joe Biden is calling the president of Qatar and be like, "Yo man, thanks for helping us with the Middle East conflict so far. Whoever is to speak on Fox is relating the Israel 1989 explosion. Hmm. Take your girl to Edmonton. Biggest mall has hotels, casinos, water slide. Really? That sounds dope. Hmm. It's not dope. Oh, what? <laughs> are you talking about Edmonton or are you talking about Toronto? You know, Qatar could be pronounced Cater. All I know is it's Qatar. But when I started saying Qatar, all the white people were telling me it's Qatar. And then now if you say Qatar, everyone's like, it's Qatar. And I'm like, okay, y'all are crazy. Right when you said you did the shrooms, it just turned into a cool story, bro. <laughs> Boo. Like I said, don't tell me the stories. Don't tell me the stories. Keep them to yourself. Otherwise, I'm going to just clown you. And you know why, too, Benny. You actually know the damn reason. So, nah, not, not down. Not down. I've done shrooms, yeah. But it's not. I would never touch it again. No offense if you lose Edmonton. Hey, man, I'm down. Hotel hack for the Chads who are on stream. Yeah, let's do it. So I told you guys, all you have to do, you go to the hotel website, and then once you find the room that you want, you put it in the cart.
and then you'll see that and then once you hit hit that button and then you don't need a discount code or anything but then when you are checking out you got to go to And then that's it. Super simple. I don't know why y'all do it. I love you. I know we disagree. Shrooms changed your life. Respectfully, no, it didn't. <laughs> I'm standing on business now, man. It didn't. If y'all drink water, y'all took care of yourself. If you, st but the I told you this. It's fake. It's fake strength. If you needed something to bring about something in you, it's not real. Let's just call it what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's it. It's just it's what it is. But yeah, that's the that's the hack. You guys got it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Dude, I said the other day, I'm like, think about it. That's not real. Like, like that's that's a crutch, if anything. But hey, man, do you I don't like like I'm saying, just I'm not for the young kids. I don't want to promote it. Uh, that's all. And I think people should know the, the real reality. I've heard people say a lot of good things about it, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's that just doesn't vibe uh, again, especially if like personal development, if you really are somebody who wants to like grow and cares about real growth, I just, it's just it does not align. It just does not align in any way, shape or form. Again, you know, like uh, what what is the ego death if you had to stimulate it? Is it real? I don't think so, uh, unfortunately. Hmm. a different experience for guys on the uh in mountain i'd like i'll take a look into it mm -mm. scientifically been proven they scientifically told you to wear a fucking mask and scientifically told you that certain things didn't your natural body and so whatever you want to say i feel y'all do you know what i'm saying but do what you need if that's what you if you want to believe it, you want to live like that, it's, I don't care. Like I say, and I just, I don't like, I don't respect it. Like, you know, I love Benny. That's why I'm saying, even then, Benny, you bring it up to him. I'm like, cool story, bro. <laughs> if you got to tell people and all of it, I'm, I'm always going to, like, I just don't respect it. I, I really, I, I think it is a, uh, it's very, very low quality, but also it's damaging to a lot of people. That's all. Mm hmm. Does it make sense? You can't build muscles without amino acids. Can't reach certain mental states. Okay, man, take fucking shrooms to get protein then. Go ahead. Is your brain a muscle, your mental health? No. Y'all know what it is, man. And even then, if you take supplements and you stop doing them, it fades away. It's the same fucking shit. Take creatine, you're not really strong. You're not really that swole. Stop drinking water. Don't take creatine for a week. What happens? Now you're just fat. <laughs> you know so again y'all if you have i just notice is that when you if you got to like fight to defend it bro okay and then and that's the next thing bro and then people it's just like i don't a lot of people aren't honest with their with their shroom shit like i'm saying and, and you're not it's just we live in a world today when it's all mainstream too you can't even talk about the negatives of something because people don't hear it and they don't publicize it and it's hidden. And then if it's negative, it's there, you know, it's crazy. So triggered. I'm so triggered right now. You have no idea, bro. I can't contain it. I'm, I'm losing it right now. Arr, you got me. In the words of Uncle, he said, I was young and fucking rich, so have fun. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit. I've, I'm taking every opportunity to speak to the young, wise people. That's it. If you're old and you already made dumb decisions, fucking that's your life. I'm speaking to the young guys who still have it in their spirit to listen to good things and want the best in the best type of life and are willing to listen to somebody or something not even trying like what do i get out of telling you this except for looking like an old boomer nothing 
But I don't care. Again, some of y'all, it's a lost cause. I'm not here for you. I'm here for the young guys. That's why I said the young generation, I have faith in them. I believe those 18 year olds, the 19, 20, 25, the people who listened, who have been, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's who I'm speaking to. So you're an old dude already doing shrooms, bro. Fuck yeah. Go ahead. Live your life, dog. <laughs> But the young guys, I hope you you hear what it is. And if you've heard any of my other wisdom and you've heard other things I've talked about and you respect it, I hope you see, like I just say, and it's not, go ahead, choose, you have different routes in life. Cho choose your own, my friend, choose your own. Mm -mm. I think it's, I mean, come on. If you're calling me triggered about it, like I hope you get where I'm coming from though, for real. You've already made up your mind. I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, for real, I give up on the old guys who don't, like, uh, the boomers. You may not even be a boomer, but I, I do I do give up on that. Oh, no, I'm not trying to attack you. I apologize. If you feel attacked, I'm not I'm not trying to. Like I'm saying, you. I answered your question. You said I didn't say that. So let's just call it a misunderstanding. But I it did open up the opportunity for me to say that. But you calling me triggered about something and insinuating, that's also disrespectful. So if you're going to say I'm attacking you, please understand where you're coming from as well. Because I was not triggered. And I'm, like I'm saying, I'm trying to communicate to a young generation and people who want to listen. So that's it. Uh, if you never said, well, it's cool. It seems like at this point, though, Sam, we have a lot of miscommunication. So let me be the first one to tell you. I apologize. I hope you don't let it turn into something else. I'm not adding you to a BBB list for that. But then again, if you don't want to listen to what I'm saying and how I'm trying to tell you, it opens up the door for me to say it. And and again, it's not about you, but it does bring up a good point where like I, I truly believe I've given up on the old people or older people who do not want to listen. If you have your mind made up, God bless you. It's the same thing like when I speak Jesus stuff, I'm not, you know, I ain't here for that. But in general, it's just, hey, the young guys, there's still people I think who have hope and, and want to listen and want to maximize everything. And maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think telling people to stay away from hallucinogenics is going to hurt them in life. Uh, <laughs> you know, so that's it. Josh getting triggered when asked if he's triggered. No, I'm not. I didn't say, I didn't complain. Again, somebody's telling me, they're like, you're attacking me. I'm saying, no, you came at me, but at the same time, like, I, it's a misunderstanding. So you tell me, bro, y'all could keep, y'all live a live the world. The internet's not real. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have these conversations with people. You go back and forth. All that matters, the decision and the consequence of what you have, and only you will deal with it. So... Y'all could get mad. Y'all could get sad about it. You could say, Josh attacked me. Josh apologizes to you. Josh don't like what I did. I'm not, I don't judge you if you do it, but like I'm saying, like, dude, I'm, I'm not, if you are a grown adult and made your decision, why do you care what I'm saying? When people tell me God's not real, I don't care. I made my decision. I'm an adult. So are you. So the young guy's still on the fence. I got your back. And, and again, do whatever you want. But, you know, I, I do hope you, uh, you still got ears to hear. So, amen, bro. Y'all don't, y'all gotta see the vibes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, it's not all you gotta do is just live your life, go for wisdom, and that's it. Point was saying there's no meaning in the chemical intake, garbage is garbage. All right, thank you. There it is, Chad. You can read it, you can see where it stands, where Sam's at, and good talk. Nice. You got food poisoning, and you're, you're 14. That's good, bro. See, that's what that's who I'm talking to. Again, some of y'all have kids at that age too, but hell yeah. Hell yeah. But amen, bro. Making a salmon wellington. Dude, do you know what I had for the first time? I had a beef wellington. Spy's coming down now. It's 2.30. Still got a lot of time. Hmm. Short, well, you could short Ar Argent. There's like Argentina ETF. There's the big Argentina companies. You're barely moving though. Well, that is uh, about six points from right above VWAP. They could be worried about the terrorist attack now. Like I said, we don't know. It's a weird day. Apple and tech is starting to drop. I'd watch gold. If gold starts popping, then there you go. Ah, maybe. If gold starts moving, oil's already up, and then stocks start going down, then people will be freaking out about said attack or, or whatnot. But then there's going to be a nice little delay, though. There was a terrorist attack in New York. So, again, I think it, it's safe to say it's confirmed now at this point, but the bridge between Canada 
and New York, the, uh, what was it called? Not the Peace Bridge, the uh, Rainbow Bridge. It is, uh, it got uh, exploded with a car. A car ran into it or exploded and then went boom. Two people died, one injured, and then they're saying they're investigating it as a terrorist attack. Possible attack. They failed badly. It was killed themselves. I think, yeah, they injured one people, but one person, but UVXY is starting to move now. I think maybe some people might be freaking out right now. We'll see. Uvixi, multiple border guard injury. I think it's just the message, though. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's just the timing, bro. Ceasefire, little deal, and then you have everything else, bro. It's it's crazy. Thanksgiving, black, then a big holiday season. That they're comfortable with. And so, again, we need more information. We need to gather more data. Um, but, you know, I, I do think this sort of has the feeling of being more organized than simply a lone wolf. Hmm. Uh, so we've got a little bit more. I don't know if it's really, you could call it clarity, because we're not exactly sure it doesn't spell it out directly, but Pete Buttigieg, uh, the Transportation Secretary, says, I've been briefed by our staff in New York State. I sold the SPR. The I took a 190 loss. Bridge closures on the U.S.-Canada border, and am in touch with my Canadian counterpart. Travelers in the area should follow instructions and updates from law enforcement and state officials on travel impacts. Um, still unclear whether or not anything more than the rainbow bridge is closed it's also it's kind of strange that fran we're looking at live pictures here of what looks like the aftermath you see some debris in the road you see what looks like Bro, a fire we're starting to jump now. i think people road. are starting but to no freak out about this other than that i don't i don't know if uh everybody has been evacuated from that that's area a big ass cheek lane until, now uh you know explosives and hazmat teams Commit or not. Whoa, but you're dumping, again, bro. Again, let me just come back to this because we, we have seen in in the past, you know, significant, if you're targeting something with a vehicle-borne improvised explosive device, it's typically some sort of landmark type of, of target. Mm -hmm. To do this at a border crossing seems a little unusual. And, and you wonder, was this vehicle destined for somewhere else? They felt like they were trapped. They decided to go for what they could. They pulled the trigger on it. Were they coming in from Canada? Were they in the United States? I mean, does it seem to you like a, 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 a customs kiosk at an international bridge would be a logical target? No. And so, again, this is why I say we'll, we'll get more information as we get, you know, as, as law enforcement is further into the investigation. It may very well be that the intended target was inside the United States. Look. Cut her off. Oh, There's the thanks, there are thanks, parades all over. And yeah. so you, d you never know where that target could have been. Yeah. I, you know, as we saw some years ago, and I, I think that you. Yeah. So, dude, I think the market's starting to hit this. Authorities in Buffalo are now searching for a second vehicle involved in the terrorists. So there's another vehicle at large. Oh, my God. I think the market is starting to hit this a little bit. So, again, like we were saying, if you wanted to take it, you could have. I'm kind of starting to get, wait if we get a pop, if it don't pop, but you might start getting some free. I'm going to go to MES. Short side at the bottom. I'm here to save the market, baby. Because if I short it at the bottom, this shit's going to bounce immediately or we really got a problem on our hands. But I said I'd wait till gold and... uh. I said I'd wait till gold and uh, the VIX start popping off. There you go. I'm at it. If that don't, if that don't hold it up, man, we'll see. They're a terrorist attack in New York, but now they're saying there's a second vehicle.
They act fast. We should act slow. We should. They were acting slow. That's the thing. Right now, everything is still moving very, very slow. Like we said, you had this opportunity, and then we had to do. We had an hour of talking about this with no reaction. All right, there you go. I saved the. I saved the market. I'm down seven bucks on. I got. It came up a little bit. I told you. I told you. A new. There was a terrorist attack in New York, uh, at the border crossing bridge, and then now there's discussion of a second vehicle that they're looking for. You're short, my bad. I had to save the market. Mm -hmm. They were going to do something tomorrow and got caught. Probably. Nah, so that's what I'm saying. This is weird. If it breaks down from here, we're, we might have a problem. And it's not really about the levels, but more so... This is a fear type of move, if you guys get what I'm saying. Again, if VIX starts going up, I think it kind of rocketed up. You see, if that starts going, you already have oil and anything related to, like, the Middle East. So, kind of a problem. We are going to see. Buy the fear... Yes and no. It's not like the <laughs> the fear doesn't offer you a discount. You know what I'm saying? And bro, your brother's chill, man. I I, I talked to my sister. I asked. I was like, "Do you know this dude?" She said, "Yeah, but it's not the other. The other boyfriend is way way whack." So you good, dog? God bless you. But yeah, I don't think it's too big of a discount. Like I'm saying, the only risk is that we break out from like all time highs. But at the end of the day, we do have to. Uh, I just I just think it's kind of a weird event. So it could you could rock it up 20 points. That's why I took the short. If I short at the bottom, goes back up, you'll lose like 10, 20 points, not too much. Maybe I'll lose like 80 bucks, 100 bucks. And then if it goes down, though, I mean, I think the better risk to reward is to the downside. But Or the best option is don't react like we were doing for the first hour and a half. Because, again, just days like today, the computer's not too not too hot. Hmm. Ready for the border arguments? Dude, get ready for the holiday. What's this going to do to Black Friday? Y'all already didn't want to go Black Friday shopping. And now you're telling me there was a terrorist attack two days before and then potentially another terrorist at large? That's that's a Black Friday black swan, bro. I don't think that's... I, then again, it, it depends how if like Americans actually are fearful of it, but I don't I don't know if they will be. But that otherwise, if this does escalate... That's what I was saying earlier. Just like it could be a big problem, but for now, no one's really react. I saved the damn market, bro. I got you. I got you, bro. Let's still climb. Oh, yeah, and Coop, bro, you got banned. So it doesn't matter if you can't access the other account, though. You said you were looking for – you just got banned, bro. That means you had another account and you got banned. So that's – you know, I love you, so I won't I won't make a big deal of it, but it, it is suspicious. You You have been banned. I know you got a very good standing on the YouTube. That's why. That's why it's kind of odd. But yeah, you're good. If I wouldn't have gone short, you guys would have been seeing, you know, Black Friday. Wait, no, it is Black Friday. Black Friday's the actual name. Wait. Mm. What's the over under Biden saying out go out and shop? Don't let the terrorists stop you. Come out, we're America. We buy. We keep shopping. Doesn't matter. They wanna say wanna shoot us down. They wanna blow up cars, it don't matter. We buy. We buy the dip, we buy, we buy, we buy, we buy, we buy silly bands, we buy everything. Come on. Yeah, people were saying there was like terrorist attack or terrorist threats leading into the whole event, so we'll see. Gold Damn, man. I mean, <laughs> was it this week or was it the beginning of this week or was it last week? Like, we literally, uh, what's it called? 
weren't we just saying like kids falling in love with Osama bin Laden's letter? <laughs> and now we have this like, come on. Just not to mention the schedule of the holiday. That's so crazy. They were trying to do they're trying to do a Thanksgiving attack, it seemed like. That's nuts. Four law enforcement officials told Tom Winter, Jonathan, for New York, that no explosions were found. The vehicle that crashed into the Buffalo area checkpoint caused still to be determined. Uh-oh. So do we have competing claims now? So if it's not a terrorist attack, then you buy the dip. Then we're going to rock it up to pump it up. If that does somehow. But, I'm, but I do believe most people at this point are saying... It is a terrorist attack. That was an Algo sell-off. But I don't know. I think it was Algo mixed with Peep. Somebody also moved. Because we had the headlines for an hour. Even the terrorist attack stuff was like right here. But the, these just... One thing kind of led to a, to another there. Yeah. All right, guys. I love you. God bless you. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, you know, the Rainbow Bridge, which I first came across as a kid on a school trip when I was 10 years old, because I remember my dollar was from Canada was worth a dollar seven in the United well, States. You, you never expect that it's going to happen there. Well, and that's why you have to be prepared for all eventualities. I mean, I remember everybody who worked in counterterrorism post 9-11. That was the discussion that we had throughout the Bush administration and, and into the early Obama administration was how do we prevent a terrorist attack uh, from coming across either border from our southern or northern border. Let me see. I could get let me see if I get the CNN. I'll give for both of you so everybody could get some because I want to see who's saying what. All right, guys, I love you. I close out the short $30 loss. M.E.S. Just in case I don't make it home tonight. I'm going to close my play for the last time, baby. The attack already worked. One of the busiest traffic days of the year. Now everyone's freaking out at bridges. It, it, that's what they were saying. They said it's really weird. They said it's weird that that is where they went. But then, I mean, maybe they probably just got caught ahead of time. And then that's it. Hmm. The video dump in market came down a little bit, but that's it. If it's still hold it, like I want dumping. If you start getting dumping candles, then people freaking out. Maybe the only other thing I go for is GLD, but that's actually kind of expensive. Mm. Yeah, wait. I still have the arc. Those things killed it this morning, bro. And then they came back down a little bit, but they they had a almost. I think they had shown like two something on the bid this morning. Video of the explosion up. You can't see the car. say
you care too much about this explosion. Nothing to do with the market. Confusing yourself. I disagree. Uh, when was the last time you had a terrorist attack in America? And then on top of it now, the next issue is just there's nothing else going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, there's just nothing else going on. I want to make a trade, but I just don't want to get trapped by a computer when nothing's happening. But I have a I have a good idea, but I don't. I oh, how much time do we have? We got one hour. Share mm. idea. I can. And then I kind of want to take it because last time I shared you guys a good idea, it hit. <laughs> I'm thinking gold. I'm thinking buy gold till end of the day. Because if, if somebody freaks out, gold goes up. Even if we bounce, rate cuts, bonds, gold is going to go up anyways with everything where it holds. There is downside. That's the only problem. But gold, that's the that's the way I'm looking at it. CNN saying not sure. That's why I wanted to get the CNN because I'm like, I feel like there's a... I feel like there's a little bit of a of, of kind of a debate on this right now. We got some people saying it's uh some people saying it's a terrorist attack, some people saying it's not. That's what we were worried about earlier. You guys dude, I'm going to do it for you guys. Fuck yeah. You guys are going to have a rare opportunity to see what it's like when I go Sorts to the gym. Of, uh, it's a very gray area of I love what it. was their intent. What were, were they simply trying to get to the other side and slip through? You guys get this. So I love it. Side by side. In an area where they normally You would. do side by side CNN and, and Fox, bro. It's the funniest. Bro, I was showing this CNN. Oh, CNN. Bro, Tim. Me and Tim got this. Bef Come on. That was actually all Tim. I, I was just a reporter. But look at, I love, look at the, like, you read the headlines. Like, that's the funniest thing. You put these two up at the same time, bro. And then I, I don't know if it's going to show us the commercials, but it's the funniest shit ever, bro. You show both of them side by side, bro. I love it. Like, again, CNN, two dead in car explosion on bridge at U.S.-Canada border. And then Fox, source, two dead after attempted terror attack. So you do have both. That's why it's like, let's, let's see how it develops. Car was loaded with explosive. Driver was trying to drive toward cuts. That's what it says here. Let's see. We'll listen to CNN for a little bit. You guys got to hear a little bit of Fox. I'll bounce back and forth between these two. Trigger all of you equally. Um, in, <clears throat> I'm not an expert on this, but it certainly could have been a saddle tank or a vehicle or something that caused that level of explosion. It wasn't a. Uh, it didn't appear to be, you know, a, 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 a huge. Uh, truck laden with explosives so uh this could very well be some type of medical situation or accident and it's really that that critical piece of information that the vehicle was on the u.s side going the other direction i think changes everything uh, josh campbell is uh still with us as well and and josh you sort of talked about how there are a lot of different players that are uh investigating this and, and overseeing the investigation uh does it complicate it at all that it's two separate governments, the U.S. and Canada, that are now having to come together to look at what happened at this border crossing? You know, that relationship, uh, both at a law enforcement level and an intelligence level, at a government-to-government -government level, oh, yeah, exactly. uh, is so strong. I mean, you have FBI agents that are assigned to Canada. You have uh, Canadian intelligence and law enforcement personnel assigned to the United States. And so these agencies are talking to each other daily on a host of issues, everything right, from you know, national security issues, uh, counterintelligence, I'm gonna uh, hold you know, it till end crime, of the day. border smuggling, those types of things. Those relationships exist uh, Not overnight. situations just like this, when you need to quickly get on the phone in order to call your counterpart to share information and so that would be happening very quickly uh, and again you know obviously Canadian authorities want to know why this vehicle was attempting to enter their country uh, and if these individuals were actually from Canada that would be information that obviously US authorities would want to know and so it is seamless when you're talking about the US and that Canadian relationship um, and you know in the US as well there's the Joint Terrorism Task Force that every FBI field office has uh, that you know speaking of relationships has a number of uh, law enforcement personnel 
personnel from various different agencies assigned to that JTTF for the very same reason that when something happens, you want to be able to bring to bear all of the resources. I grabbed a GC contract. I went with gold. I told you that was my idea there. So it's a little bit bigger, but I'm going to close no matter what at the end of the day. No matter what, I don't want to, I'm not going to hold that one overnight. And, and it, you know, as I was Just mentioning for earlier, the U.S. intelligence community, they don't publicize their role in a, in a lot of these things, but um, their databases would also be searched. If there's some kind of identifier, you know, the name. So that is, uh, that's CNN. Let's, let's go back to Fox. Here, because God forbid this is more sophisticated. You do have more than one event. Yeah. Um, you know, the follow on effects so could, be, could be significant, especially when and, you consider and, where we are. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Okay, now both at the same day. time. Certainly I don't think any of that is next. To determine, is there derogatory yeah, and that information is the big question. That's yeah, yeah. Take, take it all in. 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 Take it Take it in. Take it in. Take it in. Welcome to America. All the news. Who do you listen to? Oh my gosh, everybody's saying this. Take it all in. Oh, Justin Trudeau. NSIA and the Minister of Public Safety, CBSA, RCMP, and Transport Canada are all fully engaged in providing the necessary support. There are a lot of questions. Questions, and we are following up to try and get as many answers as rapidly as possible. Uh, we are in close contact with U.S. officials and we'll continue to work closely with them. You know, uh, uh, there, oh. there's good indications here, Paul, that this vehicle did come across uh, the border from Canada. But when you look at the major cases of terrorism in this country. See, they're talking terrorism. They're like, well, maybe it's bursting into flames oh. on impact. We'll, of course, keep you up to speed with the very latest details on this. We're going to take a short break. Stay All with right. CNN. We're back in just moments. All right, CNN, there you go. Mm -mm. I think people watch. Yeah, it's there's just nothing again. Like, it's funny, though. They're using the same clips that we had access to. I'm trying to find like updates on it. But then now the weird part is that we didn't know it was happening at first. Then Fox comes on and then people are saying sources say it's a terrorist attack. And then you have CNN saying, well, maybe it's not a terrorist attack. And then everybody's still now debating and we have not heard. And then some people even said there's a possible another car. So we'll see. You want all of them at the same time? <laughs> Josh, C Josh AI, CNN and Fox. That'd be crazy, bro. That'd be crazy. Mm. Can't be terrorist if it was terrorism with explosives. Why wouldn't they use it? I feel that's what people are saying. They're saying, why would you, uh, why the fuck would you go to a border crossing and, and do like literally they, there was the deaths were probably the drivers. Uh, everybody else just got injured. But then again, there's like the possibility that they, kind of were planning something for not today and then in the process just kind of moved up the plans and that's it yeah this only happened two hours ago and all the evidence was burned i mean again there's some people did say there's a potential another vehicle but then again that always happens you know and everything we don't they always say uh, something at large but we'll see but it is very recent the market didn't respond it's still not responding that's why i say like we made a little trade that's it. $30 loss, but I'm thinking gold, if anything, really is going to happen. Otherwise, we wait, and then tomorrow's over, and that's it. Tomorrow's not open, and then Friday, Black Friday. Well, that, like, Black Friday, like the holiday. The market is open on Friday. Yeah, half day. Half day. Strange is they were driving from USA to Canada. Yeah, very weird. What if they were just trying to go back to Canada to get supplies and then their autopilot malfunctioned? <laughs> they were in a Tesla and then Elon thwarted their plans unknowingly by creating a glitchy autopilot. That could have happened. I could have. He said, brother, look at this. Watch autopilot. And then that's it. He just, he forgot. You're supposed to only use it on freeways. A big distraction. No, not a dis I, I wouldn't call it a distraction now. We have nothing to focus on. <laughs> that's the thing. Someone was just saying like, no, nah, this doesn't matter. But like, you got to think about it. 
if that event didn't happen, what would we be talking about right now? You, you know what I'm saying? We would be sitting here. The spy would just stay at the VWAP, and then uh, we'll be uh, we'll be good there. <laughs> like it, it just would have been nothing. And yes, we are having Colts giving tomorrow. You would still I got over the two K, but yeah. Mm. What gives the label terrorist attack? Oh, I forgot. That is kind of contentious, huh? But I think it depends on if you attack people in your intention, I guess. <laughs> I think a lot book boils down to intention. Yeah, stop the market from staying pinned, but then again, I mean, this all isn't that exciting still. <laughs> it's still in the mid. We're doing a lot of talking. Remember, it, we were talking about it for an hour before there was a reaction, so we'll see. Biden briefed on vehicle explosion. One Border Patrol officer, I'm told, was also injured in that explosion. Bro, my CNN Minor won't injuries work at this time. There's been conflicting like reports, as you've traced, been seeing here because it's all it developing, so dead. things change here, and they're doing their best to now, figure it out. But what we were told is that now it's a car that was traveling from so the United CNN States now has into Canada. One high-level source telling me that they tried to tell that driver to then go into the other lane so they could get a closer look at the vehicle. And then when they were told to switch lanes so they could investigate the car a little further, that's when they tried to veer head on into that CBP area. And there were officers inside of that building. So why that border uh, patrol area was picked as possibly a target, we're not sure just yet. I asked if the two people in the car who are now both dead trace were known to police. They said there's pretty much nothing left right of that vehicle. So it's going to take a while to identify who these people were. Was there a license plate on that car? Was it from the United States? Was it from New York license plate? I asked that. They're not able to find out because that thing was blown to smithereens. How many explosives are in that car? That's still to be seen at this time. And they're also calling in some hazmat crews, I'm told, because they don't know exactly all was in that vehicle. Another breaking detail we want to get to you right now as you see these live pictures there on your screen in that aftermath is that they're possibly Bro, looking you can't for a see second it? vehicle that was involved in this explosion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you guys see the video feed for CNN or do you only see a black screen? What the hell? This is the trippiest thing ever. Wait, do you guys see? Wow, that's it's not a black screen on mine. I just looked over at the OBS. What the hell? That's weird. Do they have like an algo to stop it? Mm -mm. Okay. Mango burrito. You have added yourself to the BBB list. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're not getting banned. You're not getting a timeout. But you are added to the BBB. Wall of shame, my brother. God bless you. With your comment next to your name. Oh, no. Yeah, bro. Is CNN in here? Are they like, bro, that's trippy as hell. All right, come on. He's also insisting that the uh, Dude, war, this is wild. the effort to try to destroy Hamas in Gaza will continue. Uh, all this uh, happening just hours before this exchange is. Yeah, bro. I can't do it, bro. I can't. I uh, Dude, it's playing on my screen, but it won't show it for you guys. Whoa. That's, I've never seen that in my life. Um, it worked for a little bit. No way. Describe it. <laughs> I'm laughing because I was ready to describe. It. I was like, I don't think I could say that. Uh, but no, I don't. I think I get banned for my descriptions. Old white dude talking about like I don't know Wolf Blitzer. That's how I dis That's how I've defined CNN. <laughs> a concrete uh, obstacle that is put in, uh, in front of the booths to protect the booths so that cars can't just smash into the booths. Apparently, this vehicle hit that obstacle intended to protect the booth. That's why the 27-year-old CPB agent who was in the booth at the time, he was injured, but thankfully he is in the hospital in stable condition.
You know, this attack, as we've been reporting, comes right after FBI Director Christopher Wray last week warned about a potential terrorist attack right here on our soil because of the Israeli-Hamas war. He uh, appeared before and testified at the House Homeland Security Committee, and he named Hamas, and he said Hamas or another terrorist group could launch an attack right here. We also cannot and do not discount the possibility that Hamas or another foreign terrorist organization may exploit the current conflict to conduct attacks here on our own soil. States, our most immediate concern is that violent extremists, right, individuals or small groups, will it's draw inspiration from the, the events in the Middle East to carry out attacks against Americans. These are all, I'm, that's why I was playing the news lives. stations, because, like, well, obviously, uh, they're not, not really getting too much talk this about this. This was indeed a radical there. Islamic terrorist attack. Who is behind this if those are just individuals as the... F so, yeah, I think, that's, I think that's enough Fox News for the day. It is power hour now, Chad. So, there you go. Whoa, what's plus 5,000? Thank you for all you do. Bottle for the family on me, baby. Listen, man, my brothers and sisters, they'll they'll drink it, but my mom is going to say haram, but I'm down. You know what I'm saying? Horn, I'll get me an apple cider, baby. You know I love apple cider. Thank you, my friend. Smealy doink. Oh, man, God bless you. Amen. Hey, you know I love apple cider, bro. I love apple cider. Like sparkling apple cider, bro. Non-alcoholic, bro. It's so good. Mm -mm. Why would your say why would your mom say haram if y'all are Christian? No. Cause it's a word. It's not a, a what's it called? It's not like, you know, the word haram, Allah. It's not reserved only for Islam. Uh, believe it or not. So although like a small population of Middle Easterns are Christian, uh it's a it's Arabic. <laughs> you know, it's it's all it's all Arabic. Yeah, Martinelli, bro, I love it. You have no idea. Mm -hmm. Here come Chicle. The gold play is working for now. The so gold's hitting a little baby high on the like hour or so, but other than that. Like I don't know if I'm gonna go try to short the market again, but the the we calmed down. Those first big candles after nothing were big, and now we're chilling. Yeah, not, no more Fox or anything. We're gonna hear it. Just it happened a couple hours ago. We need more updates, but again, I, I feel like even some of y'all y'all ready to move on from it too. You said screw that man. I got tryptophan on the way. He gave you five thousand. That's equivalent to fifteen. No, it what? No fucking way. I've never seen 5,000. I've That's the fucked up part. I have no way to know what the fuck a, a bit on Twitch means. That's ins If it is, bro, that's insane. If you really be doing that. Like, I, I don't know if I could accept that, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's a... Oh, uh, it's 50 bucks? Okay, 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 good. Thank you. Thank you. I'll say, bro, you're going to drop me a band right now. I'm like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Let's go. Uh, we'll just we'll donate that. We'll do something. Mm-hmm. He didn't miss much. You missed a potential terrorist attack depending on which news station you go to <laughs> that's the the only issue with that potential depending on where you get your new 60 okay god bless you god bless you oh god i like that well hey man it means a lot though that's why either way man either way i'm gonna get me my ball that's why i say what kind of bottle am i going to get like you know 15 i was like that's not a bottle that's a club dog hold up mm-hmm stellantis have to say not our fault well, yeah, it didn't help that I was making fucking EV vehicles lighting on fire jokes for the first hour. <laughs> and then Stellantis is like, yo, we got a recall on this vehicle. No injuries have happened yet, though. Mm hmm. No injuries have happened yet. Candle got eight up. I mean, you're tripping out still a little bit, but definitely only took 30 bucks loss shorting at the bottom, so. It was good, but if that did pick up, like I'm saying, that risk to reward. But for now, calmer the better. Calmer the better. Some gray goose. Did you, when you guys were younger? Did you like, like, did you all believe like gray goose was like the most expensive alcohol that existed? Because at one point I did. I thought, like, when I was younger, bro, I thought you had Grey Goose. And, like, it was weird because I knew it was only, like, 50 bucks, 60 bucks or something. But, like, I really thought I was like, damn. 
Like, you got the goose. <laughs> Isn't it funny, though? I guess we all were like that. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Is that just marketing, bro? Were we all just marketed to and all the rap songs and everything? We were like, oh, dude. Little Gregor's dude, little baller, huh, dude? Oh, you're balling, dude. Oh, little Gregor's. We're not, oh, we're not holding back today, dude. The bottle looked exquisite. It was Cristal. I thought Henny. Henny is expensive, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't think Henny's like cheap. Mm-hmm. Hella good marketing. That's funny. You guys are like, yeah, I was like that. <laughs> I thought I really thought it was just me. I thought I just went through a phase and I listened to too much rap music and I was like, yep, you got Grey Goose, you're fucking a billionaire. That's it. It's the best out there. Mm -mm. The Remy Martin discount, Henny. I like Remy Martin more than Henny, <laughs> but I don't like any of them because I'll die, bro. That's it. I can't drink any alcohol anymore. It's so weird. I told you the story, bro. It's terrifying. <laughs> Two bottles of goose, that's geeks. <laughs> Can we show Tesla? We can. For sure. They're down a lot today. Cavassier. Buster Ross, the Cavassier. Grey Poupon was the most expensive mustard, so why not, I guess. Tequila is the only hard liquor. I think tequila is the best liquor for you. So if you are going to drink any alcohol, tequila is natural i think the sh instead of sugar it's like agave it's like it's more organic i don't know so if you really do care about your health and still love to drink the poison uh you know tequila is like super natural more or less uh it's, it's at least the best type of alcohol mm. Doctor's Choice is tequila, yes. It helps digestion. Yes. Worst hangovers? I think it's because of the agave. Mm -hmm. My thoughts on Google Crusade against Adblock? I don't know, man. I just added you to the BBB list. Why do you have a serious question after your very rude comment? So... I would love to answer it, but, you know, uh, ask me ask me the day after. Because I didn't ban you, you know what I'm saying? But I, I think we're, you and I are checked out for today. And it's not me being triggered or anything, but it's just like, I'm, I'm like I said the other day, it's like, it's weird how, how people could go from, like, being so unserious about something and then, you know, but not, like, like violently unserious. Like, I have your comment in writing, bro. It's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Potato vodka. Oh, I never had that. Mm -hmm. GC not holding. It was for a little. Yeah, we're down on it now. I thought it was up still. Well, let's, I think hold that for an hour. Either goes down. Either I think it'll lose like 200 worst case, 300. Otherwise, we ride down. It goes up. Mm -hmm. It wasn't rude. I'm just not sensitive. I think words are not serious as actions. I'm peaceful, wish peace. All right, I feel you. I feel you. It was very rude. You don't know how people will take it. So I understand where you come from. I'm not too sensitive either, but like I said, uh, it doesn't really show that you want to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like your comments towards it. So like you're saying, you're not sensitive, but I just don't see it as serious. Uh, again, especially to follow it up and then ask for a question from me. Uh, just like I said, not serious. Mm-mm. Been here since TOT. That's cool. That doesn't change it, but yeah, I feel you. Amen. God, I hope you were blessed by it, man. I hope you were blessed, and I wouldn't take that away from you. Amen. My market on the coming weeks, my opinion, I think it's going to be chill. Next week, we'll have a little bit less data. That's the good part. 
uh, and the bad part, it might hold up. And then really, you know, before you know it, it's going to be December, then jobs and then Powell. So I think that will be the decider, you know, low jobs, good, good for the market. If Powell doesn't beat us down, then people are going to feel really optimistic. And then it will be three meetings of rates being paused, which is amazing. Black Friday retail numbers. We had that talk already. It's going to be interesting. Some people view it as a bellwether. Some don't. I mean, I don't know if shopping, how it's going to be into this weekend, but I think more people want Cyber Monday. But the numbers will give it. We're going to get numbers by, by Friday pretty much. Uh, again, on the half day or like a little or Monday maybe. Local news has an interview with Eyewitness. It's WGRZ. I don't... Will I be able to pull it up? They have a live feed. I was pulling that up through, like, my cable provider. You know where you log in? Mm, did we hit the high of the year? No, 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 no. Not yet. We're close to it, but no. You will you would be hearing pump it up if that was occurring. How Walmart got clapped. Target got rewarded. Walmart was the CEO. He just dropped the ball. And then Walmart kind of had the NVIDIA effect. Walmart had a high bar coming into it. So even though they raised guidance, it just it wasn't good enough. And then the CEO was like, deflation, consumers can't afford anything. You're like, what? It was a reckless driver, they're saying. it Again, it depends on your news source, sadly. So, like, you have... Uh, CNN saying it, it could be an accident or they don't confirm it. And then Fox is like, it's a terrorist attack. So I initially thought it was a terrorist attack. It seemed kind of weird. But at this point, I think we are stuck in the middle. Mm, it was fully priced at 172. I've been adamant that was my sell price since last year. I mean, it seems like you were right. Because, again, people were not down with it, even though their numbers were good. It's not like everybody thought Walmart had a bad earnings, but it, it didn't. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't, like, it wasn't bad, but then the CEO and then the guide up just wasn't good enough. Mm hmm. Do they confirm there were explosives? One person did, one other. It's Dude, you're getting Fox versus CNN right now, if you haven't realized. So, again, it happened, like, what, two and a half hours ago? But it's, like, literally Fox says terrorist attack, explosive. CNN says nah. Says nah. It's just maybe an accident or they don't know yet. Too early to tell. They figure this shit out by three. Two and a half hours ago was this attack in New York. We're on the bridge, the Canada New York bridge. Oh, man. Damn it. What the? That makes no sense. Okay, it came down a little bit. I don't know. I was gonna tell you yesterday. Do you want? I'm I'm scared to tell you because I don't want you guys to buy this shit and then it loses. But I got I got my update. They just they're shipping it out to me now. I got I got a StockX collectible, but it's related. Maybe I should make a video about it instead because I did I did have a video with the other one. And then tomorrow 9 a.m. baby. Tomorrow 9 a.m. What margin do you look for the flips? Yes, 30%. Gross. Gross. So I that's why like pretty much I'm looking for LTV 
70%. That gives me 30%. Usually I'm walking away with 10% at worst case scenario. So that's kind of how I, I would structure my flips. And then there's guys like LT, depending on the property, bro. Some guys will get away with 20%, 15, and then whittle that down to like seven or six at the end. It's up to you. But then at that point, just buy a fucking bond. Mm -mm. Got suggestions on cheaper waterproof flooring of yeah epoxy that's what somebody said other than that i know the house you said i didn't get an email bo no i didn't get it trading returning at gmail.com Cement. <laughs> Carpet floors. Oh my gosh. In the bathroom? No. Is hardwood increased the house value? It depends. Like real hardwood or not in the type. But some people don't like real hardwood. Real hardwood's like it's a lot of maintenance. Like it sucked. I had that, that one flip in San Francisco. That shit had real hard word and it was a bitch because I, if I wanted to replace anything I had to get rid of it all and it was like it, it was a lot of work and then some people like it and then it's just it's it's kind of weird and then but then there's certain types like the best right now if you could get you a a herringbone hardwood that's the most expensive flooring that you put herringbone in your house that's going to increase the value but don't put that in your house unless it's a luxury home because that's that's the that's where you get them on the luxury houses bro that herringbone has been going hard lately. Mm. Crown molding is a big one. Mm -hmm. They like, I don't know, it's not like crown molding. The uh, There's like that, like the modern version of it now. Like, not nah, as long. It just depends how you style it, but those are huge. Then the recessed lighting or, like, the little invisible lighting, like, lines in the wall on the roof, those are big now. But, again, herringbone. You're putting herringbone in my trailer. Listen, if you could get, like, a cheap, fake herringbone and you don't pay the full price, it, I would throw it in there. But, like, if you're going to go take a cheaper property and then throw in the most expensive flooring then it's not yeah not not like that mm -mm. herringbone is the manner in which it's laid not the type of hardwood uh, i thought it's the um i thought it's the design i'm pretty sure it's the design of the the wood so that that's why it costs more money so it's like you've seen it before you know exactly what i'm talking about So, and then it's usually in real wood, but it's like this. So, let's see. All right, there's another one. There's herringbone versus chevron. So, like, that's, it's how they lay. It's just the pattern of it, but that's why it is so expensive. But, like, you could get, like, some that are, like, already, like, a fake one that's, like, kind of laid out. It's, like, vinyl that just looks like that. It's like a sticker. Yeah, but dude, it's popular. Very, very popular now. But like those, it's so expensive. I'm telling you, it's nuts. Chevron versus Herringbone. That ain't it. I love it. I Are you kidding me? I love it. I love Herringbone. For on the, I wouldn't do it in the whole house, but like I would have a, I would have a room with it. I'm going to do it when I build my house. I'm going to put one. I'm going to have it like when you walk in, it's going to be hair and bone or at least hair and bone in the kitchen. It looked good. I like it. Mm. 
They closed the herringbone in L.A. In La Jolla. Oh, what's that? Sounds familiar. Where should we Where should we get food, Tilo? Tlaloc. What's a What's a good San? What's a new San Diego place we could go to? I want some good food, man. I feel like I've tried everything now. I I need a good hole in the wall. Bitch to a summer you love. Oh, you you lay it? You do that? Go, baby. That's hype. Taka Sushi downtown. I think I've been there, actually. You have hook and catch? Uh, I think. I think we have catch and hook. Or I feel like I said LA. Sounds very familiar. Did we do Philo? No, we did not. I think yesterday's watch list was an entire philo. But, you know, I, we, we had a lot of talks today. And, you know, if you want me, I could get ahead and I, I could tell you what I have here, you know. Let's see. Let's. I'll just tell you number one. This one had me thinking. This one, I, I, I some of you may get political with it. Proverbs 22, 10. Cast out the scorner and contention shall go out. Yes, strife and reproach shall cease. Mm -hmm. And then Proverbs 22. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. Be not thou one of them that strikes hands or them that are sure. That's, that, that's about debt. Again, another business one. Those two, man. I could go in depth with it, but I, I do like what they speak at face value. And honestly, I'd say, man, I hope coming into the holidays, you have peace. I hope you're not angry. And I hope if you are around angry people, you don't let it rub off on you. You know what I'm saying? And and sometimes, too, like, again, uh, it's funny because, like, I've been doing certain things here. You know, you know, we're making jokes about it. But I'm telling you, like, you know, it's just the, the vibe with everything, man. And like, dude, you cast out the scorner, contention shall go out. But then that, you know, that logic always lets me lets me ask. It. I'm like, damn. So if there's still contention and you casted someone out, what does that mean? So it's a good one. But I do like the last one, man. And it really, uh, it really stood out to me because, like I tell you, you know, I you guys say I'm too nice. Some of you say I'm triggered, this and that. But it really had me just thinking, you know, without your opinions, you know, before. The way I'm thinking about it, I'm like, man, you know, it, it, it was a real reality check on, on who I associate with. You know, that's that, that's what it really had me thinking, because I do realize that, you know, when I am around more like angrier people or like people who get like, you know, angry, I'm, I'm like, it does rub off on on my soul, whether I want to or not. It's, it's just something that's like it's crazy that this is what was even talked about this long ago but it's just it was a reminder to me you know because like that's why i say like you know you stay in your world your bubble you rebuke the outside thoughts that are not you know things that are good and positive and you know what i'm saying and it's just like it's so easy to get caught up by like you know the the one bad fruit if you are the angry person fix it you know that's the thing man because like you know when i'm reading proverbs i hope none of you ever have this feeling because you will because I get this feeling. We all do, you know, where it's like, dude, I'm a fool. You know what I mean? And if you're not having that feel, if you don't have that feeling, bro, then God bless you because that means you ain't, the book is not working, <laughs> you know, but like for real, like, uh, you know, how many times in reading Proverbs have you felt exposed? It's okay. If you don't want to be honest, that's fine, but I'll, I'll say it. Like I told you, it's like the book of James sometimes, you know, it really, really gets like that, but just like think about it it really like it, it's having you think but it's like the the whole point man these proverbs are instructions it's not here to f like shame you do you get what i'm saying let me say that one more time by knowing the truth knowing what is right knowing what is good versus bad and then realizing that you did the other thing it is not intended to shame you that's why we feel like that when we read that book and you're like, damn, well, like, I do want to be, well, I don't want to be a fool. You know, I don't want to be angry. It's like, oh, but I did this. It's like, dude, the book isn't, it's not there to call you out. It's say so you can memorize it. It's so you could remember it. 
And now the next time a thought comes, hopefully your spirit and mind have something to go against it. You see what I'm saying? Something to say, oh, should I? Well, maybe I shouldn't work today. Maybe I shouldn't do this. No, all labor is profitable. Don't ever forget that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, it's kind of nice with the drama and getting into these debates. And this is like, don't be careful. You befriend an angry man. Watch what's going to happen to your soul, too. You know, so it's but it's not like I, I feel you. So you may be the angry guy, but like, I don't think that defines you. You know what I'm saying? There is no condemnation, my friend. Uh, but like for real, like I don't I don't think it defines you. Like how many times it, like that's the funniest part. Like, dude, today people are just telling me I am too nice. Right. But how many times have I told you, bro, I've had anger problems in the past. I've been an angry person. You should have seen me even way earlier. Some of you, sadly and thankfully, have had the opportunity to see me when I was way, way, way. Well, you guys have seen real anger. That's why, I'm like, seriously, you want to tell me I'm triggered? Believe me, you should, you should have seen the old Josh. You should have seen what it really was because I didn't, I was like that. But, like, I don't think it defined me, even to the point where you could look at me now and you would be like, nah, you're too nice. You're this, you're that. But regardless, I, I, I do hope you get what I'm saying with it, man. So it's just like, I don't think it defines you, but the the whole idea is it's giving you something to live by. That's why I'm telling you, man, like, yo, bro, holidays, I don't know what you guys are going to deal with, and please be safe, you know. Uh, don't get into any bad situations. Hopefully your IQ or street smarts could protect you. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm not here. To, you're not. Don't be angry. Try not to be. But like, this is to remind you of this. So when you're in the next encounter, I, I hope something in your mind that says, you know, when you notice someone angry, I hope you think about this moment and think about why it's bad to befriend angry and why you do want to avoid it. You know what I'm saying? So it's good. It's good. Mm hmm. Mm. Hold on, abandon. I'm adding that to the BBB list because you tagged me and has nothing to do with what we're talking about and your account is only 20 days old and you are getting added to the list that fast. Very suspicious. God bless you. Keep it on topic. Thank you. But yes. Mm -mm. Posted that a few times. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I don't I don't understand it. We're not even talking about anything related to wife's or PP touches. So, thank you. But hopefully y'all feel me, man. Hopefully y'all feel me. So that's your mini philo. Those are the verses that I did screenshot for today. But I didn't plan on having, I think you guys had a good philo yesterday, uh, even with the watch list. Uh, go watch it, man, if you haven't. But, you know, above all else, man, if I'd, I'd love it, man. I don't know, man. I've, I feel like I need more of the book. I've already had it my whole life, you know. Uh, but it's it's good to go. Sometimes you need the randomness. I feel you, but try to keep it more in line. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I like other random. The best random I like is uh, stocks. You know what I'm saying? If you've ever noticed, I love it. We have a lot of different talks, and then somebody comes in with a killer stock question, and, and you know, I love talking about that. I love good information, but, uh, I, I, again, like I'm just telling you, it's kind of inappropriate, uh, especially given the context of what we're talking about. All right, Jim, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get out. Get out. Mm. Yeah, you want Biden? There you go. Buffalo Airport closed the international flights after a Canada explosion. That's coming out now. Mm. Would you ever go in the trucking business? Yeah, bro. I'm down. If one of you want to do it, I would be down to buy a trucking company. Like if, if any of y'all have a trucking license, the CDL, and you know how to do it, I'd be down to buy you out your ass a truck. 
we get like one or two trucks until we get like 10 of them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a good, it's a great side business, bro. I'm telling you that that's some autopilot shit that you get that up and running. We get, then you get your two trucks. We get six more, have other people. Now you start contracting it out, bro. It did be fire, bro. It's bad news right now, but like, then again, I mean, we're, we're, you know what I'm saying? Like we could really, this is the time to, if, if those auto prices come down, those trucks, people start getting clapped out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like that is something, uh, that's, it's good. I've thought about it. Uh, again, the only person, remember Brett Van Breezy, baby. He remember, he, we talked about this in 2020. I love the idea. It's just, we, we need, we need the right person who could do it and knows how to do it. Because again, I'm the money guy. You see what I'm saying? I know what I could provide. I could provide the money, the business, the taxes. Like I could run that company and make sure it's good, but I, I don't know how to fucking get the contracts, dispatch, all of that stuff. Like we need a system. How are you going to train people? All of that. Close family did that 30 years ago. They have a fleet, 500 trucks still based out of the hometown. My brother, yeah, man. I'm down though. Like I'm saying, like I would, that is a, that is a investment I would love to make. And I mean, again, it's even better if it's a Chad, you know, like if you, we could do a Chad business like that and it's, you know, somebody in here that we got some experience with, you know, our culture, you know what I'm saying? You know what we believe in and how to, how to operate. Just look at co real estate. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, tell me real estate slowest dude they're doing another 100 200 million dollars in transactions again this year so it's like it's the same like it, the values and how it runs like you do that we got it hedge your fuel costs with futures no we'll most likely lose most people most companies lose on their hedges that's why it's called a hedge it's not easy i know some people that struggled not easy but doable oh 100 percent. it's definitely not easy that's why it's like kind of a high reward you know a lot of people try to get into it. it's kind of easy to get into but to like really be successful it's not you know it's a lot of work it's a lot of work driving you got to be willing to do things for cheaper you got it's, it's it's hundreds of hours you know it's a lot of stuff Uber Black Fleet. There's a lot of, there. You could do that, but the car cars are a little dip. I'm telling you, trucking is is there. We already got a Chad company, a car company though. Shout out Oscar baby. That's what I'm saying. It's like uh, it, it is that time of the year, but you know there is some things that I think, especially how the industries move. If we could get some of these trucks, bro, and with all the bankruptcies, if if at the right time we could get that building set up with prices low. Oh, man, I, I really think that could be fire. Real estate in Egypt is wild. Surprised you're not invested there. Yeah, I don't do no Egypt stuff. I kind of am. I mean, we bought a, I bought a house for my, like, family out there, but, like, it's I don't own it. It's not mine. So, like, they bought it. I just I gave them the pounds for it. Own trucking company driver turnaround rate is over uh, 400%. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Hilo, I was thinking about getting one to get some liquidity cushion and peace of mind. Uh, yes and no, but like Heloc's not even good for peace of mind because they could pull it whenever. You know what I'm saying? 
So like that's ironically like you could have a, a like if it might wind you into trouble if you use the the debt and then they they end up pulling it. But I I would have a plan for it. If you have a plan for what to do with the money, then I would do it. Otherwise, I mean, it may not hurt. It may not really have an effect. And then you could have it for the peace of mind, but then just just be mindful of whatever the interest rate is. Especially trailers make the money. Bro, it's what a wild, wild business. It's cool though. We got there's a lot of like we were, I had, we had this talk what a couple months ago. What were you we saying? Just like again, man, just the ways you can make companies hopefully on autopilot. Again, trucking's lucrative, but um, shout out to the chads, you know, again some nice fun facts saying how ridiculously wild it is. They own their trucks, made most of the money during COVID. They haul acid. Like, not drugs, like acid, like chemicals, right? Otherwise, if you just snitched on them, that's crazy. <laughs> I think Friday's going to be green. I think Friday's going to be boring, and shouldn't be too much about it. Um, yeah, Biden has not spoke yet. I can't, I, dude, I even got a... Corinne tweeted, what did she say? They're going to pay down a couple of debts, then bill it up. You know, gain on the debts, but lose on the difference between bill and interest. Are you paying a couple percent towards the peace of mind? I don't think about them. I have roughly 40% equity. Damn. Uh, if you're going to lose money, don't do it. Why? I would not pay interest for peace of mind right now. I mean, again, as long as you have a... Because one, if the house loses value, they again, they could pull that credit line whenever. But as long as you have like you have a job, you have income, as long as you could qualify for that, you could pull out the money at any single time. So that's kind of the uh, the thing. But if you will lose money, if, if you can take the HELOC and pay off credit cards or other debt at that's higher interest, then it's a good idea if it's lower. But if your other debts are lower interest and the HELOC would be higher, I wouldn't I wouldn't touch it.
Hold on. What about a preventative maintenance business? Habibi, when do Americans like to prevent maintenance, huh? You know, my girlfriend has never changed the oil in her car, Habibi. You think she know how to prevent the maintenance? They don't even know how to maintain. You think Americans want to buy, did they buy Ozempic for pre, pre-Ozempic? No, after you buy Ozempic, you see? They don't want preemptive. No preemptive. Unless it is an airstrike, huh? No, no, that's America. Only time we like preventive. Preventive, you know? Of the car? Wait, what? Yeah, they're halting the the flight, but I didn't see anything else though. On any of that. What time? We got ten more minutes. Of quiet time. No tin on the mystery demonia. I mean, I want to call it tin, but I don't think China, in a weird way though, China can't do no 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 mystery sickness right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, in a weird way, like I don't know if they could do the whole lockdown thing. They would collapse miserably, and I don't think they could stimulate their way out of it at this point. So. I don't know, but like, I really just, I don't think they want it, but that my tin is that China at this point can't, I don't think they could shut down again. They, they, China needs to open up. China needs to really, really open up. Otherwise it's, it's going to be mad weird. Super screwed in general. General. Wow, Chad. 10 more minutes remaining. Mm hmm. What a day, Chad. Mm. I saw cargo airborne. What?
Should it look like a pl No way. <laughs> no, there's no way. Much love, open face. You leaving? All right, man. Go ahead. Enjoy it. Chad's giving. Got a family showing up to the house. We love you. This is a good time, man. Get things done. We only have eight minutes, man. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm finishing up all of these, bro. Finish up all of these. Solana going up is quiet. I've been quiet all day. I played three games of 2K. <laughs> I played three different uh, park games on two. I won two of them. It's, I know this has been a long, weird day, bro. That's it. I'm taking time. Bro, I had a guy too, bro. I had a guy back out of that, that deal. I was, I was about to sell that car. Remember the car I bought in the beginning of the year? I was about to sell it for an extremely high price. And then the dude got mad that it was taking too long. And then he said he bought another car. I said, no, you didn't. He said, you asked. He got mad. I hurt his feelings. I didn't answer him fast enough. You know what, I'm, you know what I'm saying? He got the Josh answers, no response for 24 hours. As I was getting everything sent, and he backed out, bro. Oh, yes. That is the time, though. Do we look at the VIX with side eye every day? All right. And then, honestly, I'm going to sell out. Selling out gold took a hundred dollar loss. I was gonna hold till end of the day, but at this point, I think there's only more downside than upside. So goodbye. Took another hundred there. Lost all my profits to the day on SPR and gold. Remember, we made like two hundred bucks, a little under on Nvidia. I gave it all back on those two trades. Oh wait, then I closed the bonds though. That was like three k or two point six. But Chad, so here's the deal. It's going to start getting really, really crazy in here, okay? And, you know, as some people said, they've been banned in the past. They've been hurt. A lot of things have happened, and, and, and as a result, we've made a lot of changes, okay? So when I say earmuffs, that is your opportunity for you to be quiet, okay? Or for you to quiet me down because it's going to get extremely loud in here. And what I mean by that is that it gets extreme people have reported eardrums bleeding that if you thought the bbb wall of shame was bad oh my gosh it gets even crazier so when i say earmuffs that's going to be your warning here in about like two minutes to just keep it down and then you'll be good to go <laughs> you'll be good to go thankful for the first gifted membership i got the rest is history <laughs> no is that how you got it is that what happened marcus and then someone gifted you, and then you're like, I'm going to stick around here. And then is that why you be gifting everybody? That's crazy.
don't know the membership where that's crazy though if that's how it really came if that's how it happened marcus that's nuts that's why because i stayed because of who you are no way that's crazy it makes sense now i'm like why marcus always be gifting bro always be gifting but chatadonia earmuffs Air oh wow, we're running behind. We're running behind. Air muffs, air muffs, air muffs. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're making our final approaches. We make our final approach. You guys are holding on to any bags. Uh, please stow them in the overhead bins above or firmly beneath your seats as we'll be coming to the aisles with a trash bag if you'd like to dispose of those bags. But as we make this final approach, we're going to be landing here into the second link terminal. Second link terminal description. That's going to be your nightly watch list and main channel layover around 4 p.m. Pacific time. Then we're going to be taking off promptly around 6 a.m. out of sunny San Diego. Diego, California. As we make this final approach into San Diego International Airport, it's about 79 degrees and sunny. A beautiful, warm California day, but nothing happened in the market, so you just wasted your seven hours inside. So, other than that, the good news is we are no longer under COVID guidelines, so no masks are required, but we do ask that you exit one row at a time and drop a GG on your way out. As always, we appreciate you guys in business. If you're interested in your Cold Rapid Awards program card, Please flag down your flight attendant, and we'll get to that as soon as possible. As always, thank you for flying with the coat, and hopefully have a wonderful evening. Let's go, baby. Chatadonia. Not much time you have. One minute. Go, 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 go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to wrap it up. Bring it home. Finalize the plays. The market's closed tomorrow. And then Friday is only three hours of trading. So whatever you're going to play, you're pretty much making up your mind right now. So speak an hour forever. Hold your peace. Shares, options, futures, it don't matter. You got to finalize it. You don't have any earnings on the way. So Chattadoni, I don't know what you're going to do, baby. I don't know what you're going to do. But happy Thanksgiving. We're going to be here tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific time for the turkey cutting. And now you have less than 10 seconds remaining. Oh my goodness. Six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Ding 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 Chatadonia. Before the day of thanks, you get your final GG. Seven hours and the bucks. We did it. We made it, baby. I need a good game in the chat. It don't matter who you are. Everybody right now, let's go. Don't matter if you made money or lost money. I know you added something, baby. You learned something. You brought something to the table. The vibes, the good vibes. Spending a good time with good people. Good game. You got good sportsmanship. That's it. It don't matter. BBB list or not. Without a GG, oh my goodness. It don't mean anything without a GG. Without you think you're the best chat. Without the GG, it don't mean nothing. I need that GG right now, baby. Let's go. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. All the members, not members. Stream alerts. All the positive people. People with good info. People bring stuff to the table. Everybody with a law card. Everybody opening up their eyes. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Good game, baby. That's how you play. That's how you play, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I see you too, Twitch. I hope you know we're stronger. Look, I'm dominating the GG in the Twitch. How y'all let me do that in the Twitch? Fuck y'all, Twitch. Look at that. Look at that, Twitch. How y'all let me dominate? Y'all let me dominate. Let's go. That's how you play, baby. I'll see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, we'll be here live tomorrow, baby. Good game. Good game, I need me to rock. You won't see me a lot. Monday through Friday, you need me. Let's talk. Oh, this comes up next? Okay. All right, Chad, that's the day, bro. That's it, man. I'm going to let Uncle play out. I might talk to y'all for a little, but that's it. That's it. We out, baby. I'm going to see you in the morning. Thank you for being here. I love all of you. 
I love uh, seriously, even if you're on the BBB list, for real, man. This is why I love the holidays, because you got to realize if you end up in the chat on the holidays, that means we love each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God bless you. Thank you, Chad. Shout out to members. Shout out to non Shout out to members giving members, because they became a member from a gift and now they stay. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Co real estate today, too. Stop playing with me. My driving got my girlfriend stressing, screaming in my ear like a bird. Told her, why they driving in the slow lane? If they ain't going slow, man. I used to say the same thing when they were slow up in the fast lane. Now we're Kia trying to pass, man. Think I need some almost crash, man. I'm just trying to make a lane change. Now I'm late and I got road yeah. way. I'm on my F-350 I don't drive a fucking EV Gas tank still on empty But I'm gonna keep on driving all week I think I just missed my exit A Prius when they let me mad My driving got my girlfriend stressing Screaming in my ear like a bird Wherever I said, car pulling fast Hasn't seen the 405 it took me 30 minutes just to go a mile I came to California for the women in the vibe But all I saw was Teslas and girls who look like guys Now I like everybody, I'm just saying I'm surprised All these different people, but none of them can drive Still on empty, but I'm gonna keep on driving all week. Think I just missed my exit. I pray it's when they let me mad. Loaning on my F350. I don't drive a fucking EV. Gas tank still on empty, but I'm gonna keep on driving all week. I think I just missed my exit. Just wanna let me march My driving got my girlfriend stressing Screaming in my ear like a bird They said they wait an hour to charge I know Damn bro, I missed that whole dude I came, I needed water bro that's it, Chad. God bless y'all. So thankful for the call. Amen, man. Honestly, Chad, I love y'all. That's it. I'm gonna, I guess I, I, we can play music. I'm going to tell you all of this tomorrow, bro. But, like, fuck a day, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck some holiday to, that may, you know, for real, man. There's a reason why I show up every day. And I know there's a reason why you guys show up every day. It's one thing about the the opportunity and then the stocks and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, for real, bro. Very, very thankful for every single one of you. And it's amazing that, like, dude, the, what we've all got to witness together, you know, like, seriously. Not only witness it, but, like, even for me, it's a little bit more special for me, you know, because, like I'm saying, I, I see guys like Sam and, and all of you where it's like, bro, I got to watch some of you just fucking go from, like, yo, what's this? What's that? To, like, damn, y'all are just living and walking the life, you know what I'm saying? And y'all are doing it. Some of you may not have gotten everything you wanted just yet, but it's like, dude, I, I know you will because I'm like, damn, bro. It's so it very, it's very special, man. And so like I'm saying, I'm thankful for all of you and even the motherfuckers who are annoying, dog. If y'all don't realize it, like seriously, man, call me whatever you want. But it's like, I'm fighting for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I like y'all. I like y'all in the sense where it's like, I still have hope that you have hope because you're still here. So I do hope I could always push all of you to the highest. But like, for real, man, it's been a true honor. You have no idea, man. That's why like, I really hope that like, I can, uh, you know, just every day uh, beyond just the holiday, like really, really show it that how thankful I really am and above all else man and for for all of you guys I really hope that you bring that into every aspect even beyond the cult too man you know what I'm saying like the the one thing like the one thing about the cult that I could give you in like everything we've done here like I I hope in you I hope you get this too man 
I hope you are thankful for everything we have because I know I am, you know, looking over that we have this community and all of it. But it's like, dude, we should really be thankful for like it's it's allowed us this opportunity to like really, really just like enjoy life even beyond what the stock market is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm very thankful for that. That's why I'm like, dude, I really hope. All of you, after encountering me, I hope you are thankful for a lot of things, but like I do hope you you do experience the blessing of you being alive right now and knowing that you have so much ahead of you. You know what I'm saying? Like you really have so much ahead of you and you don't know the ending just yet, man. So that's why it's like, but I do hope the community, the info, the laughs, all of it, you know, I, I hope it brings some of the good of life, man, where you're just able to be like, I'm thankful. I'm alive. I get to interact. I got people I could be around. Like, you know, there's opportunity. There's goals. So it's like, dude, I hope it it helps bring the fullness of life that that really of, of what it is, man. And like I'm saying, watching some of the light bulbs go off, that was a, that was an extra Christmas gift that I have been enjoying a lot right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Seeing y'all do that, and then again, like the long term and what people are gonna do, man, it's beautiful. So, thank you, Chad. You know what I'm? You're gonna hear me tell you this tomorrow. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it verbatim. You know, like I say, saying, man, and y'all know me. Y'all know me for many years now. Some of you are new, and I hope you forgive me for your newness because, like I'm saying, man, this is all raw. Like you know that. Like I don't come in here scripting shit. I don't come up here every single day, seven hours. You know, like when I tell you I love you. I tell you I love you if I give you an explanation. Like, I don't have this written down. I don't know what I'm going to tell you tomorrow. I told you I don't have, like, sermons and stuff like that. So it's just, like, for real, man, from the bottom of my heart, as the, you know, whatever filter I have to, to say it or not say it, you know, like, this is what comes out. So I love you all, and thank you so much. And God bless Chattadonia, baby. And I know he did. And I know he did. You have no idea. You got favor, bro. You got favor. Amen. Amen, bro. Amen. So, Chad, that is the day. Go read the books. Everything else. Nothing else matters. Because tomorrow is closed. So, don't wake up bright and early. You're going to get to sleep in a little bit. Okay? Yeah, a little Friday. A little baby Friday. You got Friday's going to be half off. But very, very simple, man. Tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific time. That is when we are going to be live for the turkey. It usually takes like 30 minutes an hour. So, we'll give you guys time to pull, pull in. But. You know, God bless every single one of you, Chad. And I hope I see you there. And, and like I always say, man, the door's open. Again, I don't know. Like some of y'all, if you don't treat it seriously, you love to, you know, troll on the Internet. But like for real, man, if where you end up is this chat room on a, on a holiday of uh, like Thanksgiving, there's no shame in that. But I'm t that means you got a connection to us, you know. So I encourage you. Put everything aside tomorrow and just enjoy the vibe with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And really be a part of the community and really be a part of it and enjoy it. Because I've always said it, man. Our door is always going to be open. I know I may not have a real door because we're online. You know what I'm saying? But, like, for real, we're going to be there, man. I And I, I extend all of you, man. If you ever feel, I don't know, you're going to feel lonely. You're going to feel sad. The holidays bring a lot. You don't know. If you ain't get keep yourself busy, you're going to wind up in trouble. It's like, pull up, dog, for real real it's that, that opportunity and even if none of that applies to you and you just a loving mother effer and you know this your family i'm gonna see you tomorrow baby so god bless you chad that is the day yeah cold real estate you do have cold real estate today but i'm, I'm ending y'all right now i'm ending this right now y'all get to y'all get time and then tomorrow i'll see you and if not we'll be good baby will be good. But Chad, thank you all again. Everything, every day, every year, bro. It's a blessing, man. God is good. But I love you all. I'll see you in the morning at 9 a.m. And don't forget why we're here and why we keep going and why that faith, hope, and love ain't ever going out of style and why the wisdom is there to guide us and not condemn us. And understand that whatever you feel in the areas that you have fell short, it does not define who you are, my brother. It is there to now warn you for the future because the best is yet to come, baby. Why, baby? Why? Ah. Finger to the sky, baby. To God be the glory and through the grace of God alone. Amen. Hey, man. No. Oh, my goodness. Here. No, no, I'm going to play you. We only got one. I'm going to play you one song. I wanted to play this yesterday, and I didn't. It does. I don't know if it fits the vibe or anything, you know, but I want, I want to hit it. It's, just, it's always a song I like hearing. 
I wanted to play it yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man. You ain't never seen anything like this. <laughs> it's a power pull called Howard Schultz. I think I need some coffee quick. You don't like me, hop off my dick. I know it's sounding I'm in this. The market's drop apocalypse, but I'm just using common sense. The same thing happened once before. I'm talking 1936 or 32 through 38. Markets and employment race. The Marxists say the system breaks. The rights I said is because trade. The left side blames the word that said. The rush is in a election. Historical recession trade. Come to see Republican. Now I Sit a pro is kind, so Congress, what is going on? They won't tell us what's going on, so I'ma show you through a sign. We fucked if budgets take too long. We put some sanctions on Iran, but that don't mean the problem's gone. But wait, who said it's a problem? Yeah. Think about that for a sec. Are we gonna pay the debt? Keep the triple A credit. Get the people all fed. Get the people all messed. So the people all dead. Do we really need the Fed? Trade the freedom in for cash. Freedom for a double tax. Trade the freedom for a Mac. I'ma leave it at that. <laughs> It's a power pull called W. Bush, we need to start a war real quick Our top export is armaments, the land of free That sells the death, the blood and money in a sec But that won't make you not invest Cause Bowen hit record profits and I'ma get that DV check <laughs> Say that shit a prophecy The topics that you talking Make me think you doing comedy I shop it on the market Every morning like a shopping spree Yeah, see, I love it when they got it Ain't rub it in they face They can read up all about it Can paint a perfect pic I don't need the perfect palette They be coming at me sideways But still I kept my balance I gon' get the glory in the story that I'm brewing Sorry, I'm not sorry, I believe in what I'm doing Yo guys, I'm pretty godly, let me see him, let him prove it I got mountains that need moving, round them lions and they drooling I've been through a lot, these the lessons that I taught See, I got a lot to teach, cause I had a lot of loss You tryna eat with me, I'ma ask you what you brought Nothing in this life is free, everything hey, still got a cost I'm at your party, what's on my face? It's a code, I'm sorry Fuck your gang, everybody want the money But don't want change if you don't gotta love me, I'll be okay Yeah, they talking and they barking like I care if they believe it Honestly, you right, bro, you think it, you gon' be it I'm not trying to fight, bro, I'm on the turn to cheek shit Hold it, go the light bulb, I win if I'm defeated Yeah, what's the plan without the work? What's the blessing without curse? Been depressed and I've been hurt I've been stressed and I got burnt I've been tested and I learned I've been tempted, I discerned Love them blessings, but hate church I've been, and those a lot Thought they supposed to help the flock But they always Talking talk it guap, thought they supposed to show the loss Just because I say it, fuck, I can't believe in God That sound fucking crazy, like they teaching Islam rhymes Saying bombs is jihad, don't use peace, use your arms Use my speech, I disarm words stronger than the sword Learn the mindset from the Lord, man define him by his wars Progress ain't the final score, if you hate this, bless you more I'm at your party, what's on my face? It's a code, I'm sorry Fuck your gang, everybody want the money I don't want change, you don't gotta love me I'll be okay yeah. I love that one, bro Ooh. So chat at Donia 2019, Boomer, yeah, bro It's old, bro All of the old, bro This is it's just so, man, it's crazy The journey, dog, the journey The journey, man, the journey it's A little journey Just a small town hike Living in the lonely future. They took a midnight day to go in anyway. Just the city yelling. We never there. <laughs> okay, I don't know. That, I don't know if that one is as good, but I think you saw the direction. You saw the direction of what we were getting into, you know? Mm hmm. It's all you. I love that. That's, that's my favorite. Like, whenever I'm in like a social setting. And that song comes on, and it's like, because, like, re realistically, when they play those other, like, songs that, like, everybody knows, but, like, clearly Josh wouldn't know. You guys have had this fun experience with me before. I love it when they play, because then I could start screaming with everybody. But sometimes they play other ones. I'm like, I don't know. That and then the Blink-182. If they ever play Blink-182 in that song, everybody, all oh, the small things. You know, I, I forgot. I have to mumble the lyrics after that, but, mm-hmm. She left me roses by the stairs. Who thought, you know? Oh, that's good. I'm sorry. Are you in or do you hike? We, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Is that, wait, or no, is that the... Good eye. Sniper. <laughs> you already, I've, I've, I've ran that one up. You know that one, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But, Chad, I love you, man. You already know. It's finger to the sky. You're blessed. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow, man. Enjoy it. I hope you were vibing today. I hope you, I really hope these last couple of days, I hope I've been chill, and I hope it chilled you out. Because, you know, you guys always say, Josh, you go crazy. You get me hype. When the market goes down and I'm, like, calm, you guys say, you're scaring me. So I really hope, like, even me playing 2K in the day, like, I hope you calm the fuck down and, get, you know, enjoy this and take your rest. Like I told you, man, some of y'all just tired. So let's go get some rest. Enjoy it, baby. So we'll see y'all on Cult Real Estate. Y'all doing it tonight. So you run it, baby. But God bless you all. Shout out to the Chad. And I will see you in a little bit. In a, in a little bit. God willing. Maybe we'll do 2K. But I got to go get the turkey. I got to go do all that. I got to see where, where my girl's at and what we at now. So God bless you, Chad. I love you. Have a wonderful evening. And peace. Oh, yeah. Hey, listen. Hey, come on. Come on. It's Thanksgiving. Yeah, so what? So what a bomb goes off on a bridge. Yeah, happy all we, 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 you know what I'll do? I'm going to build another bridge. How many build building bridges did I build, bi make, create? I, 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 I spawned them. Anyways, it doesn't mean go out there and shop, okay? Fuck it. Yeah, no recession, no economy, economy unemployment low. Go buy something. Come on, go fucking give Jeff Bezos your money. All right? It's okay. Eat a fucking turkey. You're going to be tired the next day. Don't worry. The fucking stock market's closed. <laughs> Anyways, I love you. Have a well, I'll see you tomorrow. 9 a.m. 9 in, in the cent No, no, no. 9. 9. In the, it's after the mark. After, after 8. Yeah, that one. Yeah. In the morning. And in the, in the, when the sun is. I don't know if it's out. Anyways. All right. Bye. Now, just one. Hypothetically speaking. If that automobile was a Tesla. Would you be able to tell me that Elon Musk is a terrorist? I'm not, I'm not insinuating, I'm just telling, I, 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 no, okay, now tell me, if the terrorist used the Tesla, is that factually incorrect? No, okay, so it's not, okay, then, either way, you under, I'm, I'm, I, I reclaim my time, I yield back, this joke did not go where I thought it would take it, I thought I'd have some logic, but I reclaim my time, goodbye, I, I, I yield back, have a wonderful evening, and eat your damn turkey, good, 